What's up? Yo! I need some more songs on my stream deck. Give me songs. Today's shit hailing was done exclusively to early gang. Sorry YouTube vodders, but if you wanted to hear it you should have been here on time. Very true. Very true. It's their fault. Hello, what up? Emperor Mixed! Thank you for the 12 months. I hope you're killing the Dominion. Or whoever, whatever Emperor Mixed did, I forget. I hope you're killing, um... Kerrigan. I don't remember what Emperor Mixed does. Anyway, hello. What's up? AI invasion, finally happening again. Hello. Zoo. Zoo edition. Uh, should be good. Or it'll be terrible, I don't know. One of many streams where it'll <laughs> be terrible, maybe. Uh, there's not that many streams that I that have the potential to be terrible and turn out to be terrible. Yeah, but there's some. Majesty Diablo the Cheater, King of Shit and Champion of Otters. What's up? Yo. What up? Um, Text-to-speech. I am warning people now. Do not give me money today. This is not a joke Will to give me a shitload of money. The zoo? Um, yeah, we got ele we, bro, we got elephants. Uh, just for real. I can't... There's not a lot of room for text-to-speech in a, in a stream like this. So uh, your message will probably not be read or it'll be, like, super far behind. Um, <sighs> Fortnite event right now. I don't care. You are welcome to go watch it. Where's the moth exhibit? I guess I could put moths at the welcome sign. <laughs> you guys can go for the welcome sign if you want. It doesn't earn any points. <laughs> but if, if you want to take... There's also two bathrooms. I could put moths in the downstairs bathroom. Doug, can you keep it down? All right, we'll put moths in the south bathroom. We're trying to sleep down here in the basement and we have the TV forced on max volume <laughs> on your stream. That doesn't make sense. Um... Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, with text-to-speech, on top of this, as a reminder, please don't give me a lot of or money today because your text-to-speech, unless, assuming you want text-to-speech, um, it's just going to be really, really far behind, as always. So you are unlikely to be able to... Um, you are unlikely to be able to have your message read anywhere near the time that you sent it. This is going to be a nightmare. No, it'll be great. Um, on top of that, let me, uh, let me just shout out last stream. So I've been having some issues with the text-to-speech volume. Um... So just for people to understand a little bit, I have four different audio channels, one for the video game, one for my microphone, one for text-to-speech, and one for music. The text-to-speech audio track has not been working. I blamed it on Stream Elements last stream. I don't actually think that's the case, so I want to clear that up. I don't think the Stream Elements plugin fucked this up. I've spent hours trying to figure out what's going on. I think this is a physical problem either on my PC or in the cabling that goes to the line out port, because basically... Okay, here's how here's how it works. Okay, so you have br you have Streamlabs. Wait. Okay, here's how it works. You have Twitch is getting money from you. The that gets a sent to Streamlabs, who's listening to Twitch. Streamlabs then gets the message. It sends that message to OBS through a browser source. OBS goes, okay, I received this as an audio source. I'm going to send that to GoXLR. GoXLR comes in and it says, okay, I received this. I'm going to send it out, not digitally, but through a line-out cable that goes through a ground loop suppressor. So it goes out the back and then through a ground loop suppressor and into the back of my PC. Once it's in the back of my PC, now it's back in OBS and OBS goes, okay, I'm listening to line in. I think something is happening with the physical line. Um either on my PC or the GoXLR or the actual cabling um, that is causing that channel to have issues. Because I was listening to it and it was still having issues. Um, so, which is all to say the text-to-speech hey, volume Doug, might be fucked up still. Whenever you're about to take over one of our territories, can you enable the Wii Woos? <laughs> Wait. Uh, okay, so here, you guys want... Um... <laughs> Wait, that doesn't make sense. Wait, when would I play it? Like, just on your turn? The Wii Woos are so loud. They're very loud wee-woos. 
Here. Let's make sure they work. See, it's just too loud. Harkonnen, thank you for the phone. <laughs> I just feel like it's too loud. It's too loud. I don't think we can do the wee woos. This doesn't sound like it's just a this is a nightmare. Okay. No, we're turning off wee woos. We can't have wee woo. We can't turn on the wee woo. You're lousy. How about if if it's like game point, I will consider turning on the wee woos. <laughs> that was perfect. No, it's not. Um, I'll give it another second or two for people to come in. Um, but yes, I am excited. AI invasion. It's been a little while. We're going to change a few things about this one. Let me also romantically strip. Is Rosa worth 20? No, but Harambe's worth two. Where's Biff? Biff's not here. We fired his ass. Also, yeah, sorry I'm doing this today. I just slept really well and I was, well, I think so. Anyway, I feel pretty good. So I'm like, well, may as well do it today. And then I'll just chill tomorrow instead of doing it tomorrow. Um, all right, are people here? Are you here? Let's take attendance. Everybody here? Yes, raise your hand. Say I. Oh, wait, shit, I gotta add moths. Hold on. Before we... We're, we'll, we'll start in a second or two. Um, we gotta add moths, though. The southern bathroom will have moths. Okay, the southern bathroom is this gonna is have great. moths? Nothing has even happened yet. The welcome sign is just gonna be for style. If you guys can win while also capturing the welcome sign, I'll gift 20 subs at the end, okay? I think I'm gonna finally win a fucking game. There's no way you guys beat me... Four the times in a row. Should get Rosa as a special resource by her cuteness alone. No, that would be too overpowered. We can't have that much power on the board. You can have Rosa in spirit. Whoever has otters has Rosa in spirit, or you can elect one of the otters as Rosa. I guess. Also, those aren't sea otters; they're river otters. I I do have something to to rig it against you guys. This is how I'm finally gonna win. Okay, one sec. Let me find moths. Uh. Man, my computer is so slow when Photoshop is open. Jesus Christ. God damn it, dude. What? Once I get the moths in, we will uh, we will jam. Oh, I didn't bribe novel AI. Hunters 3, thank you for the uh, 12 months. Thank you, thank you, thank you, man. Okay, a lot of people. I'm already seeing I'm already seeing a lot of people talking about like like Saul Goodman or Pope or whatever. All right. New ideas. New ideas. New things. Don't just repeat memes. New stuff. How boring would it be if we just had Popes forever? Well, actually, Pope's kind of funny in this context. But new stuff. Think of new relevant things to what's going on. Use your imagination chat. Don't just yell old memes. You could do it. I believe in you. No money. Thank God I can send these bits instead. <laughs> it still counts. Why is it? I'm cop I'm copying a moth. I'm gonna have to save this goddamn moth, aren't I? One sec. Let's train the monkeys to use guns. So that's gonna be one of the rule. You'll see. You'll see. You can do that. You can do that. You can train your animals to do whatever you want. You're also gonna have to pick a starting uh, animal. The hell? Well, dude, this is super laggy. What is happening? Jeez, Photoshop is not having a good time right now. Doug, be quiet. I can't hear. Point crow. <laughs> Man, I do not like Photoshop. Or I should say, Photoshop has been having weird performance issues for me for the past couple months, and it has not been very nice. At least I don't pay lots of money to Adobe every single month. I think this is the same moth that the emote is. Okay, I won't. Thanks. I'm just saying, this is one of those streams where it's really hard to find time to have text-to-speech playing. 
So I will leave it on, but just with the expectation of like, it, you probably, your message is going to be really delayed. Just don't give me money. Save that money and put it into a hole. Okay. I'm happy to say. Wait, nope. Just a little bit. Hold on, get your pogs ready. Get your pogs ready. I'm happy to say. Moths have infested the lower bathrooms. <laughs> okay. Chat, we must make Rosa our space queen pope from hell and heaven. The moths have landed. But we're starting on the right side. You're gonna have to make I the ultimate meme decision. Using the law book this time. It seemed to really confuse the AI last time. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah, I'm not gonna use it. I have so we have I have some updates to the rules um that we will go over shortly. I have people are here, right? Yeah, okay, we got people here. We'll start in a sec. Let me close out the moth page. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the San Diego Zoo! This is where the next AI invasion will occur! You've got cheetahs! You've Can't got moths! You've got guy. parrots! You've no got bears! This one out less than three you've got five. harambe! You've got elephants! You've got crocodiles! Lions! Giraffes! Rats in a bathroom! Flamingos! Koalas! Goldfish! A welcome sign! Penguins! Llamas! Monkeys! Giraffes! Bears and otters! Let us discuss the rules. We're mixing it up slightly. Okay. <clears throat> if you've watched one of the AI invasion streams, you know the core gist. We're going to switch up uh, a couple others, though. A couple other little things. I want to continue to try to iterate on it uh, slightly. <clears throat> Scoring. We will each begin. I will say both teams begin with one animals. You always have to refer to them as animals. Plural. <laughs> you will pick one animals to start, but it's got to be on the eastern half. Both teams begin with one animal. You get one point per animals and one point per special resource, but there is a max of three special resources. The goal here is to make sure that we actually have to fight over the map rather than you guys just going into a weird space adventure with Saul Goodman. As funny as that is, I do want to make sure the map is the main focus. So this is a, a basically new rule. You're capped on the number of special resources. You guys have to actually play on the board. Traditionally, that has been where you really pork me. So this is a straight up nerf for you. Ahem. <clears throat> Additionally, Harambe is a special resource. Well, he's not a special resource. He's a special animal. He's a very good boy. He's worth two points. The reason he's worth two points is we're going to be starting on the eastern half, and that way there's incentive to move west towards him. Or don't. You could also go towards the welcome sign or the moths. Whatever you want to do. But we're going to be starting on the eastern half, and Harambe is on the left, worth double. <clears throat> As always, the rules. Uh, you attempt one action per turn. You can invade another animal group. Uh, if you invade them or take them over, um, you take that group of animals. I don't know how we're... Hold on. <laughs> I didn't think about this until right now. What happens if you kill them? Because there aren't, like, armies. I think if you kill them, you take over that territory. But you don't have them? Fuck. What, <laughs> I didn't actually think. What is the definition of getting the animals? Do you trap them? Do you... I think you have to win in a fight. Ah, oh, shit. What do we do? I think if you... We'll say that the llama dies. No, the llama's not going to die. Hopefully. You tame them like Pokemon. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we'll say you have to... Um, take, get control of animals <laughs> is the goal. Um, so, oh God, this is actually, I didn't think about how vague this is. We need to clarify what this means. How do we know that you have them for sure? Because the AI is not going to use the word tame every time. Okay. It's not gonna use the word tame. I think we have to treat the animals like armies. I think we just have to say you have to beat them in a battle. And then even if the AI says they're all dead, we just say they're fainted. I think you gotta I think you gotta fight them. Or okay, so it's either you you fight and win. That'd be one way to get control. 
Uh, another is like you recruit and they agree to like they agree that they're going to join your herd or tribe or whatever you want to call them. Um, so if you fight and win, including killing them, that'll just be uh, oh, <laughs> kill the alpha. <laughs> OK, yeah, that's one. Um, yeah, seduce them. Capture them in a Pokeball, I guess. I, I don't know what the, the AL really know what to do with that. Um, and I think tame them, tame and recruit, I'll say tame and recruit. I think this works. Okay. So the criteria for you getting control of one of the animal groups is to fight them and win. Even if it says you kill them all, we'll say that you killed their, their leaders and then you get the rest. Unless it explicitly says you slaughtered all of the llamas, Sam, <laughs> then the llamas are still alive. I don't know why you want the llamas to die. Is this something? Do we have a translator for the llama? The AI, you're going to have to decide where you're, whether, wait, do you want to kill the llamas or not kill the llamas? We're not clear where you're at, Sam. You're going to have to decide how to communicate with the animals. It's like the Ark of Noah. You keep, you keep the main two. <laughs> okay. But like, yeah, but if there's like a group of them, that'll be more helpful. Okay. A lot of you guys want to kill the llamas. I'm, I'm starting with llamas if you guys don't take llamas. So uh, you got to recruit or tame them, fight them or win, kill the alpha specifically. You could seduce them. You could capture them in a Pokeball. Um, you can try to buff your animals. So on your turn, you can like train them to use guns or whatever else. It has to be something realistic, right? You can't say like train them to, uh, fly to the moon or whatever. It's something vaguely within realism, but we do have traits coming up. So that will, uh, add things to the mix. Um, and of course you can research technology or new stuff. You can, um, here's the, here's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to try to keep the program more on rails than I have in the past. So if it goes off on a tangent, if we're like, if you guys are doing one thing and you're saying, hey, I want the monkeys to eat all of the bananas and starve the llamas or something, um, then, and, it, and it's like, meanwhile in the bear exhibit or meanwhile in space, I'm just gonna immediately cut that off and we, and we continue on the old thing. I'm basically gonna try to force it to stay on track. Um, and then like last time, if it's really dragging on, We'll call, we'll do a redirect, which is where I restate the initial prompt, and then you get five continues to close it out. Um, I'm going to try to make it move a little bit faster. Um, I mean, obviously, the hope is that it's goofy within and spontaneous and weird. I'm not going to, like, completely rail it. The tangents are fun, but I think it got a little too... I think we were indulging in the tangents too much last time, so I'm trying to rein it in. Um, and we'll, we'll see how this goes, right? Um... Another new thing that we're dealing with, uh, we're going to try out. All animals must have a random trait, and that random trait has to be included in the prompt that you use. Basically, this is a personality trait that your animals will have. Anytime you get a new, a new animal group, we will spin a wheel to determine what the traits are. The traits currently are very horny, able to fly, wielding guns. I'll say holding guns. Very horny, able to fly, holding guns, laser eyes, extremely depressed, rocket scientists, afraid of the color red, extremely gassy, very, very old, expert swordsman, terrified of birds, in love with tigers, equipped with blowholes, short-term memory loss, cyborgs, only able to turn left in a cult that worships Harambe. Are there any other that uh, you would like me to add to the wheel? Ideally, this is a, this is like a trait that they that is going to influence how this group of animals can engage with the rest of the zoo. <laughs> Divorced. Okay. Yeah, okay, that's fair. That's fair. Pregnant. Okay, I'm trying to avoid things that could result in horrifying scenarios and disturbing content. Pregnant feels a bit risky. <laughs> cannibals. Yeah, cannibals is a great one. Um, cancer is not really a trait, I guess. Um, <laughs> are Twitch streamers? Dude, that would get the program way off track, I think. Um, hairless doesn't feel like that's enough to really, um, influence the program much. They are popes? That doesn't really make sense. I think you can elect one of them as, as a pope. G gay, I'm I'm hesitant to do gay again because I'm worried the program will accidentally come up with something a little fucked up. I think if if people, uh, various characters have become gay or trans in the previous uh, AI invasions, I think I'd rather have that be spontane spontaneous 
rather than have the... Pro I'm just concerned about what might happen with the program. Um, if we're, like, forcing it in a certain direction when you're talking about, like, animals ripping each other to pieces, potentially. Lawyers. Okay. Atheist. I just don't know that atheist is going to, like, really affect... I mean, we could do atheist... I, with that, so, so, so again, the traits are like, you're going to have to include it in the prompt. Atheist isn't like a thing they would do, right? That does, I, I feel like atheist isn't going to really affect things. Um, like, would the AI have some sort of real indication or, 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 or use that in some sort of meaningful way? Shapeshifters. That feels a little too crazy. Very, very seductive. We already have very horny. And we could say extremely religious. That could come up with funny stuff. And I won't say what religion. Because then that could turn into anything. Um, single dads. <laughs> sure, whatever. That's dumb. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, wasted drunk. That's good. Disguised as gorillas. <laughs> What does that do? What does that do? So I'll be like, the llamas begin attacking the tigers, but all the llamas are <laughs> disguised as gorilla. Yeah, I don't know what the program will do with that. That'll be good. Um, we could do. This is too much. <laughs> yeah, our, yeah, Instagram influencers. <laughs> uh. At risk of spontaneously combusting. That's a good one. Oil barons? How would it like how would a giraffe be an oil I guess that sort of makes sense. Yeah, blind is a good one. Okay, blind but extremely <laughs> strong smell. No, we should do hearing. No, smells funnier. I feel like I feel like they'll come up. The AI might come up with weird stuff for that. Um, okay, ninjas. Yeah, ninjas is good. Um, undead. The new cocaine bear movie. I don't know what that means. I've never heard of that. Oiled up. Okay, there's a lot of oil-based things. I don't think we need oil. I guess we could do addicted to olive oil. Like, I think the, prog the program might do funny stuff with that. We already have cyborgs. Um, I mean, I, I, think, I think we're... Addicted to drugs is very funny. Um, I think we're probably good. I mean, because there's only... What? How many animals are there on the board? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, there's like 15 or 20. We have, um, we have a lot of traits. I think we're good. Addicted to drugs, I feel like, is better than in rehab. Can use fidget toys. I don't know if the program will know what that means. There's 17. Okay. 17. Don't we already have smelly? We have extremely gassy. <laughs> I feel like that counts for extremely smelly. Um, pro gamers. <laughs> super, super hot. Wait, don't we already have sexy? No, we have horny. Okay, we'll do this. I think these are, uh, I think these are good. There, there's lots more ideas here that are good. Um, I want to start with something a little bit smaller and then see how this, this feels. So let me add this list. So again, every time that you, uh, that you capture a new group of animals or that you persuade them to join your, your empire, then, uh, then we will roll to determine what their special trait is. That's how, how it'll work. All right, sweet. Uh, we're almost there. Um, <clears throat> are extremely small. Well, I feel like the animals will just dictate that already, right? I don't know. There's a lot of other good options. Let's uh, let's start with these. Um, <clears throat> Ray, thank you very much for the 12 months. Appreciate it. Uh, let's start with these, and then depending on how it goes, we can add more. 
Um, I think we have more than enough, though. Uh, once again, <clears throat> a few other things before we kick this off. On it's the streaming time. Um, damn right. On the oh, 18 spaces and the sign. 18 spaces and the, and the most important resource, which is the welcome sign, which gives you no points. Uh, the other thing, uh, I think two other things to 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 to, to, to figure Dad, out. It's your One, content. This invasion needs to bring in some serious funds, or else the basement people will have to go. No! I'll do anything to keep them there. Okay. Um, you guys on the eastern half will say giraffes, koalas, llamas, monkeys, panda bears, otters, or penguins. What do you guys want as your starting uh, animal group? Jesus, take the wheel. <laughs> Who to start as? Uh, llamas, koalas. Monkeys. Uh, why am I dumb right now? What is this called? Panda bear. Otters. And what's the last thing? Dude, I do like me some penguins. All right, this is your... What the hell just happened? Oh, come on. I accidentally went back. Oops. Okay. Oh, wait, there we go. Never mind. It's still going. Okay, not unexpectedly, you guys are going for otters. Um, again, I'm gonna start without any special resources. If we take over the koal eggs a bit, do we get chlamydia as a resource? <laughs> Not unless the program gives you chlamydia. Then you can have it as a special resource. Once again, as a reminder, only up to three special resources this time. Um, if you guys want to, like, elect Rosa or something, you can do that, but, uh, you you have to spend a turn doing that, basically. You have to recruit her, I guess, or elect her, or whatever it would be. Um, up to three special resources. All the other points have to come from the board itself. Um, okay, you guys are going to start as otters. Showtag VR, thank you very much for the 12 months. Appreciate it, man. Thank you, thank you. And if you're starting as otters, hey, I will start for letting me as llamas. Night. All hail the shit king. <laughs> thank you. Uh, let me, uh, let me draw the board. And now, um, start thinking about... Don't care, lol, lol, lol. Thank you for the five gifted subs. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Uh, there's a few more things we got to do before this uh, is totally ready to go, by the way, so. Um, bam. You guys. We're taking the otters. Congratulations. Is that purple enough? That's fine, right? That's purple enough. Yeah. We need Kung Fu Panda. You dumb motherfuckers. You're going to be distracted by memes down here while I go straight for Harambe, the ultimate meme. Again, Harambe's worth two. Um, I'm going llamas. I'm going llamas. Llamas is a sick play, dude. Llamas can spit on you guys. When I win, I'm going to have my llamas spit on your bodies. You would. What does that fucking mean? What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean by that? You can't say that like it's some sort of like clever insult that really digs at my insecurities. <laughs> I don't know anything about llamas. What's wrong with the llamas? <laughs> They're cool. They're big fluffy boys. They're like a fluffy horse. Can you give Harambe a halo? <laughs> yeah, okay. Wait, no, I want to get started. That's too much. How about when somebody captures him, you get a halo? Okay. These are our two starting spots. Typical Douglas move. You would, llama boy. Um, boom. Music. Two things left to finalize. One, the number of points. Uh, we've done first to 10 before, and we've done first to 13. I think uh, those went on like a little long. I'm thinking, especially now that, that special resources Guys, are not going to provide as many fish points. Fish from Elmo to feed Teresa. Fish from Elmo? Elmo fish? I'm thinking eight. Eight is what I'm thinking. Because there's there's basically, it'll be harder to get points now. So I don't want to go up. People are saying like 20. No, the point is not to go higher. Um, I mean, I think, I don't, I don't really think we should be doing five, like seven hours of this, like last time. Um, okay, tentatively, we're going to say eight. Or sorry. Um, 
tentatively low, we'll say 10. So still 10. First to 10 points. Uh, if it's going on super, super long, like if, if it's been three hours and we're both still at three or four points, then Take I'm, I'm going to bump it down to like seven Any or eight. advice on passing my computer science final exams? I clearly don't know how... <laughs> <laughs> well, how do you, you can't say serious question and then ask me something I have no context or information. I cannot tell you. I don't even know what class it is. Can we develop no, a I science don't. lab to genetically engineer buff kangaroos? If, if you, yeah, if you want to spend a turn doing that, sure. Um, I study hard is the answer. Practice, do lots of practice problems is actually the answer. I don't. I feel bad if you literally were putting all of your future grades on me with that question, but I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Jesus, take the wheel. Uh, Bray, I think for the gift. So I appreciate it. I'm excited for mecha dinosaurs. Look, if you guys create mecha, di I made the map big so that there's room for other shit if the, the AI brings it into the equation. Okay. Uh, I believe the last thing we have to do. So we're playing first to 10. Um, we will bump it down to like seven or eight if it's going on a super long time. But theoretically, because I'm going to try to make the AI move a little bit faster, uh, we will get through points quicker. And if it's if we get to 10 super fast, we can push it to like 15 or something. Um, I believe the last thing before we get started, it's already been 30 minutes, the last thing before we get started uh, should be the names. In the previous AI invasions, we did empires. However, in this case, we are animals. You are a bunch of otters and I'm a bunch of llamas. So I'm thinking our, I'm thinking it's more of like, I'm thinking the Dug Dug herd? What do you want your name to be? It, I feel like it could be like an animal, the Chatters. <laughs> Which shouldn't it be Chatters? It, okay, it's gotta be Balling like on name. Benjamin Button and his backwards aging. What? It's gotta be like name and th how are you calling your group of animals? You know how it's like a, a pride of lions, a herd of whatever. I think you have to be First a blank time of being blank. Able to catch your stream. Found you recently from the video of you locking your chat in your basement. How do Hopefully you find you're doing well down there? <laughs> Thank you, Deathbane. A gaggle of okay. I mean, I guess here. Let's do. Sorry, let's do this in two. We're gonna do this in two, two, two pieces. First is your the name of your gang. Um, Can we invent a Doug Doug you choose and use it as a peace sign to the penguins? You can do that. Oh, yeah. D Doug Doug U2 is on sale. Uh, go to U2's.com. Uh, I think it's cool. I think it's great. It's on sale for another, like, week-ish. So be sure to grab one now. It'll limit time, all that stuff. Sale ads, Pog. Um, okay. A hive. Yeah, you could do the hive. Instead of the Zupo, okay, we this. can have the guy that shot Arambi as a special resource to shoot all of Doug's animals. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> yeah, I guess you could get the zookeeper. Oh, you just want to be called Cincinnati Zoo? <laughs> that doesn't make sense, dude. Um, okay, I'm seeing a lot of murder. Hey, murder doesn't sound like animals. I think it should, like, I don't know that I want to do murder. Zoos have little golf carts, right? Can we convert some to tanks? As long as it's realistic, yes. I know that murder... I know that murder is a is a term used to describe crows. I get that. What we I'm saying is this is going to be confusing for the AI. to the animals and heal them. It's going to keep thinking you're killing people, right? Every when you say murder of of otters. Um Oh, school of chotters. That's also going to be confused shit, dude. I think Doug, we should use like really simple down? animal I'm phrases. To watch Rosa. Okay. Um um, so, because if we do like school, the program's just gonna think we're talking about a school. It's not gonna think we're talking about animals. I think we gotta use like a like a hi like hive or herd or stuff like that. I think we should do hive of blank, and that fits for you guys, anyways. A squad. That's pretty good. Pack of chotters is also good. I think that's what they actually call a group of otters. Or no, it's called a shoal, right? What is it? I don't remember. A parliament, like owls. Same thing. I feel like it'll. I feel like the AI will get really confused. Again, I understand that parliament is a real term. That's not the question. The question is like, will the uh, same thing with cult? I don't think. I guess cult could probably work because cult is at least still like, hey, this is a group of people, so it should work. Um, mob of of chotters also works fine. All right, one of these options is fine. You guys seem to like chotters a lot. Um, that makes sense given your your starting thing. So this is gonna be the the name of your whatever you are. I don't think I'm going to allow Cincinnati Zoo, by the way. 
<laughs> it's too confusing. Because this is all happening within a zoo. You can't be the Cincinnati Zoo within the San Diego Zoo. Okay, it looks like, it looks like you're going between Hive and Cult of, Otter, uh, Cult of Chotters. <sighs> okay. I like that. I think that's strong. Strong American name. Okay, <clears throat> so you guys are a cult of chotters. What am I then? I'm a llama. How do I turn that into a Doug pun? Rip Ottoman Empire. Yeah, sorry. Dugma. That sounds like a D's nuts joke. Llamug. <laughs> Doug, I guess you have to eat your words about the U.S. in soccer. Holland, Holland, Holland. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't do too good. Actually, we did okay. We did all right. This does not look readable. Nobody would look at this and go, oh, yes, llama good. Can we build a Doug hole on the map? Dougie Lamy. Uh, yeah, if you guys want to spend a turn doing that. Any question of can we do blank, on your turn, you can do it. Like, within reason, you can do it. As long as it's, like, physically possible. Llama W. I feel like it should be related to Doug, clearly. The Dugmas. Bill put my money in the Doug hole. Thank you. My whole quiver's in delight. Um, you guys are the Chotters. I've put it in a hole. It's your pocket. Okay, thank you. Lug. <laughs> <laughs> the lug herd. I, I, I wanted to, I want, no, I'm doing dogma. I know that's lame. Um, but I just hey, want this to be like easily understood. Night, by the way, the name is not that important. King. Thank you. You're, you're welcome. I mean, um, like we want it, we want it just to be readable. The herd of dogmas. No, I'm the dogma herd. What is a group of llamas even called? I actually don't know. Group of llamas name. They're just called llamas. Dugly llama. I don't know that we need to be like pulling in the Dalai Lama into this. A drama of llamas. Can I work that in here anywhere? How? No, I think I just do this. It said group. I'm doing the Doug Doug my herd. Maybe I, can I just be Doug Doug herd? Do I have to make it into a llama reference? <laughs> I guess you guys are the Chotters. Okay, Chat, fine. We must find Freddy Fazbear at all costs. He will be the one to vanquish Doug. Doug my herd and the cult of Chotters have been fighting for control of the animal kingdom. Inside. Okay, so this is us setting the 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 tone. Tells us to get new jokes and memes. Calls the gorilla Harambe. Yeah, okay, but that's relevant to a zoo. That's relevant to a zoo. I'm not just cramming Saul Goodman into the zoo. Um, the Dugama herd and the cult of Chotters have been fighting for control of the animal kingdom inside the San Dugio, Dugge, Dugigo? Dugiego Zoo. <laughs> Dugiego Zoo. The Dug herd, uh, the Dugma, Dugama herd. Jesus, take the wheel. Was first formed by a bunch of llamas. In the, uh, like, yeah, in the llama exhibit. The, ch the, uh, cult. This is like the starting prompt that will set the tone of the whole story, basically. The cult of Chotters, um, was founded. Did you know giraffes are the only mammal not to have vocal cords? They are like us in that Doug has taken both of our voices away. <laughs> this is why we should start with giraffes. Thank you for listening to my TED talk. Okay. I believe we're ready to go. The final thing. I don't know why I said I believe we're ready to go. We have to do one more thing. You have to spell it. You should spell it. So, Doug, can I establish a Doug furry cult in no. one of the bathrooms or at the otters? Or can we have that as our startering resource? No. So you know this money for the edit is not you since you are too self-centered. <laughs> okay, no. Um... You can do whatever you want hey Doug, on your turn. Ready for next you don't have to ask Twitch me. Chat invades, <laughs> yeah. 
All right. Um, you guys are going to be up first. The zoo begins with you guys in the otter exhibit. Your otters are... <laughs> Suffering from short-term memory loss. Very good. Okay, we gotta add... <laughs> we gotta add a note. What do you mean, let's go? <laughs> How is that a good thing? How- I don't- I mean, whatever. I'm sure you'll convert this into some positive somehow. Oh wait, no, let me just copy the text. Okay. Alright. Your otters have short-term memory loss. Meanwhile, my llamas... ...are... ...holding guns! Let's go! <laughs> That's a way better trait, dude. <laughs> I'm loving this show. I am finally gonna win one of these! No, not unless you have an air force. Then you can. Okay, uh, we need guns. God, I'm gonna need- I'm gonna need a lot of pictures, huh? Okay, now that we have our traits, we are actually ready to go. On now, you might think that this is rigged and, like, me having guns is gonna make this better, but you know as well as I do that- <laughs> No, it doesn't. We have no fucking clue how this is gonna turn into anything. Um, start thinking about your first turn. Um, I will, uh, be getting you guys' uh, turn it set up shortly once I have some they guns. Spawn. God, they respawn. There's a lot of people who want to spam a lot of caps for some reason. Just a reminder, you'll get- you'll get modded if you type a message of a shitload of caps. What if we forget that we had recruited animals and we recruit them again? It's the same point. You don't get double points because you forgot that you had a point. Search My llamas are awesome, dude. The monkey army to use them. Wait, th he's not pointing at Harambe. If Harambe dies, it's not my fault. <laughs> Whoever, if Ed, if either of us kill Harambe, that's Death gonna be to a big fucking oppressors. problem. <sighs> we're not oppressors, dude. We just have, we're just cool. We have guns. What are our powers again? Your powers are that you have short-term memory loss, or is that your joke? All right, the stage for our zoo is set. I've got llamas with guns. You've got otters with short-term memory loss. Chat, what do you want to do for your first turn? Got him. <laughs> Shut up. Um, as always, I will look in chat for suggestions. Uh, recruit. Okay, hold on. What did the male alpaca say when he was kicked out of the house what is for cheating on his wife? Rosamine. Alpaca bag. Thank you. Hold on, what, hold on, hold on, hold on, stop for a sec. What does recruit Rosa mean? You you are the otters. You are a cult of otters. What does that mean? Elect. For law okay. keeping purposes. Elect what year does Rosa this invasion take place in? Rosa as your leader. Um, what year does the, yeah, good question. 2020, okay, like way in the future in 2025. Okay, elect Rosa as your leader. Um... Elect Rosa as your Pope. I will allow Pope. Forget gravity and fly. No, that doesn't count. Snowbird, thank you for the 12 months. Appreciate it. Uh, you do not have Parkser. You cannot get him to shoot the otters. Um, 
Get Parkser to shoot the to shoot the llamas. I am going to say that Parkser's not here. It has to be people who realistically would be relevant in a zoo. Rather than just anybody on planet Earth. Shoot Harambe. You don't have a gun. You don't have a gun. They Only my llamas have a gun. Space. I think you should be able to use a turn to send monkeys if you have them to space, but you gain nothing and lose monkeys as a resource <laughs> just for bragging rights. Maybe. Uh, recruit Steve Irwin. This is the recruit the car the crocodile hunter. We will say this year is taking place. Okay, this this is officially taking place the year before Steve Irwin died, so that he's he's still in it. Seduce the rats. Okay, as a reminder. Okay, you having short term memory loss from the beginning is the worst because now you guys are going to constantly. Now you have an excuse to constantly be re asking things I've already answered. <laughs> Okay, you can only you can only interact with an exhibit that is within one space of you, within one space of your of your well, Doug, cult. You know okay? what they say about trying to take over a zoo. I sure don't. So you've got penguins. You can go for the welcome sign, I guess. You've got penguins, welcome sign, goldfish, koalas, and panda bears. Those are the, those are the guys you can interact with. You cannot go get the rats yet. Um, I can shoot the rats. How about Carrie's a Toy Story two greatest Disney movie of all time? Physical copy. <laughs> That's so specific that doesn't know we're, we're moving we, we're good on traits we're good on traits um hi okay recruit the local janitor i'll allow this the local zoo janitor biff so, so what do you mean by take over the welcome sign like invade like i guess just grab the welcome sign doesn't give you points steal the welcome sign okay it does not give the you points. I want to be clear. Wheels. I guess it would be a special resource. It'd be one of your three special resources. The animal has wheels. That is a good one for the future. Um, okay. Try to seduce the penguins. No, you can't reform the otter NFL. The welcome sign is critical. <laughs> uh, research trank darts. <laughs> That's a good one. Um, try to fuck the fish. <laughs> the goldfish are in a fountain. This could actually happen. The uh, hey, hey, you guys here in the zoo? The otters snuck out of their exhibit and <laughs> went and fucked the goldfish Hi, fountain. Doug. How's your mother doing? <laughs> when was the last time you called her? Eat the goldfish. Uh, a couple days ago. Thank you for that question. Um... Seduce the welcome sign. You guys do have short-term memory loss. Maybe you forget that it's not a real thing. Okay, these are you got ten options. Do one of these. Um, you'll have plenty more opportunities in the future. What do you want to do? You can't turn you can't turn otters into dinosaurs. If we like discover dinosaurs, you could do that, I guess. All right, looks like Electros as your Pope is fighting with Seduce the welcome sign. <laughs> Which are really potent options, you guys. I'm so curious what the AI does with your short-term memory loss. I, wa I, I don't know how much of a problem that's going to be. Okay, it looks like you're going for seducing the welcome, thing, the welcome sign. That is a thoroughly stupid way to open, but let's go for it. Okay, um, so let me just... Let me make sure the prompt is all good, and then we are actually ready to go. The... the, the uh, first formed by a bunch of um, llamas with guns. Okay, cool. So this is our starting prompt. What if the We're AI define that there are more animals? That's fine. We add them to the map. If the AI creates more animals, they're added to the map. Um... So I'm putting this in memory. For people who are curious how this works, just a little bit of actual info about this. Last time with the space one, we tried to, trying to use like I tried using all the different tools, and I don't feel like they really helped personally. Um, so I'm just going to use one of them, which is the simplest, which is memory. So memory, what it does is like as the story is building, because we'll have two different stories basically. We don't have memory. <laughs> um, as the story goes on, every time you generate a new line this whole paragraph gets added to the top. So basically, 
Um, cause there's a limited amount of story that it can remember. So like it'll sort of move down with a certain limited amount of story as we generate more and more. So this makes sure that it always remembers this like core thing. We shouldn't have memory because of our loss. You guys don't have memory. The storyteller has memory. So in both of, and then as we both, um, as we both get more animals and stuff, I'll add it to the memory so that the program, the, the story is updated on both sides. Memories, what's that? Jesus Christ. This is the worst possible meme for you guys. Because all the people in chat who just genuinely seem to have short-term memory loss or an inability to read or understand what's happening before yelling at me what's going on now have an excuse and everybody else will go, oh, that's funny. He, yeah, that guy's just do part of the meme. But he's not. He's just not Doug, reading. He's just about illiterate. Trait if you roll it, you have to roll two more times and add both traits to the animal. I like the idea. I want to keep it simple for right now. We'll see how this trait concept goes. What are you talking about, Doug? Jesus Christ, this is a mess. <laughs> this is already a horrible idea. Okay. <clears throat> so you guys... Um, Chat, we need to hire Dr. Doolittle to negotiate with the animals. To begin their conquest. The Cult of Chotters. Decide to it. Um, decide to achieve. Jesus, take the wheel over the zoo. Or sorry, even even the, over the zoo's welcome sign. You're trying. Wait, you're trying to seduce it, right? What does that mean? Are you trying to fuck it? What are you doing with the with the sign? No, you didn't forget. This is this is like one minute ago. Okay, are you asking it to marry it? How? What is the criteria at which you've succeeded? Because it is a sign. So it can't, it can't reply. <laughs> what sign? Like, just let the AI do it and we were, okay, we'll just run with it. That's fine. Nobody seems to remember anyway. To begin their conquest, the cult of Chotters decide to attempt, um, attempt, I'll just say, attempt to take over the zoo's welcome sign by seducing Hi, it. Doug, Even though, where's the gift shop? Where will we throw all our money? Um, it's in the b rat bathroom. <laughs> Maybe you can, you guys can build a gift shop at the welcome sign. That actually makes sense. Um, what? Who? Sign? You guys are, <laughs> this is simultaneously the funniest and worst possible intro. Okay. The cult of Chotters attempt to take over the zoo's welcome sign. I have my username. I have prepared for this day my whole life. Okay, any problems with this prompt? Otherwise, we're going. Actually, for the sake of this very first read, I will include this. What prompt? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is dumb. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, I am very excited. This is the beginning <clears throat> of AI Invasion Zoo Edition. Here we go. You guys are three in one in AI Invasion. I am going to fucking win a game. This is the one. I'm feeling good. I've literally got guns to kick this off. <clears throat> huh? Who are you? <sighs> the Dugamer Herd and the Cult of Chotters have been fighting for control of the animal kingdom inside the San Diego Zoo. The Dugamer Herd was first formed by a bunch of llamas with guns in the llama exhibit. The Cult of Chotters was founded by a group of otters with short-term memory loss in the River Otter exhibit. Now the two groups seek to take control of the entire zoo and begin conquering the other animal exhibits. Now into memory. <clears throat> to begin their conquest, the Cult of Chotters attempts to take over the zoo's welcome sign by seducing it. Even though the otters have severe short-term memory loss, they know that the welcome sign will help their cult, and so they head over to seduce it. On the other side of the zoo, the Dugama herd is also attempting to conquer the welcome sign. They are led by an alpaca named Precious, who has a very small penis. She heads to the side where she meets up with her fellow Dugamas, including an alligator. Okay, this is so f <laughs> Hold on. Uh, an alligator, a hippo, and a peacock. All of them are members of the Dugama herd because they all have tiny penises. That's not canon. You're going to forget this in a second anyway. In addition, Precious is the leader of the Dugama herd. <laughs> Congratulations, Doug. No, shut you up. You did it. Do we continue? Job, Doug. This is already off. Wow. Doug, that 
but it's it's uh, it's about the welcome sign. I think we I think we continue. You're incredible. I'll redirect it if we need to. It is rumored that she once had a large penis, but it got eaten by a fox. <laughs> so now she makes sure that anybody who joins the group must be at least as bad off as she used to be. Okay. Okay, that's fine. True. Precious convinces the welcome sign that if he helps her conquer the other animals in the zoo, then she will make him the most important sign in the world. He agrees and begins helping them conquer the rest of the animal exhibits. All right, I'm calling it. I got the welcome sign. Huge turn of events. Massive play by Doug. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> what sign? <laughs> this is, <the laughs> is going to be the worst. God, with the previous ones we did, at least took like a 10 minutes or like 10 turns for it to ramp up a bit. Like already, okay. Like, <laughs> whatever, fuck it. Okay. <clears throat> there were comments on the last space one that were like, okay, this got two off the rails. You said it doesn't count. I have the welcome sign. It's just not worth anything. It is technically part of my, of my herd. Like, I, there's just no purpose to it. Okay, I've officially taken the welcome sign, even though that gives me nothing of value. I'm also led by Precious the Alpaca, apparently. Give it to us if you don't want it. No, I'm keeping it. Just the fact that you don't get to have what you want. You, like, you guys have fucking destroyed me in the previous ones of these. I want to win. I want to win. I'm not going to be generous. I'll be fair, but I'm not going to be generous. <clears throat> okay. Um, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? Interesting. Half of this is for Puck, so when he finally says it back, the other half is for his retainer to enforce the trust until it comes into effect. Okay, I was gonna go for hey, bathroom rats. I'm gonna go for koalas and then flamingos. Wednesday. I'm going for the koalas. Can a couple episodes so you can wish me happy birthday? Hulk smile. Um, it would be cool if there was like a reverse function. Happy birthday. All right, Hope it was good. We have to put Small all our resources pee -pee on in the map memory. to get around Doug's limitation on us. <laughs> no, I'll put it in the prompt. I'll put it in the prompt. Uh, the Dugamar herd. Llamas. If we capture flying so recently, animal, can we go for moon bears? Yes, fine. Well, if, no, no, we got to keep it like somewhat realistic. Is my pee, pee a special resource? Is it Doug? That is an alpaca, not a llama. Yeah, that's yeah. Oh, this is an alpaca. Well, the program clearly knew that. Okay, saved. Um, no, 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 my, my, nothing that I have, it's too small to be a resource. <laughs> nothing that I have is a special resource yet. Um, it's just my leader is Precious the Alpaca. Um, the Dugga has recently captured the welcome sign. Emphatic error, thank you for the 12 months. And now they set their sights on the koala exhibit. Um, Precious. Lads, the alpaca rats leader. breed fast. We get the rats and make a lot of them. Plan? <laughs> you could breed a lot of rats. Um, begins to attack the koala exhibit with Train their pandas guns. In Kung Fu or Chi. Extremely small penises. Is this good? Any issues with this? <clears throat> I mean, you gotta get the pandas first. You can train the- if you steal the welcome sign back from me, you can take it- you can train it in Kung Fu. The welcome sign does appear to be sentient, apparently. Oh, wait, hold on. Is the welcome sign, um, is the welcome sign a special resource? I feel like we do say it's a special Doug, resource, can right? can recruit the zoo janitor, the best animal in the entire zoo? Yes. 
It didn't even mention us on our own turn. That's true. Yeah, that happens sometimes. If it, again, if it totally derails to something that has nothing to do with the prompt, then, um... I, I guess I did say the welcome sign would not be a point. Okay, so that's not a point. If it derails to something that has nothing to do with the prompt, I'm going to cut it and and go backwards. This last one, it de it didn't derail. It stayed focused on the welcome sign. So that's why I allowed it to keep going. I don't know. We're figuring it out, dude. This is uh, not always exactly 100% clear what's happening. <clears throat> with all that being said, my turn. I'll change it to wieners. Hopefully I don't get banned. Is that how you spell wieners? Oh. All right, I'm up. The Dugamer Herd of Llamas has recently captured the welcome sign, and now they set their sights on the koala exhibit. Precious, the alpaca leader, begins to attack the koala exhibit with their guns and extremely small wieners. The cult of Chotter sends out their leader, Wiggly the Otter, to lead his troops into battle against the Dugamer Herd. He's accompanied by several of his close friends who are all loyal followers of him and his cult, Shiver Hosepipe and Zoot. As he travels through the zoo, he comes across an elephant that is sitting on a bench eating some carrots. This looks like a good place for me to rally my troops, says Wiggly. All right, fine, we'll run it. I don't think so, sir, said the elephant. You see, I'm an elephant. <laughs> Wiggly takes offense. Why don't you come down here and fight us then? This does it. No, thank you, sir. I prefer to sit in a nice, comfy chair while enjoying a delicious carrot snack. Shiver, Wiggly's third in command, thinks it's time to test the water. Well, if you're afraid of us, what do you say we just leave your little corner of the zoo alone and go conquer a different part of the jungle? You wouldn't be any worse off than you already are. Zoot speaks up next. Yeah, let's just leave him alone and head over to the monkey exhibit to start our conquest there. Wait, no, no, no. Hosepipe chimes in. A wise choice, but let's not forget about the elephant exhibit. That's one big... Pile of poo. Shiver points to the elephant. What do you mean? What do you, does he mean by that? He means the elephant poop. So I suggest we get out of here and head to another part of the zoo before he makes a mess of our fun. Okay, we'll continue this. Two more turns. Wiggly is ready to throw down with the elephant. I'll show you a big pile of poop, Mr. Elephant. Let's see how well you hold up against a real army. With that, Wiggly turns around and marches away, followed by his loyal followers. Later that night, Wiggly leads his troops into the monkey exhibit where they successfully capture the monkey exhibit. How? Why did I get the welcome sign in your turn and you go steal the monkeys on my turn? This doesn't make sense. Fine. Whatever. We run it. Chat, congratulations. You're lousy. I was here. <laughs> Jack, congratulations. You successfully get the monkeys somehow instead of me doing anything. <clears throat> the score is now one to two. <laughs> was I here? <laughs> Um, I might delete... Oh, wait. We have to find out what monkey traits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good question. Okay, so the monkeys that you just captured are... <laughs> disguised as gorillas! How does that change anything? All right, whatever. <laughs> what does that accomplish? <laughs> Foolproof. Uh, okay, how do I what what how do I represent that on this? <laughs> the traits are great. This is working awesome. Okay, let me try this. Chat, we are obviously going to marry oh, your sister mask. Harambe, right? I mean, you can now pretend to be Harambe, I guess. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Stupid. Can we capture the welcome sign and change it to a welcome sign? <laughs> that doesn't make it worth the point. I guess if you change it to a whale come sign, you could that could be a special resource. Doug, quick. My math homework is due. What is six times five? And the oh. three numbers on the back of your credit card? Uh, uh, 24. All right, congratulations, chat. Your monkeys are now disguised as gorillas. I really, I don't see how this helps you. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> you are up. How about a manslaughter of otters? Manslaughters of otters. Tell the welk, okay. What next? I mean, you could try to. Okay, hold on. Um, I'm gonna say don't. I don't want to. I don't think attack the llama exhibit. I'm gonna say llamas off off limits because then I, the game is like over. Um, let's say our home base is you can't steal, right? I can't. I can't take over the otter exhibit. You can't take over llama exhibit. Just as like a make sure the game functions, you know. Um, okay, eat the fish in the gold in the fountain. A lot of people want to seem to do that. Uh, recruit Harambe. So, again, you can... Again, your empire now, your cult, consists of the otters and the monkeys dressed up as gorillas. Can we evolve the alligators You can only do things that are that next to you. That would be cool, me thinks. P.S. This is for the editors. I don't think you can evolve them in the, in the course of a single AI invasion stream. So you have access to giraffes, panda bears, koalas, goldfish. Hey, Douglas slash Gotham. Oh, and penguins. Um, make an alliance with the goldfish. Crochet with the gorillas. Way. Okay, elect <laughs> fake Harambe. <laughs> elect fake Harambe as your new leader. So you're just pretending to have Harambe, is what your plan. <laughs> uh, make space monkeys. Um, Jesus, take the wheel. <laughs> Wagner, thank you for the five gifted subs. I'm gonna say you need to like research space stuff. I just don't wanna, it's like too off. We, we wanna keep it somewhat contained within the feasibility of a zoo. Um, hey, just fruit. testing to see how the TTS would want to say this. Mug, mug, mug. Anyway, got him. Burn down the welcome sign. Can uh, you give the llamas recruit hats? Biff as janitor. I can give the llamas hats. Fake the moon landing <laughs> with the monkeys, but they look but they look like gorillas. What would that do? That wouldn't do anything. Um. Okay, you already have. Um, to go these nuts. Make an alliance with the the penguins. Thank you. Uh, we've got Biff in there. Oh, a lot of people want to teach the monkeys kung fu, but you don't can have the panda bear. To NFL? No, you can you can form a an otter sports league though. Oh, teach the monkeys how to use tools. That's a good one. And then elect Rosa as Pope. At this point, I feel like you have better options. Your call. All right, here you go. These are your, these are your choices. <laughs> write Shakespeare. That's a good one. Next time, you should have them all uh, write on a typewriter to see if they uh, <laughs> to see if they can write Shakespeare. I'm so curious what this program does the with the fact that the monkeys are pretending to be gorillas. Let's forget our divorce. <laughs> That's true. Okay. You are deciding to teach your monkeys how to use tools. 
What is our negative? I can't remember. Oops. What what do you um Do you want is it a specific tool or just just broadly tools or can we forget that we have short term hey, memory loss only remember. for a few minutes? What's our defining character trait again? Jesus Christ. Stone tool. Power tools. <laughs> I'll say power tools and we'll say that you like got them from the exhibit or something. What if you get Harambe and it disguises itself as a gorilla? No, I I think we keep it. Okay, um, here's a, here's the thought. So on your on both of our turns, it just became entirely about the other team. I'm thinking what I will do is de just delete that. So that's still hey, Doug, canon. Greetings from England. But it's not going to be in love your the, the, and the, the story. Thanks for the laughs. Hey, thank Bud. you. So the thinking here is like if I don't do that, it will probably continue to talk about my team instead of yours, right? Because most of the story is now about, or I could swap them. Yeah. Oh, that's an interesting idea. Yeah, we can just swap them. That's that's smart. Okay, let's do that. Because literally, my my prompt just immediately became about you guys and vice versa. Um, and as we saw with the space one, uh, you know, if certain characters show up, the the program is going to try to like continue to have the characters be there, and that just causes uh, continuity issues. Okay, cool. So, stories are good on both sides. Do I need to update the memory? I probably do, right? Did we roll yet? And if so, what did we roll? I forgot if we did. Jesus Christ. Um, successfully, I'll update the memory. The Cult of Chotters was founded by a group of otters with short-term memory loss in the River Otter exhibit, and they successfully captured the monkey exhibit. Cool. So essentially, the memory hey Doug, for both. When can we get our adjective? <sighs> we're gonna really, we're gonna really lean into this joke. Essentially, we'll have at the very top of the story, the program will be reinforced with, "Hey, here's who owns what." So hopefully, there isn't weird stuff where you guys now go attack the monkeys again or something. Okay. <clears throat> Let me write this out. So you guys just had Wiggly uh, capture the monkey exhibit. So Wiggly, who is still suffering from short-term memory loss, recruit the chimps to go ape shit on Dugema. I mean, I guess you're gonna give them tools first. Wiggly, who's still suffering from short-term memory loss, um. Decides that the odd that the cult of Chotters must Killing teach. Killing Rambi should just cause him to ascend to heaven and become more powerful. Yeah, I like that. Who is Wiggly? Wiggly's your leader. Oh, got it. This <laughs> is stupid. Wiggly, who is still suffering from short-term memory loss, decides that the cult of Chotters must teach these monkeys how to use tools. Um, power tools. With this. Knowledge. Doug, what are we doing? I forgot. <laughs> However... <laughs> what is it going to do with it? Whatever, dude. Do you, like, it's going to be so... <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh, 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 we'll help. Yeah, sorry. <clears throat> all right, all right, all right. If we take over the monkeys, can we recruit units from balloons? Yes, that's a good, that's a good call. Um, I'm trying to think of a song that has to do with monkeys and gorillas. I don't have one. Hey, Doug. Silly question, but how are you using that lasso select, but it wraps around the object and you don't have to be exact? It's the lasso. It's the it's just the lasso. Yeah. Um. Or unless you're talking about magic wand, which is recruit Harambe by taking our decks out. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, apparently, my dicks have been out uh, from the beginning. How is who a monkey song? I don't get it. Remember that Otters used rocks as a weapon. Oh yeah, good point. All right, here we go. <clears throat> you guys are up. 
Wiggly, who is still suffering from short-term memory loss, decides that the cult of Chotters must teach these monkeys how to use power tools. With this knowledge, the monkeys will help the cult invade the rest of the zoo. However, the monkeys are disguised as gorillas. When the Dugama herd arrives at the gorilla exhibit, they find out that the gorilla exhibit is full of actual gorillas. Okay, no, I'm, I'm redoing this one. So this is where it, like, completely derailed. We're just going to cut it back and go back. <clears throat> However, the monkeys are disguised as gorillas. Wiggly is startled when he sees the gorilla dressed as a monkey. Who are you? Who are you really? The gorilla turns around. Me? I'm just a lowly ape named Butch. Why do you ask? You're a gorilla and you act like a monkey. What are you trying to pull? Okay, so Wiggly is very convinced that Butch is actually a gorilla. Butch replies, why would I want to pull anything? I'm just a simple gorilla. My people are peaceful and we only eat bananas and other fruits. We don't even own a power drill or a chainsaw. It's not fair that I have to wear this costume when everyone else gets to be themselves. Ah, oh, Butch is a sad little gorilla. How dare you? This is my zoo, my rules, Wiggly yells. We're going to train you and your fellow primates to use power tools to help us capture the rest of the zoo and put an end to all the other animal exhibits. Jesus Christ, Wiggly. With that being said, Wiggly begins training the monkeys to use power tools. However, the poor monkeys can't figure out how to operate the tools. They keep turning them on, but the drills and saw just do nothing except vibrate. I think that's a failure, dude. One more, and unless... One more shot. Unless they learn it right now, that's it. The monkey leader, Calvin, tries to explain to Wiggly that he's wasting his time, but Wiggly doesn't care. He continues to train the monkeys anyway. One day, Wiggly decides to go back to his secret hideout to discuss the status of the war. Nope, nope, nope. Monkeys do not understand how to use tools. Turns over. We got vibrators. Well, <laughs> it's not a special resource, but you do have vibrating drill saws. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, what do I want? Can we get the option to get high with the koalas? Do koalas do that? Do they get? I don't know what that means. Yes, as long as, as long as it's feasible, then a zoo. They just need to apply themselves. They have so much potential. How about the otters raise money for our later endeavors via fundraising Twitch stream? <laughs> yeah, that's good. Um, do we have gorillas? You don't have gorillas. You have monkeys that are disguised as gorillas. And Wiggly, your current leader, believes they're gorillas. Man. Which makes sense. She would have, like, forgotten the costume. I'm gonna go for the bathroom rats. I'm going to shoot the bathroom rats with my llama gun. We have to hunt the goldfish. They still have a shorter memory than we have. <laughs> True. Um. Doug, can you please turn up the heat in the basement? It's getting really cold and I don't want to huddle with the other prisoners for warmth. <laughs> It actually reminds me to turn the heat down. <laughs> it's, it's a little hot in here. I'm turning it down. Sorry, everybody. Hi, Doug. What are we doing today? I can't remember how I got here or whose house this is. Don't worry, you're safe. Wiggly will take care of you. With the welcome side captured, sets their sights on the rat infested. Remember, chat. Otters can use rocks in the wild as a weapon. You know what? I'm gonna say it. I'm feeling confident hey, about this sweetie, one. Hey, sweetie, this is your mother. I got stuck down in the basement and need help out. Shut up, mom! I'm playing zoo. With the welcome sign captured, the Dugama herd sets their sights on the rat-infested northern bathroom. Precious, the alpaca leader, uses her guns to try to take out the alpha rat. But the alpha rat, who's actually a female rat named Jillian, escapes from the bathroom before Precious can capture her. Precious, the alpaca leader, realizes that this meant that Jillian could be leader of a rival gang. She decides to find her and kill her so the Dugama herd can take over the rat colony. She asks her lawyer followers to help her search for the alpha rat. Meanwhile, 
Jillian, the female rat, has tried to convince a group of rats to join the new Dugama herd? Her plan works, and a group of rats joins the Dugama herd. Wait, what? They're being led by a male rat named Paul. Jillian is not happy about this and decides to go after Paul. Wait, okay. So there's the Jillian rats, there's the Paul rats, and then me as the alpaca. I think we let this ride. She ambushes him and tries to eat his brains, but he fends her off with his tiny wieners. Jillian, why do the rats also have small dicks? Why does everybody in my herd have small wieners? Jillian realizes that he might be able to lead a successful coup against Precious, the alpaca leader. Wait, no, don't do that. She decides to let him live. Meanwhile, the Precious, the alpaca... Wait, hold on. Meanwhile, Precious, the alpaca leader, leads her group of Dugama herd into the monkey enclosure. They are led by a penguin named Carlos. Wait, okay, so th that's it, right? What happened to the rats? Okay, hold on. Ignore ignore Carlos for a second. There's a group of rats that... Okay. Let me... Here's my interpretation. I did not successfully capture the main rat colony, but there's a, but there's a group of traitor rats led by Paul who joined my herd. And Jillian actually attacked Paul who beat him off with her wiener and she decided to let him live. So I have a group of rats, but not the official bathroom rats. Is that a special resource? Is Paul and the small rat colony a special resource? I feel like that could be. No, yes, no, yes, no, yes. I don't want to do half points. Let's let's just go. Let's let's keep it like you know. We need to recruit Jillian. Um, that group is leading a coup against you. No, Jillian's leading a, a coup against me. Yeah, but they might rebel though. I'm not doing half points. You don't own Paul. I think Paul. Her plan works. A group of rats joins. So they join the herd. I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to say no. I want to like not be overly generous. I'm going to say no because I don't think there should be multiple groups of rats. There should be like a single group per, per animal, right? Like we keep the animal as a single group. Um, Paul is going to lead a coup against you. Well, maybe. We don't know. He almost had his, he almost had his brains eaten. Um... It's a special tactics rat hit squad. I mean, I definitely have the rats. Ah, dude, I don't know. Is that a special resource? Is my rat group a special resource? So th the reason I'm thinking about this a lot is because this is going to set the precedent in the future if a group breaks off from the main group. Is that, like, a resource or not? Because um, this will apply to you guys, too, obviously. The rats are undercover. Um... Yeah, I, mean, I could go either way on this. I think it's just, do we want to set the precedent that there can be like a whole bunch of different animals sitting around on the map? Um, it's a rat hit squad. Okay, we're leaning towards yes. Mm, I feel like this is going to get really messy if we do this. But it's gonna happen. No, we gotta roll with it. I think we go. We we go with it. Um. So, but I have to add rats to the. I have to add rats to the the group now. So in the future, if the animals splinter off and a second group joins your cult, that will still count as a as a point, and I'll put them on the board. Not as like a new terror. Oh, fuck. This is confusing. Well, whatever. We'll make it work. Um. We'll play it by ear. But basically, you guys have given me, um, you guys have been generous with me, so I will try to do the same in the future. What will we do with a drunken sailor? They can live in the welcome sign. Okay, so I did not take over the... I did not take over the bathroom rats, but I did get a little second rat colony, led by Paul. We forgot the rules. I 
I just showed up and I'm an otter. What's going on? Why am I in a zoo? Where is my wife? How did I get here? Where did the days go by? Splinter cell rats. I don't think they get a trait. Fuck, this is confusing. I guess they do need a trait. I mean, if it's a new group of animals, it should get a trait. Like, if you yeah, guys get yeah. dinosaurs or something, we it should get a trait. Over the goldfish yeah, I think it needs a trait. Exclusively short term memory. We could try to breed with them, and our offspring would maybe have regular memory. <laughs> That's not Either that or no memory, but it's worth a shot. <laughs> It'll have shittier memory. All right, let's um, let's give my new rats some traits. My new rat colony is. Doug, who are you? Shit! <laughs> okay, well maybe Paul will forget he was gonna do lead a coup against me. <laughs> Hi, Doug. Who are you? <laughs> Alright, I've got short-term memory loss rats and llamas with guns. You guys are up. Give the welcome sign a trait. Welcome sign's not a point. I guess Someone it is sentient. For your Hadron Collider trip. Do you think it's a good idea to marry in a zoo? Though I should ask my significant otter. Nice. Okay, we're giving the welcome sign a trait. It is... It is ninjas! The welcome sign is a ninja! <laughs> It's still not worth a point. <laughs> you guys are up. <laughs> the Duke Mahood carry the guns to compensate for their tiny penises. <sighs> okay. Elect Rosa as so last time you guys attempted and failed to Chat, get monkeys to use power idea tools. How we win. I forgot it. <laughs> Okay, uh, people are still talking about electing Rosa. Um, people are talking about balloons. What do you want to do specifically? Like, train the monkeys. Let's do train the monkeys to pop balloons. Elect the sad gorilla as leader. A lot of people want balloons related things. I think we should just do train the monkeys to pop balloons and then we'll see where that goes rather than forcing it into a specific. Um... Uh, a specific sort of angle. Train a monkey hit squad. Mm. Ally with Jillian the rat leader. Ooh. Recruit pandas and teach them kung fu. You can just try to recruit the pandas. You can't do both in one turn. Recruit the panda bears. Assassinate the welcome sign. <laughs> Again, it's not worth anything. Unmask the gorillas? <laughs> what would that do? Uh... All right, two more. Um, yeah, hire the greatest zookeeper, Steve Irwin. I mean, that's a strong one. Mm. And attack and eat the goldfish. Okay, I misspelled it, but that's fine. Here are your options. What do you want to do? Hire Kevin James. Oh yeah, he did a movie about zoos, right? I certainly did not watch it. <sighs> hey, Dougie Llama. Will there be an AI takeover over Doug Doug University? Also, how do Maybe. llamas pull the trigger? With their tongues? That's gross. They spit on the trigger. Okay, you guys want to try to ally with Jillian the Rat Leader. I think that's a smart play. Doug, your next one of these should be taking Wait. over the breath of the wild map. You guys aren't next to the rats.
Uh, yeah, I might do that at some point in the future. Um, I kind of I want to allow it, but that's like blatantly against the rules. Jillian escaped. Remember? Stay calm when you want to harm a llama. Call the llama farmer. Now Jillian is definitely part of the rats. Um. Okay, she escaped from the bathroom. Oh, she okay. did escape. You can have your tiny member as a special resource. <laughs> no. What was your next highest one? She did flee. Jillian is the rat leader. She is the alpha rat. The bathroom is no man's land. Um, I think we do the next one. You guys got to get close. You got to get close to... should be counted as a negative resource and reduce your score by one. No. No. Um, it's not the size of your llama penises. It's how you use them. Uh, next... Wait. What's the next highest voted one? I don't see. Yeah, hire Steve Irwin. We're going to do hire Steve Irwin. So, again, reminder of rules. You can only interact with a, with a, uh, a space on the board that's one away from you. I think we should stick to that. There's, like... Let's try to have some semblance of structure here. So unless you know, and the AI can just say, "Oh, you went over there," and then that's true. The A the idea is that we are suggesting to the AI you what happened, and the AI is true. That is what happened. Um, no, we don't need it. Uh, we're too powerful with our guns. So you guys can only interact with these and this, and technically the llamas. Um, redo hey, the poll. What are we doing today? Well, it was the next. The next option the is Steve Irwin. Why would we redo the poll? I mean. Fine. You can vote for up to three, by the way, in the future. You don't have to only vote for Put one. Put a very tiny censored bar under the alpaca. Maybe count it as half a special resource. Okay, why is the poll different now? That doesn't make sense, but whatever. You should add a question mark next to Paul because he isn't sure. That's true. Uh, okay, it's still Steve Irwin. Oh, no, never mind. It's train the monkeys to pop balloons. Okay. Horse facts. Doug, can we have them? What? Okay. Let me write the prompt. Uh. The shotters should get a special resource for having normal sized penises. Wait, Wiggly, is Wiggly male or female? I forget. Because it program like keeps bringing up. We can up. infect Storyteller with our short-term memory loss. Wiggly is, or it keeps changing, right? Or both or something, doesn't matter. Okay, I'll just say. Wiggly forgets, they, I think it keeps, yeah, it keeps changing anyways. Wiggly forgets that they try, were trying to, to train the monkeys in power tools. And then comes up. With a great new idea. Dad, the otters I lost should... my memory in the divorce. Them being disguised as gorillas is funny to me every time. We need Kowalski, Rico, Private, and Skipper from Penguin Exhibit as an elite strike force. Yeah, those guys are pretty badass. You have to admit, short-term memory loss is a great excuse to switch to a new action. It is true. Like, this actually, it cannot, like, helps the structure of the story a lot. All right, y'all, let's do it. <clears throat> Wrong button. You're up. Wiggly forgets that they were trying to train the monkeys in power tools and then comes up with a great new idea. The otters should train the gorillas how to pop balloons. So they begin trying to train the monkeys who are disguised as gorillas. 
However, the monkey leader, Calvin, has had enough. He refuses to learn how to use a power tool, especially when he knows that the otters are trying to trick him into doing so. Wiggly's getting frustrated. Okay, they're back on the power tools. Do I redo it? Do I continue this, or do I restart it? We can still redo. Okay, I'm going to redo. I'm actually going to... Here, I'm going to make this a little more explicit about balloons. I don't think I said balloons enough. Okay, I'm redoing it. I'm adding more about zoos. Sorry, Calvin. Wiggly forgets that they were trying to train the monkeys in power tools, and then comes up with a great new idea. The otters should train the gorillas how to pop balloons. By popping lots of balloons, the monkeys will help them take over the zoo. So they begin trying to train the monkeys who are disguised as gorillas. Unfortunately, the otters' plans never works because the monkeys are too stupid to actually do anything useful. The otters are disappointed again. To make matters worse, the monkeys are getting hungry, so they decide to grab some food. Okay, let's see, see where it goes. As they are leaving the training area, a large gorilla walks in and wants to join the training session. Hey, what are you guys doing? The gorilla asks. We're putting you through your paces, says Wiggly. In that case, I'd love to join in. You're late to class, Butch, snaps Wiggly. Oh, no, it's okay. I'm a gorilla. <laughs> we have a lot of free time during the day to train. See, this is the problem, Wiggly angrily shouts. Now we have two classes of primates to train, and we can't get them to learn anything. It's okay, we'll just get some more bananas, and then I'll show you how to bust a few balloons. Sounds good? Wiggly starts laughing. Yeah, sure, we can try that. Just don't expect much. You'll probably just blow up a bunch of balloons, and that's it. What? That's not fair! I got this! Butch picks up the power drill and walks towards the door. Okay, is he actually gonna pop balloons? What's going on here? Wait a minute, Wiggly says. Where are you going? To the banana patch, says Butch. I need a little something to eat right now. Don't worry, I'll stop you! Wiggly, Wiggly runs after him and grabs him by the tail. No, you won't. I'm gonna teach you how to pop some balloons. Okay, they're still potentially gonna train him. Okay, let's see how you like this, Butch yells as he pushes Wiggly over backwards. Gah! Wiggly screams in pain. Butch laughs. Ha! That's what happens when you underestimate me. Wiggly sits up and wipes blood off his face. That's it! I'm done with your monkey shenanigans! You say that now, but I know you'll change your mind once I've taught you the proper way to pop some balloons, huh? Wait, so Butch knows how to pop. Butch picks up the power drill and grasps it tightly. Then he charges towards the door of the training room. Wiggly quickly jumps on the table and puts his feet on the ceiling to prevent Butch from getting past him. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. What are you doing, Wiggly asks. I'm going to pop some balloons. Butch reaches out and grabs the drill, which is running on high speed. He squeezes the trigger, and the drill explodes in a large cloud of smoke. Okay, if he pops a balloon, then you, then you did it. The explosion knocks Wiggly backwards, sending him flying against the wall. Ouch, that hurt, says Wiggly. He shakes his head and gets back up. Butch keeps using the drill, and the blast blows Wiggly off the table and onto the ground. Are there any balloons here? Ha! You shouldn't have underestimated me. Now I'm going to pop more balloons. Butch picks up the drill again and blasts Wiggly backwards. Ah! That hurts! Wiggly screams out in pain. As, oh, my God. Wiggly screams out in pain as he hits the ground. Butch continues to blast Wiggly until he loses consciousness. When he awakens Wiggly in his bed, Wiggly is in bed, and Butch is standing over him. Good morning, Mr. Otter, says Butch cheerfully. Did you sleep well? Yes, I did. Thank you. Are you feeling better today? Because we're going to take over the zoo. Okay, they still have not popped a balloon. We're giving it up to five more. They did. No, there's been no balloons. He just keeps saying he's going to pop balloons. Butch is a resource. They learn tools. We learn power tools. Well, he just, it said in the previous one you didn't. I don't think they actually know how to use power tools. They just know how to make them vibrate. And maybe that's used to pop balloons.
Why are you even doing this? Why would balloons help you? What, okay, we're going to redirect it. We're going up to three more ties. Up to three more tries to try to pop a balloon. You have to actually pop a balloon here. We've got to see it be popped. Butch is a real gorilla. Is he? I think but I think Wiggly just doesn't know that Butch is disguised as a gorilla. Fine. Five more. Five more. Are you feeling better? Because we're going to take... Okay, so we're going to redirect it. You get five more continues to try to pop a balloon. Okay. Are you feeling better today? Because we're going to take over the zoo. But first, I will attempt to pop some balloons. One of five. Wiggly Grugly gets out of bed. Is that right? Well, I guess I'll let you pop the balloons. I hope you know what you're doing. Of course I do, says Butch. I wouldn't be able to tell if I couldn't do anything right. He picks up the power drill and gets ready to explode the balloon. Here goes nothing. Okay, this has been so much buildup. Is he going to pop a goddamn balloon? He doesn't even know how to use the power drill. He just knows how to make it vibrate. Butch slowly squeezes the trigger and the drill suddenly blows up. Wiggly falls to the ground, unconscious once again. Nope, nope, nope. You did not pop a balloon. All you did was knock out Wiggly. No deal. It's a lost point. These guys are still just worthless monkeys. Butch is a gorilla. I don't, there's no, we haven't confirmed whether it's a gorilla or just a monkey disguised as one. We can blow up power tools. You clearly don't know how to use the power tools. He blew up the drill. <laughs> hey Doug, didn't see you were streaming. Have some bits before I forget. Oh, hey Doug, didn't realize you were streaming. Let me give you some bits before I forget. Oh, Doug. I didn't notice you were streaming. Here, have there some you. bits before I forget. That's a resource we have bombs. No, 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 no. I'm saying no. Sorry. I, I don't think any of this is like. I think. I think we should try but to. We, we should try to have this work. Freddy Fazbear. We will be out of supreme weapon. But he's so cool. Let's uh let's try to set set some rules here. I think a special resource we should say unless there's some like really strong exception. Because I've had like eight characters show up. Remember, I had those three people show up to attack the welcome sign. I think I had a penguin at one point. But we're not adding any new characters a special resource. Bush, first off, Bush clearly does not, not know how to use power tools. He keeps killing Wiggly. Um, I think the, the special resource should, unless something like crazy awesome happens, be you have to spend the turn trying to gain it, right? But you got Paul. But Paul was a group of rats that I tried to gain that turn, right? That's different than just... A gorilla walks in. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, Butch just walked in and started blowing up power tools. You, you still, you have Butch, but he's not a special resource. And you can yell rig, but um, I'm, tr I'm trying to be stricter this time around. We're going to see how it works. You may or may not think uh, this makes the game better, and I, um, I will be heartbroken if you think that it's rig. I'm up. Score is still tied. Oops. Spell balloon right. Well, balloons is the game. Okay, going for the rats last time. Didn't work. Jillian seems like a real fighter. I'm going for giraffes. I'm going for giraffes. You're actually winning 3-2. No? No, I have I have llamas and rats. The sign is not a point. I guess quick quick recap for people who've joined recently. So to start out, Twitch chat are otters with short-term memory loss. I am llamas with guns. What happened first? You guys tried to take the welcome sign, which has no actual value. It's just for style. But somehow I ran in and stole it instead. And then I tried to go get the koalas, I think. I tried to go get something. And then you guys came in and took the monkeys instead. Then I tried to take the rats, but the rat leader escaped. And a second cult of rats showed up and they joined my party. 
So I have a group of rats, which counts as a point, but they're not the main bathroom rats, so I can't advance across the map with them. And I have llamas with guns, and then I have the welcome sign, and the welcome sign has short-term memory loss. I guess I gotta add that. Wait. <laughs> this should the welcome sign <laughs> be all question marks because it keeps forgetting what it is? <laughs> Oh, it's a ninja sign. Right, right, right. Yeah, sorry. I was blank. Wait, who's the short-term? Oh, right, right. Sorry. Paul and the rats are the short-term memory loss. The welcome sign is a ninja. My bad, guys. Man, that would have been a travesty. I'm going to go for giraffes. Mm. How do I do it? I know. I'll try to ride them like horses. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try to recruit them. I'm just gonna run in their enclosure and try to ride them like a horse. That's a badass idea. I'm gonna undo this. Precious, the leader of the llamas, who is also holding a gun. Is this fair? Any issues with that? You mean the rats? No, I'm going for the giraffes. Fighting the rights. Instead of fighting... Oh, sorry. Alright, cool. PETA has issues. PETA can suck my tiny wiener. Horses. Giraffe horses. Let's go. <clears throat> Precious, the leader of the llamas who is also holding a gun and has a small wiener, decides that the llamas should switch strategies. Instead of fighting the rats, the llamas should get the giraffes as battle mounts. And so Precious and the llamas run into the giraffe exhibit and try to mount them like horses. This has got to work, dude. But the giraffes are not interested in being mounted by llamas. They run away and jump into the river otter exhibit next door, which is currently occupied by a group of otters who were recently released from prison. All right, we let it ride. Maybe you guys are going to do something to giraffes. The llama riders become confused and disoriented by the water and fall down into the river. Meanwhile, the alpha rat is enjoying her freedom from the bathroom and finds herself attracted to Paul, one of the rats who joined the Dugama herd. This is all over the place. Let's run the ride. Jillian, the female rat, is not impressed with the Dugama herd's approach to taking over the zoo. She tells Paul that Precious, the alpaca leader, is only interested in having a small penis, and she wants to lead the Dugama herd instead. Um. Oh, you guys were in prison, but you forgot. Paul agrees and leads a coup against the alpaca leader. But Precious, the alpaca leader, fights back. She shoots Paul with her tiny wieners, which makes him turn into a zombie llama. He's a rat. Get him, Precious. This gives the other llamas the opportunity to surround Precious and take her prisoner. Why is Pre- Wait, what? But Precious, the alpaca leader, does not give up easily. She manages to escape with Jillian, the female rat, and some of her remaining followers. So I lost Precious? She then leads her gang of llamas to the gorilla enclosure where they plan to use the gorillas for their own army. Now, okay, and now meanwhile, Jillian and Precious are plotting to- I think I just lost Precious and nothing else. We get Precious. No, 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 they're in the gorilla exhibit. No, that makes sense, right? I just- I lost Precious. That's all that happened. And maybe I have a zombie giraffe. Llama. We have giraffes. 
Okay, all I did was lose Precious. Pre Precious is plotting against me, but... What happened to the giraffes? You lost pre- Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, wait. Oh, but he was leading a coup. Okay, Paul is my new leader, who is a zombie llama. Do you guys have the giraffes? I don't feel like that's strong enough for you to get the giraffes, of, of them just jumping into the otter exhibit with you. I feel like you guys, like, should have the advantage. How about, like, you're- So they're in your exhibit, but I don't feel like that's the same as getting them to join your team. I, I will say, like, if you guys want to interact with the um, with the giraffes, I'll, like, try to give it an advantage. It'll be like, the giraffes already jumped into the otter exhibit, so they're open to the idea. Like, I'll try to, I'll try to like, lean it in your favor, but I don't think them just being in your exhibit with no other interaction should count as you guys getting, lom uh, getting the giraffes, right? There's got to be some kind of actual interaction. Um, okay, well, not a great turn for me. You guys are up. No change on my board. I guess my leader is a zombie now. Kinshell, thank you very much for the five gifted subs. I didn't lose my Listen, rats. Chat, we need the flamingos. They are able to I stand lost in these rats. Water. Um, how would I make this look like a zombie? Is that doable? One, one sec, one sec. I'm not looking at the ideas. Give me a second. Higher salted train our herd Make to it fight green? Eagle okay. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> I don't I don't want to jam if Saul is relevant in some way to what's going on, I'm down. But otherwise I wanna give the sign a trait. Oh, these alerts are very behind. As a reminder, just yet again, I am not going to be able to really reply to um or text to speech is gonna be very delayed today, so don't give me money. Jesus, take the wheel. Let's get the rats so we get rats controlling monkeys as our main army or just marry into rat royalty. <laughs> marry into rat royalty. Yeah, this is this is Paul now. This is Paul my Zombalami. Chat, our next move is clearly to forget we are at war and go eat some crabs. Uh oh. Alright. Now I'm looking. I'm seeing sacrifice the welcome sign. You don't have it. You can destroy, like, attack the Wait, welcome sign. Since we have short term memory loss, do we not forget they are actually monkeys as soon as they put on the disguise? See, that's what I'm thinking. Even though you guys were saying Butch is a gorilla, I think you just forgot that he's a monkey in a gorilla suit. Breed, uh, sorry, with the giraffes. Elect host pipers, the sheriff of Ottingham. Or recruit the giraffes. Um. Eat the goldfish. Distract the pandas with a chapter four Fortnite live event. <laughs> um. Enslave the koalas. I feel like you could just you could just go recruit them. That feels excessive. You can do whatever you want though. Um. Hey Doug, I wanted to thank you for this stream. I've been saying you should do a furry RP stream for a while. It's not what this is. Uh, seduce the pandas. Also rigged. Got him. Butch said he was a gorilla gorilla. Yeah, that's what he would say if they're disguised as gorillas. We go private, and Skipper from Penguin Exhibit, as an elite strike force. Have Wiggly get married to Butch. Then Butch would count as a special resource if he's like married into your into your cult. <gasps> um, I mean, I'm seeing a lot of like just 
recruit, finally recruit caught the penguins. in live stream. What the heck is going on? AI invasion taking over zoo. He's a monkey. Uh, yeah, he had a tail, by the way. Butch is clearly a monkey disguised as a gorilla. Um, I mean, I'm seeing like train assassin sloths. I mean, some people are saying train assassin monkeys. The monkeys haven't been very receptive to you training them. Uh, let me get a couple more. Make a treaty with the pandas to be the battle mounts for the monkeys. I mean, we could do another like recruit. I mean, again, the giraffes, you would have advantage. I mean, you could try to do what I did, like ride the giraffes as mounts. All right, let's do recruit uh, Biff, the zoo janitor. These are your 10. Chat, we must recruit King Julian and his lemur army. What is that? So you can vote for up to three, by the way. Just do it as three different messages. So just if you want to vote for one, it's four, two and years seven. Subscription. That's cash in the trash. Jay did, did. Thank you very much for the two years. Appreciate it. Um, just do it as three different messages. So it'd be like one, and then five, and then seven. Right. All right. Looking like breeding with giraffes seems like the main thing. What would that look like? A giraffe? An autaf? Chat, <clears throat> let's recruit Billy Mays too. Do something. Maybe be disguised as something. Mmm, seems like a bit of a stretch. Breed with drafts. When Wiggly wakes up, he learns that the giraffes... I forgot what I was donating 300 bits for. <laughs> ...have all run into the otter exhibit. I was here. Wait. Where am I? Oh wait. I think Wiggly... Wiggly uh, seems fluid, but I believe it was he last time. I'll just go with whatever the the uh, program used most recently. Let's call the cops on this the work? for smuggling yeah. things into the zoo. Ha ha, got him. Got who? What's Scott? Where oh, I guess I? I can put I can put this Is up that here. Is llama holding a Glock? Uh, he forgets everything that happened recently. Let's do Why that. Are you again? I forget. Forgo. How about that. You don't choose and we forget. I mean, so so I'm just, I want to include the trait in every single uh, turn. That's the goal. I just have to include it somewhere. So, um, yeah, this this works. Yeah. Doug, what are the rules I forgot? There's going to be somebody who comes in here. And it's like, hey, can you please tell me what's going on? What has what happened? We're doing. Is this a crew versus sad crew? And what is up with all the animals? And everybody, they're not going to be able to get any information. <laughs> Okay. Uh. Hey, Dugger. How are you? Hey, Dugger. How are you? Did I already say that? I forgot. Cool. Let's run it. <clears throat> We gotta wait. We gotta wait for the sexy saxophone. Saxophone begins in like 20 seconds. How about we get a large hamster wheel? <laughs> Roll to seduce the giraffes.
I can add a little more. Here we go. <clears throat> Seduction time. When Wiggly wakes up, he forgets everything that happened recently. Then he learns that the giraffes have all run into the otter exhibit and started swimming around. Clearly, the giraffes are interested in joining the cult of Chotters, so Wiggly tells the otters to try breeding with the giraffes to bring them into the cult. The otters immediately begin trying to copulate with the giraffes romantically. Wiggly and his followers continue fighting their way through the zoo. No, no, no. We're going back. You could have captured the elephants, but we're... If it's completely off tangent, we we redo it. <laughs> Meanwhile, Butch and Shiver have been training the... Nope. Oh, sorry. Oh, you almost had the monkeys training balloons. We're redoing again. The next day, Wiggly has a meeting with the cult members to discuss their plans. Wiggly explains to the others it needs to find a way to get rid of the kangaroos. And we're going back again. I explain how it's going to work. If it just completely derails to a different topic at the beginning, we're redoing it. Unfortunately, the otters and the giraffes have difficulty mating because the giraffes are very shy and awkward. So instead of having sex with each other, they start having sex with each other's friends. Okay, that still counts, right? Or is it talking about your monkeys? Soon, the otters and the giraffes have developed a strange new species of animal. Their bodies and heads are both made of hair, and their arms are long, thin sticks attached to their neck. These animals are called hair giraffes. Okay, it worked. <laughs> I mean, that's simple science. I'll give it one more. They are like the giraffe, but they have the body of an otter. The hair giraffes are also very sensitive and don't like to be touched or handled. They aren't very happy with the situation. They want to mate with each other. The hair giraffes begin to fight with the otters who are trying to breed them. We're not gay! The giraffe shouted the otters. <laughs> okay, we're leaving it there. You got hair giraffes. If that means you also got the giraffes in your empire, you got giraffes. <laughs> How do I represent this? What do I do? <laughs> Put hair on the giraffes. Well, do I put him on this draft? It's like a second thing over here. I think that's special resource. I think hair drafts are special resource. That's enough that I'll allow it. Well, uh, by my own rules. Yeah, I'll allow it. I got Paul. I got Paul. You guys look at hair drafts. Hair drafts need a trait. Okay, fine. The drafts also need a trait. Great song. Uh, I guess I put a wig on the giraffe. Oops. Eh, I'll just go with this one again. Um, so I need to add. Okay, you guys are getting giraffes and hair giraffes. Their trait is gay. Well, I think that's that's that can be true on top of other traits. Those are not mutually exclusive. Um. <laughs> this is a good wig. This is an emergency. My divorced wife wants to marry me for the sixth time. Should I do it? Six times the charm. I thought they weren't the memory gay. memory loss helped yes. me forgot to. Otter body. Oh, are we really doing this? Recruit Harambi, able to use a blender and get that Jesus. Long sticks from neck. I'm just going to use the giraffe neck. It 
It's a two-year subscription. That's cash in the trash. Banana bits, thank you very much for the two years. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Man, you guys almost wanted me to not keep re-rolling. You would have missed out on hair giraffes. Um... Oh wait, I don't want the body. Hold on. This is a mess. <laughs> this is, this animal should not exist. It Everybody looks like it's in pain. About monkey ball from. It's perfect. <laughs> Water, thank you for the five gifted subs, man. I Appreciate it. I was going it. to make a joke, but I forgot it. <laughs> this thing is horrifying. Okay, you got hair giraffes and the normal giraffes. We'll give them both traits. I'm having amnesia and deja vu at the same time. I think I've forgotten this before. We stan hair giraffes. Doug, I forget. Is your small PP a special resource? No, it's just a cool personality trait of mine. So we got now vibrating monkeys? Got to seduce the crocodile president of the zoo. Damn, that was a big turn for you guys. They look like they want to see my manager. <laughs> Listen, chat, next time we need to get the flamingos. They have acid resistant legs. Also, Doug koalas are always high because of the eucalyptus they eat. Oh, I didn't know that. That's fucked. God damn it, I'm going to lose again, aren't I? I'm not going to lose. It looks like. I think I like this trend of just adding special resources to the board instead of having the list up here. I think that makes more sense. Can we show the vibrating monkeys some old RPGs so they know how to kill the rats if Doug gets the rats? <laughs> okay. Let's assign some traits. The giraffes are... Hey Doug, are your tiny wieners a special resource? I forget. Equipped with blowholes! <laughs> I guess they were swimming around in the otter exhibit. Meanwhile, the hair giraffes are... This guy says gorillas! There's already too much going on with this. You have multiple animals disguised as gorillas. And the worst part is, you guys are gonna forget that they're not gorillas. You're just gonna think you got gorillas. <laughs> no, I'm not re-rolling. You've got more fucking gorillas. Stupid. Okay. 
pair of giraffes or gorillas. I'm up. I'm going for koalas. With my zombie llama. <clears throat> Draw the blowhole. <laughs> what do I do? Where? <laughs> what do I what do you want from me? <laughs> On the neck? <laughs> On its head, it has horns. I, how would I do that? I think it's got to be off the rump. I think it's got to be on the rump, dude. There's no, there's no, that's just a hole. Yeah, what do you think a blowhole is? I, I don't think, I feel like I shouldn't show this on stream. Bl I'm going to look blowhole on Google Images. Ew, I feel like I'm not allowed to show this. Make it a water spout. Oh, that's actually a good idea. That's better. Water spout. Let's get Carlos, get him a poncho, and let him lead the vibrating monkeys. What? No, that's not the right thing. Hold, please hold. Add small PP as a trait. No. Hi, Doug. Are your streams always this phallic? Surprisingly, no. I don't know why the AI, like, went hard on penises right off the bat. I mean, now the problem is that it's, like, kind of woven into the story. Hey, Doug. Rad fact. A group or super family of rats. My sorodents is called a muroidia. <laughs> okay. Is that cool with your- is that a- Is that cool? Hey chat, don't forget to recycle and refill the water tank in the basement. We all depend on the water tank to keep living. You didn't forget, right? Okay, giraffes have blowholes now. <laughs> Looks like the llama shot it. No, he's been aiming his gun at the rats. And Harambe. Okay. <clears throat> I cannot. I will not Can allow you to win. Goodman, but forget to pay him. No, there's no seals. Win another AI invasion. I'm just gonna shoot the koalas. I have to win. I'm not losing another one of these. I'm just going crazy mode. Hey chat, if we send out a squad of monkeys to learn to swim, we can have them become sea monkeys. We grow ever stronger. This will be interesting. The rats will be the first animals with short-term memory loss. I wonder how <laughs> this will affect things. <laughs> okay, that's funny. Um, any issue with me? I want to delete from this point forward. I guess, I guess Precious has left now, which is sort of important to mention. Oh, and I do need to mention, um, I just want to make sure the story stays, like, kind of on rails. Like, I don't want it to just be about Precious and Jillian. Hmm. Precious took my gun. No, Precious took her tiny wiener. Hmm. I'm gonna... So, we know that Precious and Jillian have escaped. I'm gonna r remove this, though, just for the story to be, like, kind of focused. Um. Okay, now I can say my turn, which is that... Paul the Zombie Llama with a gun is now the leader. God, I cannot type today. Distract the koalas with a chapter four Fortnite live event.
elephants with short-term memory would be hilarious. Also crocodiles able to fly would be absolutely terrifying. You know what they say about llamas, the bigger the glock, the smaller the car. <coughs> I do need to update the memory, actually. Um... Let's build a time machine to get dinosaurs. And... Of hair giraffes. Alright, hold on. Just setting up and then we're good. Almost there. Cool. The memory is now updated with uh, with everybody's scores. Score for people wondering is scores currently two to four. Two to four for a while now. Thank you, Doug. Less than three. Less than three. You're welcome. This one's been very, very fun. I just joined. Can you give a summary of what happened? Are you serious? I don't actually believe you. I am the llamas. I. I accidentally stole the welcome sign, but that's not actually worth a point. The welcome sign is a ninja. The llamas have guns. I tried to take over the rats. A splinter group of rats came off as a new colony led by Paul, who has short-term memory loss, and they joined me. You guys went and took the monkeys, who are disguised as gorillas. You tried to train them in power tools and balloons, but failed. You did manage to breed with the giraffes, who have blowholes, and create a new, a new species... Of hey, hair giraffes who are disguised as gorillas. A super family of rats. And you have short-term memory loss. Mice, moles, hamsters, etc. is called a muroidia. Oh, interesting. Again, I'm going to redo the first line if it's not relevant to what happened. What happened to the giraffes? Jesus Christ. What's, what's music blasting? Yeah. Imagine a normal day at the zoo when you walk into this. This would be the sickest zoo visit ever. Here we go. <clears throat> Paul, the zombie llama with a gun, is now the leader of the Dugama herd. He decides that he must take more aggressive measures with his gun in order to take over the koala exhibit. And so the llamas barge into the koala exhibit and start blasting. Precious, the leader of the Dugama herd, takes cover behind some rocks. No, no, this is related to wieners and rats. No, 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 has to be related to koalas. The koalas fight back with their tasers, but the llamas overpower them with their guns. The llamas defeat the koalas and capture the welcome. We already had the welcome sign. They decide to use it to conquer the rest of the zoo. All right, nice quick turn. I'm back up, three to four. We shot up some koalas. Easy. Fucking easy, dude. That's how you do it. I didn't need to breed weird fucking freaks in nature. I just shot them. <laughs> oh. The llamas defeat the koalas. I absolutely won. You're insane if you think otherwise. Give the koalas a taser. They do have a taser. Hi, Doug. The poll is turning out differently because the Jillian voters are voting for their second choice. I don't know what the poll are is. I, I don't run the polls in chat. That's, that's that's mods. Okay, my new koalas are... <laughs> They're lawyers. With tasers, okay. So I could sue you for breeding the weird hair traps. How do I represent that visually? TTS delay check in. It is currently 2:39 PST. By okay, the we're way, like good 40 luck with the tiny genitals. Thank you. We're 40 minutes behind. Again, as a reminder, I recommend not giving me money today because hey, Texas Doug, speech is going to be really far behind. Donos, but don't know if you got them. They are vital rat facts. I I doubt that. Okay, I'll put a courtroom behind them.
<laughs> Koala Goodman. Hi Doug, why are the monkeys disguised as gorillas? Uh, because that's their trait. Hi but, Doug, but you forgot. why are the monkeys disguised okay. as All right. gorillas? <laughs> okay. First we have the trans girl boss Pope, then we have the gender fluid empress ghost, now we have the gender fluid Dr. Wiggly. AI said trans rights. We have some very gender fluid characters. Is Butcher Gorilla who got confused by the gorilla costumes and just lives with the monkeys? We don't, okay, we don't know if Butch is a gorilla or if he's a monkey. We don't know. We, we don't know. That's the, because you guys would have forgotten if he was a monkey. What else do I give him? Maybe like a hat and a gavel? I guess we trained Butch to use power tools. No, because he the power tools kept blowing up. Again, these are very far behind, but Ace Attorney Hair. Oh Jesus Christ. Is it but this is <laughs> as like as long as you're fine with me taking like five minutes to uh to Photoshop this stuff together. Doug, you should trust what I say. I just got here five minutes ago. But I am a scientifically certified degenerate, so I know what I'm rambling about. Okay. Um, I think, I think we. I speak everybody when I say the traits. So great addition to the AI invasion, which is Barry's idea, by the way. Brilliant. Um, traits make this great because then everything starts with some sort of like thematic moment. Can we use the monkeys disguised as gorillas to infiltrate and cope the gorillas exhibit? I think if you guys go, if you guys go and get to, uh, if you get to Harambe, you should definitely have an advantage recruiting him because he thinks you got, he thinks half your army is gorillas. <laughs> You've got weird giraffes and monkeys who all are pretending to be gorillas. And, but, and by the time you get over to Harambe, you can have like eight more animals, all of whom are pretending to be gorillas. <laughs> Bear, I mean, even, even Harambe might pretend to be a gorilla. We don't know. Okay, that's good. That's good. Wait, 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 wait. Because the koalas are lawyers, I could train one to be Parkser. Oh, I'm definitely doing that. Okay. That's on my turn, though. Score's now three to four. You guys are up. <clears throat> a taser. He doesn't need a taser. How long... They look like tasers look like Wait, they look like guns. I didn't know tasers look like guns. No, no, no. I'm not gonna add it. No, no, no. The tasers aren't part of the trait. Visually, I'm just gonna add the traits. Okay. Um, you guys are up. You have the next turn. Let's let's run it. Adam legit has a taser. Parks are wait, does Parks have a taser? Taser? He only has a gun, I think. Does Parker have a taser? I mean, we'll give him one of the llama guns. Okay, um, quick quick reminder for everybody. You can only interact with the exhibits Jesus, take the wheel. that are one space away from you. Kinshell, thank you again for the gifted sub. Um, so you guys can interact. You have giraffes now with blowholes. So you can interact with the tigers, I'll say with the, the alligators too, and with the rats. You can go for one of mine. You can go for penguins, goldfish, or panda bears. Those are your options. You cannot interact with um, the ones back here yet. You got to move over there. All right. Now I'm looking. Next turn, what do you want to do? Uh, a lot of people still want to recruit panda bears. Um, recruit penguins. I mean, they're f we can say they're from Madagascar. Madagascar. I mean, I, I want to like... Ruckus and Finn, thank you for the five gifted subs. Appreciate it very much. Thank you. Thank you. Um, set rat traps in the bathroom. I mean, if, again, if you kill them, if you kill or defeat them, that counts as getting them. What's we're going to assume, acre? we're going to assume that you're fighting their warriors and they would still get the overall animal population. Put the koalas in rehab, but I have them. You would have to like take them from me. Um, 
steal the guns. I don't think you can steal lasts. the guns because that's a trait. I can't remember. Seems really messed up. Anyway, what is going on? Um, eat the penguins. You already have, I guess. Um, okay, okay. Let me try to get a little more variety. I, I ones like Elect Rosa as Pope and stuff. Those haven't been chosen in the past, so I want to try to pick new ones as much as possible. Um, Why don't you ever see elephants hiding in trees? Question mark slash because they're so good at it. Try to try to breed the goldfish with the hair giraffes. Like, you just keep making weirder and weirder animals. I love this series evolution from two great empires fight over domination of Europe to the dimension otters want to fight the Jewels. <laughs> yeah, it's a natural. It's gotten weirder and weirder, dude. It has gotten stranger. Um, snipe the koalas during the day. I mean... The rumor uh, come out, does Hedger Offs is gay? What? Let us fuck the fish. I mean, try to breed the otters... And goldfish. Um, steal a single gun from the llamas. I wouldn't give you a point for that, though. I don't think you should be able to steal the trait. You could steal the koala's tasers. You couldn't steal their lawyership. Um, take over the zoo guest. Okay, yeah. Okay, grab a zoo guest and hold him hostage. So this would just be like a human that you just... <laughs> you just, like, take a guy. Um... You can't teach penguins to fly because you don't have them yet. You'd have to get the... You'd have to get them first. Um, I mean, seeing... Befriend the welcome sign. You could do that. Convince Jesus, the goldfish the that they're... Gorillas. Uh, Zwater, thank you for the five gifted subs. You can do train the drafts as mounts. Train war crabs. You don't have crabs. Um, give the monkeys bagpipes. That doesn't seem to help very much. Hair giraffes, pride parade. I guess that wouldn't like accomplish when anything for you. Open, Doug. I'd love to see Gaiotas fight some hair giraffes. <laughs> Flood the zoo. I don't know what that does or accomplishes. Make monkeys learn Planet of the Apes. I think we're probably good. Okay, sure. Recruit penguins by promising. Lord, what I have I walked into to teach them how to fly. So this is basically, you'd be like lying to them, but you could do that. Okay, here are your options. Go, go, go. Make a new exhibit at the welcome sign. You can do that, but you have to take the welcome I still have the welcome sign. Farm. As a reminder, I have the welcome sign. You would need to get it first. I stole it from you at the very beginning. Uh, I'm going to use the bathroom while you guys are voting. Boy, this certainly turned into the sound Dougie Aozu would, didn't it? Doug, you really need to stream Pagger, the greatest game of all time. Again, it's been too long. I'm experiencing withdrawal. I have an idea if Doug's about to win, let's build a time machine and go back on time to change history so Doug doesn't win. If we're basing what animals we have based on their photos you posted, then those were chimps not monkeys and us we're always apes from the start. Should have put baboons to represent monkeys. Create a super monkey with enhanced speed to pop all the balloons. TTS testing. It is 2.46 on September 26, 2020. Can't wait till Twitch chat can play against Doug for Rosa's birthday.
Hey, um. Douglas, please stop making fun about our poor head giraffe babies. They're special in their own way. <laughs> Alright, trying to breed... You were trying to breed the goldfish with the hair giraffes. Himalaya. Better call outs. Um, quick question. Has the text-to-speech been fine volume-wise today? Because I've been having a bunch of volume issues. It seems like it's been fine, right? Okay, I swapped out the cable. Replugged everything. Hopefully it's working. I don't know. It, there seems to have been some issues with this, uh, this channel in general. Uh, it's like the line import. I don't remember. Okay. <laughs> That's great to know. Um, I'm going to delete this as well. I don't want the fight to be... You missed my donation. Ah, oh, sorry. I just want to let them run while I'm gone because they're so far behind. Jesus, take the wheel. Rockus and fun. Thank you for the five gifted subs. Appreciate it. Thank you. <clears throat> is this Twitch or YouTube? That's not short-term memory loss. That's just you being confused. Rigged. Doug is using the koala's traits even though he killed them all. We talked about this at the beginning. Killing the koalas means that you killed, like, their fighters, but you still get the rest of their group. Because otherwise, you could never, like, fight and kill the group. Um, think about it like an army, like we did with uh, Europe. Okay. <clears throat> um, the breed, I am writing out your guys' prompt. Yeah, think of it like war, basically. It's classic zoo stuff. Can we steal the koala's diplomas? Yeah. I want to, like, I want the trait to be, like, solid, right? I don't know, like, if you can steal their trait from them of being lawyers. Also, I'm pretty sure they would still be a lawyer if you steal their diploma. <laughs> it doesn't... The breeding program is a massive success. The new hair drafts of the cult of Chaudders. This is a mess. Thank goodness he'll forget it all in a few minutes and ask what's happening. Also, what is happening? Hire Solomander Goodman. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Uh, and so they decided to breed a new animal by breeding, um, by sexing the hair giraffe Hi, Paul, nearby. Dementia Rat, Goodman to Sue Colad and Parks of ownership of the welcome sign. Hire the rat to sue for the welcome Um, with the nearby goldfish That's and the fountain. Um, so the otters, I'm trying to give it a little more advice. So the otters, um, try to breed them together. Yeah? Is there anything else I need to do? Okay. And I say a, 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 I say hey. What the fuck is happening in here? Yes. Th that? Does this work? My, I, I'm like repeating myself a little bit to try to give the the program a lot of guidance. This work? Ooh, sure. Hair giraffes are gorillas. They are not. They are disguised. They are hair giraffes disguised as gorillas. Um, it, this is kind of a problem because whenever gorillas come into the play, which uh, come into the picture, which has happened a couple times, then we don't know whether they're actually gorillas or other animals disguised as gorillas, and you forgot.
<clears throat> the breeding program is a massive success, and the new hair giraffes are now part of the cult of chotters. But the otters immediately forget about this because the hair giraffes are disguised as gorillas, and so they decide to breed a new animal by copulating the hair giraffes with the nearby goldfish in the decorative fountain. So the otters try to breed them together. However, because they are both males, the otters cannot mate with each other. Huh? Instead, they begin to copulate with the hair giraffes while pretending that they're doing it with each other. All right, you're fucking the hair giraffes. <laughs> they continue this until they develop a new animal which looks like a giant female gorilla. This new animal is called a giant female gorilla, and she is joined by a group of normal gorillas who are all disguised as monkeys. So that worked? Hold on, you made them by combining... You combined otters and hair giraffes for that, right? <laughs> no, it, it, this is this was referring to the goldfish, I think. I don't think that's a reroll. I think that counts. Okay, you have successfully added gorillas. Wait, no, it just looks like a gorilla. We don't, okay, we don't, they're not real gorillas. They're giant female gorillas that look like gorillas. I mean, maybe they look like a fish. Joined by oh yeah yeah you're right she was joined by normal gorillas but oh hold on but those might just be those might just be people dressed up as gorillas because you would have forgotten uh, we'll say they're real gorillas but they're definitely not necessarily real gorillas I think we can all agree we don't know for certain whether you guys whether these are real gorillas or not because you keep forgetting. And she's giant. She's got to be pretty big. Don't forget that they're disguised as monkeys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, I got to grab multiple of these. Oh, and we need a trait for them, too. All right. In the meantime, though, listen to this smooth-ass music. Oof. It would be smart sneaking up on the koalas at night and just gluing their asses shut because you are not able to do lore stuff while your asses glued. That, those are the rules. We should train the monkeys to fly using Yvonne. I'm not a scientist, but I don't think male hair giraffes and male otters make a giant female gorilla, but who knows, maybe being disguised as a gorilla changes some things. <laughs> it's true. All right, well, give me a sec. Oh, she has a dent. Sorry. She has a dent in her head. Sorry, everybody. You're going to have to deal with that dent. <laughs> maybe that's... <laughs> maybe that'll be a trick. It's not... It's hard to do. I'm doing this with a mouse, okay? Wait, but then she... Wait, no, she's described... This is probably why she's described as a monkey. These monkey masks are terrifying. Okay, which one? This or this? 
both horrifying. The GTA 5 one? Oh, that's a good idea. I can't... There's not a good, great picture of it. It would be hilarious if the gorillas disguised as monkeys gets the disguised as gorillas trait, because we'd have gorillas pretending to be monkeys pretending to be gorillas. <laughs> How deep can this gorilla hole go? She's not disguised, the other ones are. Wait, what? Really? Oh, god damn it. Okay, you're right. So the giant female gorilla is just a... Gor no, it's just an animal that looks like a gorilla. And there's normal gorillas who are disguised as monkeys. Got it. Of course. <laughs> Stupid. Okay. <laughs> I feel like they need to be a little bit smaller so you can see the color behind them. <clears throat> okay, the trait for your weird new gorilla animal is... Oh shit, they're holding guns too. That's fine. I'm not concerned. <laughs> what if she's the one who shoots Harambe? All right, you guys have five points on the board. I have three. I am up. Mm. I had a really good idea that I forgot about. I've got you it. You should put a bow on the giant gorilla so you know it's a girl gorilla and not something like an animal that looks like a giant female gorilla. That <laughs> doesn't clarify anything, though. It's just, all, it's just fine. It's an animal that looks like a female gorilla. <laughs> How would that clarify anything? Oh, right. I was going to make a Parkser. Okay. Remem remind me, once I make a Parkser koala, to have it sue the zoo for the bathroom. That's, that's what I want to do next time. Uh, 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 um, okay. Now that the llamas. Remind you of what? God damn it. Remind me that. I have a clear plan now. I get parks of the koala. I sue the zoo. Now that the, now that the llamas have... Um, soon the llamas discover... That the koalas are actually lawyers. Oh, I need to add this. Soon the llamas discover that the koalas are actually lawyers. Um... 
And Paul, the zombie llama leader with a gun. Do I, um... Gorillas need a trait as well. No, no, no. They're just, they're just like hanging out with the main gorilla. The main thing you got is the giant female gorilla. We have the goldfish. No, you didn't get the goldfish. I have a goldfish you can borrow for the zoo. Abby, you probably want more context before you agree to let chat have the goldfish. Chat, let's make the gorillas disguised as monkeys with the monkeys disguised as gorillas to create the hype. You didn't mate with the goldfish. It said you couldn't mate. The otters fucked... The otters fucked the hair giraffes, guys. Get don't don't get it twisted, okay? What happened is that you wanted to have the otters have sex. No, you wanted the hair giraffes and the goldfish to have sex, but because they were both males, the otters decided not to, and instead the otters fucked the hair giraffes, which created a giant female gorilla. Anyways, Abby, if you could send over that goldfish. Jesus, take the wheel. Ah! Iso parametrical, thank you for the gifted sub. Appreciate it. Oh, and small has a, Paul has a small wiener, yeah. Soon the llamas discover that the koala is actually a lawyer. And Paul, the zombie leader with a gun and small wiener. Doug, for God's sake, all those pictures are male gorillas, not females. Just get a picture of a female gorilla and enlarge it. Uh, what? How do you know what a female gorilla looks? Uh, how are they different? Female gorilla. They still just look like gorilla. How do you, how would you, how would I know? How would I know the difference? They just look like gorillas. Wait, we fucked with the head giraffe, so I don't remember that. They have tits. All of them have nipples. That's how mammals work. Look, you are going to have to... I know that there's times that I do things that are just really hard for you guys to accept, right? Um, you're gonna have to accept that this is probably a, a male gorilla and that it's meant to be a female gorilla. I trust that you can get through this very hard period in your life. It's like when we played the Europe AI invasion and there was a guy who was like, please, I'm dying. Add Sardinia to the map for Italy. And I was like, no, it doesn't matter. It's just, it's, it, this is not real. This isn't a real zoo. It doesn't matter. Doug, you're actually blind. I think you're actually uh, way too invested in gorilla tits, if you can tell the difference between them. Soon the llamas discover that gorilla koalas are actually large, and Paul, the zombie leader with a gun, realizes that um, that he could recruit Parkser, the top lawyer. Adult male gorillas, or silverbacks will be close to twice the size of the females, of silver hair on their back, and have large bumps on the top of their heads called sagittal crests. Good, good to know. All right, sorry, my brain's slowing down a little bit. Realizes that he could recruit Parkster, the top quality lawyer, to join the Dogama herd and represent them legally going forward in the battle. Yeah, that's fair. Any, any issues with this? Recruiting uh uh good with this. Oh yeah, there's a there's a poll too. Just again, to explain the poll, obviously happy with, with pride emotes. I love that shit. Just please don't spam emotes in general. Just a general reminder, please just be respectful of spamming and not just flooding chat okay, with emotes how about constantly. We break out with our army of gorillas and monkey and take over the world. Men with tiny wiener may get the zoo, but we get slash weight. What do we get to get? You don't have you have no real gorillas. You we aren't even we have haven't even confirmed if the gorillas who are disguised as monkeys are gorillas. These and easily could be something else. Still of male gorillas. Females are half the size and have no large sagittal crests. They literally look like bowling balls with arms. What legs, are sagittal crests? You can't talk to me about sagittal crests and expect me to, to be like, Oh, how could I have been so dumb? The sagittal breasts. What are you saying? I don't know what that means, dude. Sagittal breasts? Are you saying sagittus breasts? Sagittal crests. What is that? That's not you did that's not some like gotcha moment. You didn't get me. 
You fucking idiot. I've been to Uganda. They have huge sagittal crests. Okay? It's a head lump. How does that explain anything? Who cares? Dude, let's fucking move on. Okay. I'm doing, uh, I'm moving, I'm moving on with this. I feel like this is fine. I think I have. Don't I have somewhere? Ooh, yeah, Phoenix Wright music. Um, <clears throat> We care. I have been a guerrilla scientist for over 50 years, and I can tell you that the difference between male and female gorillas is that female gorillas have a high golf handicap. <laughs> that doesn't... We're going. Um. <clears throat> I'm getting parks for the koala. Soon the llamas discover that the koalas are actually lawyers. And Paul, the zombie llama leader with a gun and a small wiener, realizes that he could recruit Parkster, the top koala lawyer, to join the Dugama herd and represent them legally going forward in battle. As the Dugama herd prepares to conquer the last part of the zoo, Paul meets up with Parkster, the koala lawyer, who is also a member of the cult. Wait, he's... Whoa, 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 whoa. Member of the cult of Chotters. Parkster's are. Parkster's reluctant to join the Dugama herd because he does not want to be associated with what? With small wieners? With a group of people whose leader is a zombie llama with a tiny wiener. I mean, that's fair. Parkster tries to convince Paul to stop the Dugama herd from taking over the last part of the zoo. No, just join Parkster. But Paul, the zombie llama leader with a gun and a small wiener, is not interested in listening to Parkster's advice. He continues to march his army of zombie llamas into the koala exhibit and take over all the exhibits. That's just the koala exhibit. One more? Come on, get Parkster. At the same time, Jillian the female... Ah, oh, shit, Jillian's back. Fuck, okay. I not only didn't get Parkster, you guys got Parkster. Fuck. Okay, that's bad. We're simply just better. You, <laughs> Parks are randomly being in your herd from the get-go is not you just being better. Oh. Okay. You guys have one, two, three, four, five, six points now. I've only got three. I can't lose again. I still have lawyer koalas. You guys just have one koala who's a really good lawyer. Add Parkster's face. <laughs> no, no, we're moving on. All right, all right, all right. <clears throat> um, you guys are up. What do you want to do? Oops. You have gained Park, sir. Um, otherwise, you're basically in the same spot. You still don't have goldfish or anything. As a reminder, you guys have these characteristics. In terms of where you can move on the map, it has to be next to where you currently have. So you have otters. You could go for penguins, the welcome sign, goldfish. Since you have the giraffes, you could go for the bathroom with the rats, uh, the lion, the alligators. You can go for all those. Um, make female gorilla, okay, have the giant, have the giant female gorilla attack the lions. Convi uh, you're not next to Harambe, you cannot shoot Harambe. If Parkster shoots Harambe. <laughs> um, no, time machine, no, that's too, that's too much of a stretch. Use Parkster to convince the koalas to join you. <laughs> Research if the gorilla is actually a gorilla. You guys will just forget it. <laughs> Breed Parkster with a goldfish. <laughs> this can't just turn into a breeding program. <laughs> Um, 
to the goldfish. It can and it will. I'm going to cap the number of weird breeds you can do at some point. Um, hire Ratatouille. You don't have rats yet, though. Um, sue the balloons. Give Parkster another gun. Make a psychic gorilla. Sue the owl. Like... Sue the llamas for koala genocide. You can't steal my starting resource, so you couldn't steal the koalas. Um, Parkser sues the zoo to get the welcome sign. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of breeding, Parkser. Give Parkser doesn't have a trait because he's like a bonus. He's not like a new animal. He's like a single character. Um... I mean, recruit penguins. This this never seems to get much love, though. Make Parkser shoot the other koalas. Um, Sue Harambe. Oh, yeah, there was add rat traps to the bathroom. I don't know. I'm seeing mostly about, like, Parkser shooting or suing people, which we've basically got covered here. Oh, yeah. Hire the janitor. Here are your options. This is mostly seems to be about Parkser, so I don't think the other options are really going to matter. You should call Parkser, the certified wildlife biologist and koala lawyer to end this gorilla debate. Okay, you are deciding to breed Parkser with a goldfish. I think it's clear that we need to add Sagittarius crests to the list of traits available. No! Hello, you have reached Adam. Do you have a missed call from me? Some scammers have been spoofing and faking my number on their caller ID lately. So if you don't already know who I am, I probably did not call you. <laughs> oh my God, uh, If you still need to reach me, I recommend <laughs> texting me or sending me an email. <laughs> um. Uh. That's, yeah, that's very, very Parkser to turn his voicemail into an anti-scammer <laughs> message. Um, okay, we'll see. Maybe he'll call back later. <clears throat> For now, you're going to attempt to breed your new koala lawyer. You are, oh, my God. You're going to attempt to breed your new koala lawyer with a goldfish. Or with all of the goldfish? <laughs> we'll see. Okay. Um... <sighs> You just doxed Parkser. No, his name is public. He doesn't hide the fact that his first name is Adam. Alrighty. This is Peter Weirfine with the animal violence, otter giraffe abominations, the llamas getting penises bitten off by rabbits, monkeys using power tools. But we draw the line at lack of sagittal crests. <laughs> Call us now. The sagittal crest is a bony ridge on top of the skull where the jaw muscles attach to. Okay. The larger the crest, the stronger the bite in mammals. Yeah. Male gorillas have large sagittal crests in order to both eat more plants and to fight other okay, males. Okay, so you went into Uganda and you're like, okay, that monkey has a huge sagittal crest. Just the regular monkeys Clearly a female. Their disguises, but the otters are confused. Yeah, I don't think the gorillas disguised as monkeys are necessarily gorillas. We don't know that. With the breeding program successful yet again, the cult of Chotters. 
The Park Zikoala should have a gun by default. No, but you can give it a gun. Your gorillas have guns. Your gorillas have guns. So we can say Parkster has a gun because the gorillas could give him one. So you have guns Future in your AI in your group. Idea. Conquering different historical periods with a time machine. Stone Age, Ancient Greece, Medieval Times, etc. Yeah, that'd be fun. There's a lot of options. Um, with the breeding program successful, yet again, the Cult of Chotters decides to breed... Assassinate the goldfish. Final species. I am going... Okay, I am going to cap you at three bred species. The AI said they're normal gorillas. Right, but that's from your perspective, and you guys keep forgetting that people are just disguised as gorillas. And besides, they're disguised as monkeys. While we're talking about gorilla boobies, elephants grow whopping big boobies when they are pregnant. Trust me, <laughs> I've been staring at them on Google. I'm not allowed to go to the zoo anymore. Um, you guys have bred two animals. I'm gonna cap it at three. Call Parkser to make sure he's alright with the breeding program. Speak of the Parkster. Hey, Parkster. Hello. Uh, I was in a parking garage. This hotel is a clown fiesta. Um, <clears throat> You're on stream. Hello. Okay, I have a question for you. Let's say that you were a koala lawyer. Like a, a lawyer that is a koala bear? Yeah, and you wanted to fuck a goldfish. What would you say to the goldfish? Like, what would your approach be in order to breed with this fish? What? You heard me. I'm, I'm very out of breath because this hotel has no self-parking. It is valet only. And I refuse to let valet touch my vehicle. So I had to park in a structure across the street, except I went the wrong way. So I just walked around an entire block trying to find this hotel. Why am I trying to have sex with a goldfish? Sorry, that's all, that's what you would say to the fish? No. I, I mean, yes. I would ask the fish, why am I trying to have sex with you? <laughs> okay, anything else? I would await the goldfish's answer and then respond accordingly. Okay, good to know. I think we're all set. Thank you very much for the help, Archer. No problem. All right, love you. Bye. Okay, bye. Well, we've got our setup. What did he say again? <laughs> what did he what did he say again? <laughs> Why am I trying to have sex with you, right? <laughs> this hotel parking lot. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Okay. Guys, this might be our best turn yet. <laughs> Alright, you're up. With the breeding program successful yet again, the Cult of Chotters decide to breed one final species. They call on Parkser, a lawyer koala who recently joined the cult to breed with the nearby goldfish in the fountain. If it's successful, they will breed an entirely new species of fish bear things. Parkser, the lawyer koala, walks up to the goldfish fountain and attempts to seduce them. Hello, goldfish. This hotel parking lot is a total clown fiesta. Why am I trying to have sex with you? Then he awaited the answer. B 
because you're a lawyer, one of the goldfish replied. And you're a fish, Parks responded, before trying to copulate with the goldfish in the fountain. <laughs> Unfortunately, the goldfish was a male, so Parks gets rejected. Oh, I'm sorry, Parks. You're... Shit. Maybe one more? Maybe he tries again? So Parks tries to copulate with another goldfish, but he has the same problem. This goldfish is clearly gay and just wants to hang out with his friends, so he rejects Parkser's advances. Maybe third tries the charm. Soon, the cult of charters realize that Parkser is not very good at breeding fish bears. <laughs> so they ask the penguins to do it instead, and the penguins don't want to. Sorry, guys. Parkser didn't fuck a fish. The goldfish is clearly gay. <laughs> you could tell because of its sagittal crest. Oh, poor Parkster. All right, I'm up. Okay, I did not get Parkster the koala lawyer, but I still have a bunch of koala lawyers. So I'm going to use them to sue the zoo administration for control of the bathroom. I think this could work. Pride flag on the goldfish exhibit. Sure. This isn't an official trait. Like, they'll still get an official trade if somebody gets the goldfish. <laughs> this, is a, this is a water fountain. This is not meant to be, like, a big deal over here. All right, all right. I want to make sure you can still see that it's a fountain. Uh, where do I put it? Here? Alright. Call him and let him know the news. Hey, just a quick update. The goldfish said no because they were clearly gay. Uh, wait, what, what do you mean update? <laughs> All right, bye, Parkser. Love you. Okay, bye. <laughs> All right. I'm up. Okay, I'm going to go back on this. I'm going to delete this paragraph. So it, it starts with Parkster's reluctant to join. Okay. <clears throat> Paul the zombie lawyer. No, zo zombie llama. I love Thai stug dug dating sim game. <laughs> uh, using the koala lawyer. Doug, that is a picture of a crocodile, not an alligator. You can tell that it's a croc because it's not all black on its back and the head is shaped like a bee like a croc, <laughs> and not a you like an alligator. No. What kind of zoo are you running? It's fine, nobody can tell. Hi Doug. It's got Thank sagittal you for breasts. Introducing me to Novelai. I have had so much fun writing stories, like the one where I made you and Chat fight to see who is the main character. You won every round. You're welcome. It's a great program. They weren't able to take the bathroom out of was forced to go to the bathroom.
All right. Any issues with this? This good? Small PB. Please update the gorilla image with pronounced sagittal crests for accuracy. <laughs> no, we gotta keep moving. Um, yeah, you we're guys good. are going to lose cool. your shit when you find out Doug's name is actually Davy. <clears throat> I'm up. I'm suing the zoo. Paul the zombie llama with a gun, an absolutely tiny wiener, decides to begin using the koala lawyers to take legal action against the zoo. They weren't able to take the bathroom rats by force, but if the zoo is forced to give the bathroom over legally, then the dugum of her Oh my god. Then the dugum of herd will be even stronger. So the koala lawyers attempt to sue the zoo for the bathroom. Parks are the lawyer is not happy about this. He does not want to work with a group of zombies or with a group whose leader is a tiny wiener. Classic Parkshire. But Paul the zombie llama has a gun and a, and a small wiener convinces Parkshire to join him anyways. I think I lose this, right? We redo this? Because this isn't about the koalas. I'm going to redo this. I think that's fair. It's got to be about the bathrooms or my koala, lom, koala lawyers like right off the bat. It's got to relate to the topic at least to start. The lawyers are successful, and the Dugama herd is rewarded with control of the bathroom. But the Dugama herd is not done yet. They've decided to take the whole zoo. So the Dugama herd rides into the koala exhibit and begins shooting. We already have the koalas of the one fucking exhibit. The koalas fire back with their tasers, but the llamas are determined. They win the battle and capture the welcome sign again. And now we're in charge of the whole zoo. No, this doesn't count. We just have the welcome sign and the koalas who was shot again. We got the bathroom. We got the bathroom. The poor fucking koalas, dude. I feel bad for them. Uh, let's see, how do I do this? Imperial Mech, thank you very much for the 12 months. Appreciate it. What? No, um... I want to leave the bathroom signs in. Is there a way to delete by color? Is there a way I can do that? Wait, maybe I can do that. Hold oh, on. Oh, hey, Doug, fancy seeing you here. Love your content and came from YouTube. Hey, right, thank I'm you. hoping to get divorced to fit in with chat someday. That's the way to do it. Um, okay, I go blending options. Okay, people are saying there's a way to do it. What if I do it this stupid way, though? And then I take out all the black until... There we go. Nice. Got it. Probably smarter ways to do it, but... All right. This board is looking slightly more even. It's now one, two, three, four, five... Wait. It's now six to four. Six to four. We are theoretically playing to ten. Do you have the main rats or just the I'm bathroom? I'm a primatologist and so have studied primate behavior. No. From you... lemurs to chimps for seven or eight years now. Maybe the difference is look subtle with photos, but in person, the difference between males and females is quite huge. I refuse to believe- This is Magna Chak Rabbit. We are live on NPR. We heard you didn't use a gorilla with a saggy tourist vest. <laughs> this is considered a hate crime in Senegal and New Zealand. Do you have anything to say for yourself? <laughs> First off, I'm not a radio station. Secondly, I refuse to believe that like 50% of my audience are gorilla spellers. Neither the straight nor the gay goldfish wanted to sleep with Park Zone. They <laughs> yeah. just don't find him That's attractive true. at all. That's true. The first one was straight. The second was gay. <laughs> he got rejected both times. Oh, I'm okay. one of the clowns at the hotel. Park Zone told me to say he loves you too. Just too emotional about the goldfish to say it. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Chat, you guys are up. What do you want to do next? So, as a reminder, you have access to... You can't... You have not gotten these goldfish at all. You have penguins, panda bears, tigers, crocodiles, or alligators, whatever these are. And that's it. 
I've kind of blockaded you a little bit. I was really upset earlier today because I went to the store and bought a bunch of alligator steaks to cook for a big dinner, but when I got home, I realized that I only had a crock pot. <laughs> that's, that's dumb. Um... Hire Biff Don't the janitor so you can breed him. It's fresh. Also, I hacked the TVs in Best Buy and put your stream on hashtag Zusha. Don't do that. This is not an appropriate Best Buy stream. It's like SFW safe for work, but SFBB. It's not safe for Best Buy. Um. Oh wait, you know what? I, I hold on. I have to get. Tr I have to get uh, traits for my rats. Hey, Doug. This is President Biden from the White House. Russia is threatening to invade because of something called Sagittarius Press. <laughs> we were told you would know what's going on. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. All right. These are private Sagittarius Press. Okay, because I took the bathroom, I do get the rats. That means I get a trait for them. The rats are... In a cult that worships Harambe. I mean, that checks out, honestly. Give them robes. I can't, I can't do that. How about I just do this? I make, I make, how about I make Karambe over here and then he's just like, he's like in the background with a halo. What the hell is the... God, this is becoming a mess. Harambe, I move him up into the rad bathroom. So here. There? Where does he, where do I put him? There we go. Behind the bathroom. How about that? That works. <laughs> Wait, then he's pointing the gun at Harambe's head. Look, this is a this is an imaginary Harambe that the rat is thinking about. Paul is not holding up Harambe. <laughs> okay, back to your turn. Somebody said there was something about lions. There was a good one. A good one I saw. So it had to do with lions. You don't have lions. You can't you can't shear their manes yet. Um, we would delete by color. That is so racist, Douglas. Okay. Hire the welcome sign to assassinate the llamas. You can't kill my llamas. Oh yeah, vibrators. Use the power tool vibrators to seduce the lions. Laughing, gassing, thank you for the 12 months. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Send the big female gorilla to attack the goldfish. And it's kind of the same as murder the fish. Sorry, I had to go do something. Can you fill me in from the giant female gorilla? That's the last thing I remember. Uh, I'll, yeah, I'll recap stuff as we're doing this turn. You can't appoint the Lion King. You don't have the king yet. Or you don't, you don't have lions yet. Gods, may they rule a bathroom forever down with the false ruler. You're not near Harambe yet. If you guys get the lion, you're a lot closer to Harambe. Harambe's two points. Again, if you get Harambe, that's worth two points. Hey, Doug, funny seeing you here. This is your very first divorcee. When are you and Parks are getting divorced? Oh, I hope it's soon. I don't think he'll jokingly marry me, though. Uh, destroy the bathroom with what? Attack, like, attack the bathroom? You can just try to kill the rats. 
Train Gorilla Gor... Wait. Is that how you spell it? Train Gorilla Gorilla Fighters. To do what? I mean, you can do it, I guess. Um... Oh, you could use the... Use the giraffe blowholes to befriend the fish. That's pretty good. Can Paxa seduce Harambe? That would make all my fun fix come true. If you get to Harambe, then yeah. You are currently not... <laughs> destroy <laughs> the rat bathroom by draw... <laughs> In my mammology class, the sagittal crest was always one of the most important features when we had to identify <laughs> no, a skull. No, it's not! Anyone who knows any basic zoology I've should never know heard what it is. of this before. I refuse to believe this is like a core thing you learn about animals. Okay. The sagittal crest is larger in males in most species because testosterone dictates how much bone an animal produces. That's why human males have more pronounced brow ridges and jaws than women. Fine. But there's no way people who just go looking at gorillas are like, Ooh, the sagittal crest! Okay, destroy the rat bathroom by my. Oh my god. Destroy the rat bathroom by dropping a massive dump. Boom. There you go. No, NFL, I don't want to allow NFL. It's, it has nothing to do with, with what's going on. If you do a like a relevant animal sports league of some kind, that's fine, but it has to be like tied to the animals in some in some close way. I don't want to just recycle memes from the from the old ones. We gotta do new things. Or at least relevant to what's going on, right? Um, boom. Gorilla NFL. What I meant was not pick a different animal, and now it's fine. Lizard Queen, thank you for the 12 months. Appreciate it. You got to seduce the lion with the power tools. That's too funny. Hey, we have too many wiener jokes already. Dog, dog, and I asked him about you. He describes you as that YouTube guy who used to play Hearthstone. I did This it. is a big day for you. I, You're welcome. I totally rigged the vote just now and got you to vote for number four, but... There's already been the lots of and poop and wiener jokes. Of an independent nation. Also, don't forget you can leverage the fairies to protect any of your own animals. Mm. Okay, you're gonna use the power tools to try to seduce the lions. Doug. You don't believe us on the importance of the Sagittal Crest, but you can't even identify where half of the states are in the U.S. Trust us, it's basic knowledge. What do you mean rigged? It's not rigged. This is not much better. I guess this is still overtly sexual, but... The AI is perfectly capable of writing smut. I mean... Uh, with the breeding program a failure, the cult of charters to move on. Doug, could we have the puppy bowl? It's a real animal sport that airs before the Super Bowl on Animal Planet. See, now that's relevant, but you don't have puppies. You'd have to get something that fits puppy bowls. That, like, that works, right? That is actually relevant, but you have to find some kind of animal that, that would fit for the puppy bowl. Hello, this is the Department of Education. We are thinking of redefining literacy as whether or not people are aware of sagittal crests. We were wondering if you could define it. It's like a, it's like a bump in your, it's like a bump in your head or something. It's like a, it's like a, bu a head bump, right? I think it's a head bump. The goldfish bowl. <laughs> okay. I mean, that's, that's a good one. All right, let's first, hey, 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 let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's see if you guys can fuck these lions. With the breeding program a failure, the cult of Chotters forget what's going on again. And then remember that there are lions nearby. The monkeys who are disguised as gorillas never really learned how to use power tools, but they did make the tools vibrate. So the cult of Chotters decides to use these vibrating power tools to seduce the lions. Wait, are they tigers or lions? Lions. Lions into joining their cult.
Does that work? <laughs> I don't like where this is going. It's fine. I'm not saying that there's anything sexual. It's think of it. Okay. What we're doing, we're setting up for like a massage chair. Okay. It's going to be a nice, just cool, fun thing. Okay. This is like, it's giving them a massage. All right. You guys are being weird. You're being gross. Okay. Get your mind out of the gutter. Okay. Quick recap. I have four points. You have six. You guys started with otters who have short-term memory loss. Um, then I forget what's next. Then you went and found a bunch of monkeys who are disguised as gorillas. You then later managed to seduce, I believe, the giraffes who now have blowholes. And by seducing them, you created a otter giraffe hybrid known as hair giraffes who are also disguised as gorillas. You then bred your otters and hair giraffes together, which for some reason made a giant female gorilla who has a gun and other gorillas were dressed as monkeys. You also got Parkser the koala lawyer because I went and shot up the koalas and took the exhibit. But one of them who is a lawyer, they're all lawyers, but one of them who's a lawyer named Parkser left and joined your herd for some reason. I think that's everything. I got a colony of rats who escaped from the bathroom, and then I also have the main bathroom rats who praise Harambe. Plus, llamas with guns, the leader of whom is a lawyer with a uh, small penis. Did I miss anything? Oh, the goldfish are gay. Oh, and the welcome sign is a ninja. Are you caught up? Right? That all makes sense. Yeah, you're good. Ninja welcome sign. Yeah, the welcome sign is a ninja. Can you explain again? I forgot. No. Yeah, all of you have short-term memory loss, by the way. <clears throat> okay. With the breeding program of failure, the cult of chotters forget what's going on again, and then remember that there are lions nearby. The monkeys who are disguised as gorillas never really learned how to use power tools, but they did make the tools vibrate. So the cult of chotters decide to use these vibrating power tools to seduce the lions into joining their cult. And so the monkeys enter the lion exhibit and start vibrating them. The lions wake up and get angry because they are being sexually harassed. I don't want to start with that. Unfortunately, the power tools do not work properly. The vibration only makes the lions uncomfortable and they stop being attracted to monkeys. Oh, they were attracted to each other. The monkeys then realize that the power tools aren't working as well as they thought. The power tools are broken, says one monkey. Let's go back to using our hands. So the monkeys whip out their monkey guns and shoot the lions with balloons? Wait, hold on. This could work. Maybe you're just going to attack them. And so the lions join the cult of Chotters even though they don't know what the cult is. Once again, Wiggly forgets why he was trying to train the gorillas. <laughs> I don't know how that worked. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> so I don't get how you convert vibrating power tools into monkey guns and the lions being, yeah, cool, we're good. So, Botipolo? <laughs> Otter Polo is good. Okay, you guys did. You are managing to work your way towards Harambe. You've officially added lions. Their trait is... We only can have three special resources points. Let's shot some goldfish. They are single dads. Okay. There is a kitty bowl. Could we make the lion be in the kitty bowl? They are cats too. You can send them over now. How do I visualize that? I guess they're divorced? Not necessarily divorced. But probably. Sagittal crests were like the only thing the Monterey Bay Aquarium <laughs> talked about while you were there. <laughs> oh, that's not true. Can't believe you're trying to gaslight us. Divorced or widowed? Chat, I'm sorry to be the one to tell you this. You can have babies without being married. Hey, Doug, what Just are we doing? Around. I forgot. I understand that I am having to teach you a lot of the birds and bees nowadays, but... Yeah, sometimes people have children outside of the holy sanctimony of marriage. Do I give him like a baseball hat? What do I get? What is... What, what is... I, what is the visual for single dads? We should get Biff and breed him with the moths. <laughs> we can unlock Mothman. 
chat. We can create a moth manator. Like a like a hat, like a baby, like a fanny pack. Oh, like a cut, like a lion cub. Yeah, okay. Let's yeah, we still like to using our hands. Proceeds to use a balloon gun. Tag this point. WTF is happening. <laughs> why are there no pictures of this? I searched. Li oh, I searched lion sub. That's yes, why. Yes, they are single dads after we arrived with the monkey guns. Hey, Doug, just showed up to the stream from work. What the fuck is going on? I just explained it. You guys got a bunch of single dad lions by shooting the balloons. Here's here's what worked out for you guys. Even I though you didn't successfully help. learn to pop balloons, somehow it came back and you guys did, in fact, win a resource because you snagged those those balloons. So that ended up paying off, weirdly enough. As much as your stupid plans make say, no goddamn sense, they do end up working. Again. Don't talk to me or my son again. Yeah, okay, that's good. As much as I hate to admit it, your plans in these games always work out somehow. Like when Saul Goodman destroyed my army from dads, heaven. Give them a sports car and a glass of whiskey. I don't, I don't feel like I associate sports car with single dads. I don't think single dads are associated with wealth. Um, I give him a little... Lesbian official's girlfriend says, What the fuck is going on, Duke Mister? Gay goldfish. Single dad lions. By the way, I think that in the Minecraft Battle Beth stream you said that the server canonically takes place in your basement. And the server's hub has a Catlantis embassy, implying that the AI invasion series also takes place in the server and by extension your basement. Does that make your- Oh, I got cut off, sorry. It does. Whatever you're saying, yes. <laughs> uh oh, why are you like this? What are you doing? What are you doing, text? Window, paragraph, um, that's not doing it. Character? Yeah, that's it. Oh, this is bothering me. It's gotta be or up here, and then. Add more pups. I feel like single dads are more associated with one kid, right? I don't know. I mean, guys, this is not like a scientific thing. I don't, it doesn't matter too much. I do feel like it needs a baseball hat, though. Um, music. Oh, yeah, a Yankees hat. The single dads were cheated on by their wives, so they did it good. The dads had honor and kept the kids. They what? They divicud? Did you mean to say divorced? Yeah, this this is gonna look real good. I was gonna block his eyes. Damn it. <laughs> no, he, he looks like a... No, that doesn't work. I think we just lose the hat, right? He looks like a frat bro. Give the kid the hat. <laughs> what if we get the moth man, or moth woman, and they become the Pope of the Holy Cult of Harambe? <laughs> that works. All right, you've got single dad lions. What a strange map. Scores now seven to four. Mm, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I have the rats. I think I have to go for Harambe because Harambe is worth two points. Plus, my rats literally hey, worship him. Can you say the word pebbis? No. I'm gonna go for the flamingos. 
Do I have anything to convince the flamingos? What do I do? How do I kill them? Or not kill them? Mm, what would chat do? You guys always do dumb shit. I could also hire Steve Irwin to take the flamingos. You guys would hire a person. Mm. Ask if they believe in Harambe. Breed them. You guys would try to breed them for sure. Yeah. I could have my rats try to fuck the flamingos. Hmm. Pretend to be flamingos. Set them on fire. But they fly around. What can I do that involves them flying? I could give them some guns. Off Say I could offer them coward. guns. Uh, no. I don't know what that is. Offer to give them Red Bull so that they have wings? They literally have wings. They're birds. I think if we get Harambe, we should also get your rats. Why? Oh. Um, mm, I don't know. Not automatically, but then I think you have an easy, you have an e you should get like advantage on convincing my rats to leave. Clip their wings. Offer to buy them shrimp. I'm going to go for the goldfish and offer the goldfish to the flamingos as food. And then I go for Harambe. That's a plan. I can't I can't go in blasting at the goldfish. I have to convince them to join. Mm. I'm going to convince the goldfish to join because we're going to get Harambe on our side. That's my plan. I've got it. <clears throat> okay, 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 okay. Who needs guns? Chemical warfare is always an option. Oh, I need to update this. No, I said I'm not going to kill the gay goldfish. I'm going to convince them. Literally the opposite of what you're accusing me of. Um, You guys added lions. We need to ally with the elephants by telling them about Doug's rodents. All right. Oh, right, because I'm going to feed them to the flamingos. Yeah, but goldfish will like it. They're cool with it. Probably, hopefully. We'll see. I'll only feed a couple of the goldfish. And only people, only the fish who are willing. Score is seven to four. Let's get some fish. With the welcome sign back in their possession. For a third time. So Paul the zombie llama with a gun and a small wiener approaches the goldfish. So basically if the series takes place in the server which is in your basement, that makes your main floor heaven, which means it's legally Chantlantian territory after the events of 2122, correct? No. So we own your house? Still above me. I don't own this place that I live, <laughs> so I guess you guys would take it over Hello. whoever owns it. This is the Holiday Inn in Twin Falls, Idaho. Do you know someone named Adam? He is drunk in the bar shouting about gay goldfish and keeps saying he loves Doug Redden. Come pick him up. I, I've never heard of him. It has nothing to do with me. All right, let's get going. 
With the welcome sign back in their possession for a third time, the Dugama Herd now sets their sights on the true final goal, recruiting Harambe to join the Herd. But to get to Harambe, they will need more allies. First up, they must recruit the nearby Fountain Goldfish. So Paul the Zombie Llama, with a gun and a small wiener, approaches the Goldfish and tells them that if they join the Herd, then the Goldfish can worship Harambe with them. Sights. The goldfish are hesitant, but the Dugama herd remind them that once the welcome sign is destroyed and placed by their... Rep Wait. Hold on. The goldfish are hesitant, but the Dugama herd reminds them that once the welcome sign is destroyed and replaced by their own... It's already mine. Then there won't be any other signs in the zoo. The Dugama herd will rule supreme and all of the other signs will be under their control. I mean, <laughs> maybe the fish go for it. So the goldfish agree and join the Dugama herd. They're led by a goldfish named Goldie, who was a previous leader of the Dugama herd and a former member of the cult of Chotters. Ooh, he left. You left your cult. You guys got parks here, but I got your goldfish. Now that the Dugama cult herd has a cult of goldfish to lead, they set their sights on the gorilla exhibit. The gorilla exhibit is defended by a group of apes led by a gorilla named Gorgonzola. All right, we're going to come back to this one later. I got the goldfish. Huge play. You dummies. Sending in parks. Are, all you had to do was promise them things about signs. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's now five to seven, and I have the welcome sign, which is worthless. You guys are up. Doug, can you say the word Bushin? B U S H A N. Uh. No, I don't trust people telling me to say specific words. You guys now have access to crocodiles and elephants. Shoot the fish. Have the giant gorilla shoot the goldfish. Seduce. Ask the elephants to marry you. Fun fact. Flamingos are incredible long distances flyers. They migrate annually from Central Africa to Southern France. They also live up to 60 years in captivity. Oh, shit. Their bills are specialized filter pumps to filter out shrimp and algae from water. I don't want to have parks to go shoot the goldfish. You can have your gorillas shoot the goldfish. Uh, steal, I guess, send the otters to eat all the goldfish. You can just take them away from me. I don't think Parks would appreciate having his koala character go murder a bunch of goldfish who rejected him because they were gay. <laughs> I feel like that could come off a little tastelessly. He forgot the trait. For who? Oh yeah, my goldfish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me get these first and then we'll add my trait. Um, wait, what? Have Parksers sue People the elephants for their tusks? Birds. They form entire towns of birds with a society, and they fly from Canada to Brazil. We already tried to make him fuck the fish. Yeah, I know. We need to know the trait first. Oh, yeah, I guess that's fair. Okay, okay, okay. Um, so I got goldfish. Their trait are... Pregnant. What about if Pucks are trying to get the goldfish to join us again by telling them about the show Goldfish Wives? <laughs> well, that, that timing worked well. <laughs> They're all pregnant. Everyone. How do I symbolize that? Guys, people are people are seem confused. All right, trust it. What? Parks are uh sorry, you weren't able to fuck the fish. You did try. I don't want everybody here 
to give a clap and a pog for Park Sir. Uh, congratulations. You tried. You gave it your best, and that's what matters. So you give 110% when you go try to fuck some goldfish. Okay, is Parkshire the dad? No, no, Parkshire didn't have sex with them. You <laughs> did give a pregnancy test. Bears cannot breed with fish. Oops, I meant it's called fish bowl wives, but goldfish are the stars of the show. I mean, that's what we were trying to tell you, and instead you walked up and asked why you want to have, have sex with it. We tried to warn you, man. You just had, you, you, you got in a whole mood. Chat, let's hire Steve Owen to convince the crocodiles to join us. Oh, that's a good idea. That's smart. I think the fish tried to fuck Parks here. Yeah, it's not clear. There's, a little, there's been a lot of um, intermingling with the And if the you penile lock chatters in your basement... Does that mean any one of us could be the future space pope? It's true. That's what dreams are made of. Um, oh, that's a, that's a fucked up one. Drink all the water in the fountain so they die. It's dark. Um, how do I symbolize the fish being pregnant? We just should take over the sun and make it help us take over the zoo. I don't, I don't know how to make a fish look pregnant. I'm gonna be honest. I'll just do pregnant. That's fine. Oh, eggs. Eggs, yeah. Good idea. Good idea. This stream is by far the most deranged of the eye and the most queer. I love it. They've all been pretty queer. <laughs> like... There's been at least one major queer character in each one of these. Parksa should sue for custody. <laughs> but they're pregnant. They're pregnant. They don't have they don't have kids yet. They're just pregnant. They've just got lots of eggs. Why does that look like sushi? <laughs> okay. Apparently I have to be the one to tell you, man. You know those little colorful circles? On sushi? Those are fish eggs. <laughs> what did you think you were eating? Did you think they were like... Like nerds? The otters can eat the fish eggs. <laughs> Again, they're pregnant. They didn't just give birth, okay? So you just have to imagine that these are inside the fish. Okay, getting back to your turn. What do you want to do? You would have to eat the fish to eat the eggs. Convince fish the, the fish that Parkser is the father. <laughs> and then maybe they join. <laughs> I know they lay their eggs outside, but pregnant means they haven't laid the eggs yet. Oh, yeah. Hire Steve Irwin. To be clear, hire Steve Irwin to recruit the crocodiles. This you would mean that this I turn I was eating Orbeez. <laughs> they're not Orbeez. This means you're this turn you're hiring, trying to hire Steve Irwin. If you get him next turn, you could send him for crocodiles. I'm just giving the the background here, right? Um, a lot of fish do Don't live birth. Jesus Christ simulator, you should play. They, I don't know what that means. I've had multiple people DM me saying to stop blasphemizing, blasphemizing Christ. People don't love it. Can I eat the salmon roe? That's my People fourth favorite chat, sushi dish. We need to exit Doug's basement and assassinate Doug so we can win by default. Parkser, okay, so if you guys want Parkser to go try to eat the fish eggs, that's in character, apparently. But they haven't given birth yet. I guess you could send Parkser. <laughs> You could send Parkser to help the fish give birth and then eat the eggs. That doesn't even do anything for you. <laughs> I still have the fish. We should recruit Quincy the monkey from Bloons Tower Defense 6. 
Nothing gets past his boy. They already tried training the monkeys to shoot balloons. It didn't really work. Um... Okay, this feels good. Like, I'm not seeing a lot of new stuff. <laughs> Vibrate the fish. No. That, that, that has too much potential to go in bad directions. Okay, here are your options. Ugh. People of chat, we need to exit Doug's basement and assassinate Doug so we can win by default. It's true. Those are the rules. I clearly put in the rules. That you get one action per turn, we cut off tangents, and if you kill me, you win the game. So, fair play there if you want. There are more of us who want blasphemy, so you have to respect our beliefs, too. Yeah, I, mean, I don't- I clearly don't care very much about religious stuff. Okay, you're gonna send Parkser to help the fish give birth. I'm gonna be honest, I don't see this working. It's what he wants. I mean, fair enough. We could eat the eggs like how bears get salmon and how humans get caviar. Just squeeze their bellies and have the eggs come shooting out. Also, if all the goldfish are males, maybe they're holding the eggs in their mouths like some fish do. I'm just going to gloss over the male fish being pregnant. I think enough other weird stuff has happened. That, like, you guys bred like hair giraffes why am i helping them give birth i just want to eat the eggs because how, how else do you eat the eggs parkser tell me mr lawyer how are you going to eat the eggs if you don't give them birth and let me be clear as well this doesn't accomplish anything could we research guided missile or is that too unrealistic for your tinny people <laughs> shut up no guided missile is too much of a leap Girls can be gay. Yeah, no, the I know. It said males. So. I guess so, yeah. I mean, look, it, it can work. I'm not fighting it too much. I'll cut open the salmon, eat the belly, my first favorite sushi dish, then extract the eggs and eat the roe, my fourth. These aren't salmon. These are goldfish. Okay, I'm just going to have you go. You're going to go try to eat their eggs. Even though the Chotters and then they receive. In the fountain. Uh, the Dugamer herd. to try helping helping them give birth and then eat how do i phrase this this is too there's too much this is the salt lake city council not only is parks a banned from all holiday inns but also the state of utah for his unruly behavior at the hotel tonight report him to the police upon sight okay does this work it's fine just make it vague. Deliver the eggs. Alright. 
Let's run it. I don't know how this is going to possibly work. It certainly <laughs> won't do anything, I don't think, even if it works. But what do I know? Even though the Cult of Chotter successfully recruited the Lions, they immediately forgot about it. And then they received bad news. The goldfish in the fountain have joined the Dugama herd. But fortunately, they have a plan. The goldfish are all pregnant. And since Parkshire loves to eat fish eggs, they decide to send Parkshire in to eat the eggs. Parkshire, the lawyer koala, heads to the goldfish to help them deliver the eggs and then eat them. The goldfish are very happy to see him because they all love Parkshire and want to see him again. Unfortunately, the goldfish are too busy birthing their eggs to pay attention to Parkshire's presence. Okay, Parkshire might still eat them. So Parkshire runs towards them and chomps down on one of the goldfish's eggs. He bites into it and eagerly swallows it whole. Yummy, Parkshire happily says. All right, chat. I, it, the least feasible thing you've tried to do did work somehow. You ate the goldfish eggs. Now, to be clear, this accomplishes nothing. I mean, we can we can let it ride for a bit. This egg tastes delicious. It's so fresh and moist. Parkser chomped down on several more eggs before realizing they had eaten all of them. Oh, no, Parkser says. Now I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to give birth to my own babies. Never mind, says the goldfish. We'll just reproduce with our friends. Or maybe we can just keep reproducing until we run out of eggs. So the goldfish decide to share their eggs with the other fish in the water, and soon they all mate and give birth to a new species of fish. Wait, do I get a new fish? I might get a new fish from this. Hey, that was easy, says one fish. What should we name ourselves? How about fish bears? We got fish. I got fish bears. Suggest another. The fish bears are born, and they look exactly like hair giraffes. <laughs> okay, cool. I got fish bears. It's not rigged, Barkser. They're Parkser's babies. No, they're not. The goldfish decide to share their eggs with the other fish in the water, and soon they all mate and give birth to... Okay, hold on. All Parkshire did is walk in there and eat the fish eggs. He did not create this new fish bear species. What are you talking about? Those are our fish bears? In what world do you have the fish bears? The fish bears are clearly added to the fish tank that is already there. Just because they give birth does not mean they're loyal to you. Really? You're really going to argue that my fish coming up with a new species of fish aren't mine. They're free agents. <laughs> There's no way. This is, by your logic, you guys bred all these things. You didn't confirm that after breeding them, they are loyal to you. It was with Parkshire's help. Parkshire went in and, eat and ate their babies. Ate their babies. No, no. This is one of those instances, I'm not, no. That would be so generous if I gave this to you. They don't have gorilla masks, though. He caused them to breed. It doesn't matter. You didn't breed them. They did it on their own. There is no way this is this doesn't go to me. That's insane if you think so. You had nothing to do with it. They definitely aren't yours. Parkser's present, which means they're his. I think you guys are trying to convince me to give you a bunch of freebies. No, you can yell rigged all you want. That's those. These are clearly my fish bears. There's, there's no ambiguity in my mind. If you guys have your creatures birth new species, then they're yours. Parkshire's yours. Yes. And you can yell rigged if you want. Do a DNA test. They're, they're from my fish. They're from my fish. Parkshire did not mate with them. When it says, and they all mate. No, the goldfish decide to share their eggs with the other fish, and so they all mate. It's referring to the fish. The other fish does not include Parkser. He's a koala bear. Paternity test. They're from my fish. What do you mean? Twenty-eight 
Twitch chat impregnated them. N no, you didn't. The fish impregnated each other. You aren't in here. You aren't, like, walking around the zoo fucking fish. The fish had sex. They birthed fish bears. They're my fish bears. Speak for yourself. Jesus Christ. I'm going to win a goddamn AI invasion game. Wait, do they have traits? Hold on. Your your hair giraffes had traits. That means mine have traits too, right? How did they become bears though? Okay, so your 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 problem with this is that my fish became hair giraffes. That's your problem. Why the fuck do you have hair giraffes? Why do you have gorillas? None of that makes sense. You can't just suddenly be like, this isn't realistic, Doug. No, no. I win. I get the thingy. They're called bears. Yeah, and they look like otters and giraffes. They don't look like koala bears at all. <laughs> because we bred them. No, I don't care. All right, I get traits, right? Yeah, and they're only called fish bears. They aren't bears, they're just called fish bears. We're doing traits, yeah? Okay, my goldfish have given birth to fish bears and they are That's not very helpful. Okay, well, if they eat themselves to death, I lose them. What are you saying, Parkser? There's a concept in law called by proxy, where if a third party induced an action, the third party can be held responsible. If somebody robs a bank and a, and a security guard shoots the robber and misses and killed a bystander, the robber could be charged for murder of that bystander. I induced the fish to create a new breed. No, that is such a stretch. You being nearby, while my fish have sex does not mean you own their children, Parkser. <laughs> no, that's not true. I wasn't lawyer. That doesn't, that does not mean that Parkser owns my fish bears. It's the law. We're gonna have to arrest me, Parkser. I'm not following your shitty law. They're my horse bears. Or whatever they are, fish bears. Ladies and gentlemen, we got a game on our hands. I have six points. Fish bears, fish, koala bears, rats, llamas, and more rats. This is a different group of rats. You guys have seven. Single dad lions, giraffe blowholes, monkeys disguised as gorillas, otters with memory loss, the original hair giraffes who are currently disguised as gorillas, a giant female gorilla who has other gorillas disguised as monkeys, and Parkser, the koala lawyer. It is your turn. You are up. What would you like? I have seven, two. No, I do not. One, two, three, four, five, six. I know it's confusing. But the welcome sign does not count. It's just a sign. Sue for cost. <laughs> Sue for custody of the fish bears. <laughs> They're my children. They're my fish's children. Oh, it's my turn. Oh, right. Oh, yeah, huh? That was all me. Sweet. You can try it on your turn. Okay, then what do I do? Oh, wait, this is my whole plan. Okay, now that I have the fish, I can feed some of them to the flamingos. I'll get the flamingos on my side, then we go for Harambe. 
And maybe I'll use the cannibals. I don't really know how they'll come into play. <clears throat> Cannibalistic fish bears. <sighs> Here's the question. Do I force the fish to be fed to the flamingos or do I draft them voluntarily? Like I make them feel like they have to, like they're doing a great service for their country if they get eaten by flamingos. They're no longer pregnant. Yeah, I guess the fish aren't pregnant anymore. Okay, um, I'm going to delete this. They're led by a goldfish named Goldie. Okay, so we have Goldie the goldfish. Goldie the goldfish. Um, the leader of the goldfish who used to be pregnant, but then Parkser ate all his eggs. Um, let's see. Goldie, the leader of the goldfish, used to be pregnant, but then Parkster ate all his eggs. Um, decides to try recruiting the flamingos into the Dogomer herd. TTS broke? Oh, no, I just paused it. Here you go. I will pause text-to-speech a lot so I can talk without being interrupted. Decides to try recruiting the flamingos into the Dogger herd. Hey, Doug. First time catching the stream. I read the title and the text, but what are we doing? We're doing the title and the text. AI invasion. Dude, the game. We have enough Imagine points. You go to the hospital. The game to will give probably birth, end with whoever gets Harambe. Comes in with a napkin around his neck and a knife and fork. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Uh, at this at this rate, whoever gets Harambe is very possibly whoever wins. Fish orgy. Yes, thank you. He knows that the flamingos love fish, and so he decides to sacrifice some of his own. Doug, it's called I am Jesus Christ. It's on Steam. Parkser would love it. You should play it for Parkser. He needs the support after he ate all the eggs and created fish bears. <laughs> He didn't create fish bears. He knows the flingers love fish, so he decides to sacrifice some of his own goldfish. So launching a monkey into space is not a leap, but guided missiles which were invented before that is? Sounds quite rigged to me, TBH. That is not the only unrealistic thing going on. He decides to sacrifice some of his own goldfish to Okay, we need to determine if a koala is a fish, so then we can go from there because Parkson needs his baby's fish bears. <laughs> They're not his babies. He walked into a fish orgy and is now trying to take Jesus, credit take the wheel. for a bunch of fish bears. Vanderschnitzel, thank you for the one gifted sub. Appreciate it. Ugh, canonically, we established a mix of koalas and goldfish would result in fish bears. We didn't establish that canonically. What do you mean? It didn't happen yet. It's not canonical until the, the AI says, yes, this is how it would work. This happened. Okay. You won't win if we assassinate you first. I mean, you're not wrong. Uh, do I have a swimming song? Not really. Gangplank Galleon. I'm up. Wait. Goldie, the leader of the goldfish who used to be pregnant but then Parkster ate all his eggs, decided to try recruiting the flamingos into the Dugama herd. He knows that the flam... Oh my god, my brain. He knows that the flamingos love fish, and so he decides to sacrifice some of his own goldfish citizens to be eaten by the flamingos. Goldie heads to the zoo's flamingo exhibit and offers them some of his goldfish friends in exchange for them joining the Dugama herd. The flamingos are pleased to see that the Dugamer herd has agreed to give them fish, and they accept his offer. As soon as the goldfish are dead, the, f 
the flamingos begin eating them. Wait, they accept, right? So they join? Let me confirm. Goldie's happy that his plan worked, and he goes to celebrate with the other Dugamar Herd members. He sees Precious, the leader of the Dugamar Herd, with a gun and a small wiener celebrating with a group of rats. All right, we're in, we're in, we're in. You lost the goldfish. I only lost some of them. I only lost some of them. I was careful to say only some of the goldfish. How is that rigged? You're not actually saying it's rigged. Tell you what, I will give you an advantage where... I was very clear I was not sacrificing all of the goldfish. If you guys interact with the goldfish in the future, I'll give you advantage that the goldfish are upset at me. Because I fed a bunch of them to the flamingos. But that's, I think, as much as it can realistically go. Um, okay. Let me add flamingos. I've had a good couple turns. Flamingos are now mine, and they are... <laughs> They're pregnant! Don't fucking eat them, Barkser. <laughs> I joined this stream and the first thing I heard was you're not walking around the zoo fucking fish and I must say, for the first honest time in my life, Doug, what are we doing? <laughs> I'll, I'll recap it in a sec. Cannibals, their father would be proud. <laughs> okay, this isn't a great image because these are eggs, but it's just going to indicate that they're pregnant. Okay, I'm a fish and they are my baby. See, there you go, proof. Send Biff the janitor to find Pokemon and bring them back to make a Pokemon exhibit. Yeah, nobody, nobody's gone for Biff. Chat, we just have to have Parks the super custody of the fish bears. Hey Doug, can we train the monkeys to play Evon? Yes. I'll allow that. That is reasonable. Monkeys have been trained to People play video games. chat, we need to exit Doug's basement and assassinate Doug so we can win by default. Wait, I thought I had seven points before. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I thought I had seven. I only had six before? I thought it was seven to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, it's seven to seven now. Got it, got it. <clears throat> Ooh, actually, interesting. You counted the sign. I thought I had... S okay. Oh, yeah, somebody said seven. Okay. Score is now tied up. Seven to seven. You guys Chat are up. Our next move should be to take Doug to paternity court over the fish bears. Specifically, can we take him on, Dr. Phil? Okay, sue for custody of the fish bears. Um. If we take over the fountain, we get the goldfish and fish bears since they are in the same place. No, 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 no. They're, they're separate now. We've had the other guys separated. I know it doesn't make a ton of physical sense, but... Um, it's ironic that you have okay, a picture on, of a chimp, this. not a monkey. Disguised as a gorilla since it is hypothesized that the ancestors of gorillas were chimp-sized and became larger when they switched from eating mostly fruit to mostly plants. Very ironic. Single dad lions. <laughs> Take out the single dad crocodiles for a day in the park. <laughs> you can convince him to join that way. 
Um, okay. Seeing people assassinate Doug. I don't know what cocaine bear means. Uh, sun god. Parks are convinced the fish bears. Um, like convince the fish bears t to eat each other. Convince the elephants that the rats are their enemies. We pee in the fountain. <laughs> pee in the fountain to kill the fish. You'd have to research Pokeballs if you want to use them. Even then, it's just like a net. It's not really, I don't, it doesn't do anything, I guess. Um, have the lions eat the flamingos. We got seven. Anything else you need? Um, tell the fish to fuck off. The, okay, the elephants take a monster dump in the bathroom. Elect a crocodile pope. You don't have the crocodiles. Use vibrators to seduce the toilet. No. You don't have... Oh, you don't have elephants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can only do stuff like that if you actually have them. Um, I'm not seeing very many original things. We're not doing... Wait, somebody suggested NFL earlier. Oh, yeah, like. Okay, here you go. Yeah, I think most people wanted custody of the fish bears. All right, you are going to sue for custody of the fish bears. You've strongly argued that these should be in your herd. I think it's bullshit. We'll let the AI dictate. Are you sending, I assume you're sending Parkser in, right, to sue? Um, how do we phrase this? Why is Parkser a koala? Yeah, of course. Parkser will represent himself. Well, yeah, he's a lawyer. Um. How is it? I guess the Dugama herd. That work? <laughs> Remember to turn include the in terms incitement and bread. Wait, is inc incitement? I don't want to include the whole argument. Park sir, could you could you what was your entire argument that you said? Are you still here?
He's not here. Um, he's not here. There we go. Let's see what happens. Good luck, everybody. <clears throat> May the park sure ever be in your favor. Oh. Okay. Parkshire has given me a full legal argument. We'll put it in. <laughs> okay. The Dugama herd believes that these fish bears are part of their own herd because the fish gave birth to them. But Parkshire, the lawyer koala, feels that he should actually have custody of the fish bears. So he takes the issue up in the highest zoo court of the land, stating that sometimes if a person induces a different person to take an action, that original person can be held responsible for the action. Because I caused the fish bears to be born, I am responsible for their creation, so they're mine. And he sues the goldfish for custody of the fish bears. The judge rules in favor of Parkser's argument. And so the goldfish end up giving the fish bears away to the cult of Chotters. The fish bears are given to the hippopotamus who's also in the cult. Wait, you get a hippo? Fuck. I'm going one more. Maybe the hippo dies. She quickly becomes their leader because she's much larger than everybody else. The fish bears quickly become a part of the cult and are used to create a new kind of animal. No, no, we're stopping there. God damn it, Parkser. Ah. No, we're not going. We're not keeping going. No. We're deleting this. Wait, so do you get a hippo too? You have a hippopotamus. I don't think that's a group. I don't think that's a group. That's our lawyer, Pog. <laughs> Okay, so Parkser, the koala lawyer, has taken the fish bears from me. The cannibal fish bears. We absolutely get hippos. I, no, I had like a penguin at one point. I don't think you do. You have a big penguin, but it's not a resource. It's your leader. Because we're, I said we're capped on three special resources. You have one, two, three already. And Parkser. You shouldn't even have this. I don't know. It's a little... We've gone a little bit ambiguous between what is a special resource and just a new animal, but... So you have a hippo leader. It's just not a point on the board. Ah. You actually said three new animals. Yeah, three new bred animals. Oh, yeah. So there's your limit. The hippo is so massive, she needs her, the whole thing to yourself. Um, no, I look, I said at the beginning, capped at three special resources. I'm saying three. the special resources is anything outside of the original board. So for me, I have one special resource. You guys now have four. So I'm even breaking that rule. But you stole this one, so that is fine. You should reread what it says. It just said they're given to the hippo. Who's in the cult? That's all it said. Stop giving chat generous points. I'm not. I'm denying you a point right now. Okay, cool. So, with that swing of the fish bears, you guys are now at eight. And I'm only at six. Shit. But my original plan of getting the flamingos so that I can get Harambe is on board. If I grab Harambe, he's worth two. I go up to eight. We're tied up. <clears throat> I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. I love being a pilot because I am able to watch your streams while flying when no one else in the cockpit. Doug Dugbeth. <laughs> I hope that's not real. 
Um, okay, I gotta update the story. Can you stop streaming so we can get back to counting? <laughs> Sorry. Um. All right, you guys have the fish bears now. In the memory. Doug, I'm also a fish, and they're not my baby. Um, okay, I am up. If we okay, send monkeys this. to space, they might become the ancestors of the Chatlanchians, since in the US episode, the AI stated that Chatlanchians came from space. I think we should do that for the law. Uh... We should convince the monkeys to summon the vengeful true sun god. All right, all right. Cut it with the counting, please. I'm also going to remove the coin flip command. Sorry, People everybody. People chat, we need to exit Doug's basement and assassinate Doug so we can win by default. I'm just seeing a lot of people flipping coins constantly instead of talking about stuff. The guy asked you to turn up the AC, and you made it colder in the basement. Now we don't have any choice but to go upstairs and assassinate you. You cowards have been threatening to assassinate me for years. <sighs> Cocaine bear is a movie. Can we have cocaine bears, please, Dugger? No, I don't know what co that what a what a, that is that is. We don't have to reference like every single you know meme that's going on. <laughs> we can do other things. Yeah. Sorry if you feel betrayed by having less chat commands, but I do, on a, as a reminder, as a serious note, I want chat to be relevant to what's going on in stream. I don't want it to just be people filling it with random bullshit. So thank you for helping contribute to making the stream interesting and relevant to what's going on. I appreciate you. All right. Now let's move on to me stealing Harambe from you. How do I do this? What is the, how do I convince this glorious gorilla with a huge Sagittarius breast to join my herd? You're lousy. I'm not gonna, I don't wanna shoot him. I'll leave that to Parkser. Oh, I'll convince, I'll use the rats. I'll send the rats over. They've literally, they're literally a Harambe cult. They'll convince him. We've been worshiping him for years, probably. Shoot Harambe. You can shoot him if I get him. How do you think the cannibal fish bears that look like hair giraffes would react to being around the real hair giraffes? I, it's a good question. Maybe they'll eat each other. Um, with the flamingos. And so the the rats in the bathroom who have are in a cult. work yeah yo yo cool cool with the commands guys i will literally remove all of these um if they're abused i just want chat to be relevant i know you're pulling an epic troll by being obnoxious but uh let's focus on what's happening uh this good is there any concerns this is a big potential moment so i want to uh i, I want to make sure don't forget who's gorgon zola somebody said gorgon who's gorgon zola <laughs> guys who the fuck's gorgon zola what are the rats supposed to do, though? Um, they're just going to say, hey, we worship you, the gorilla leader. Wait. 
When was Gorgon Zola? Was that in my? <laughs> I don't remember. When did that happen? When was there? When was there a gorilla leader? I thought all the gorillas were just other monkeys pretending to be gorillas. Was it in my story or yours? Gorgon Zola is the leader of the gorillas who had defended Harambe. He's the leader of the gorillas mentioned during the taking of the lions. I'm just going to ignore him. It was in your story and I deleted it. Oh, okay. Why are you asking us? We have memory loss. I'm just going to... I mean, if it brings in Gorgon Zola, sure. I'm in. Um... Okay, okay. I need I need epic music for this. Metal Gear Online. Cocaine Bear was a bear who ate a bunch of cocaine and went crazy. There is a movie about it now. Oh, cool. I am now caught up on Cocaine Bear. I now know the, the, the hottest memes. Rip, bring back Gorgonzola. If I get Harambe, I will finally win. I will finally win one of these games. Doug, do you not know about the critically acclaimed movie Cocaine Bear that is entirely based on true events? I sure don't. I have, I don't want to say rigged this game, but I have changed the rules to favor my playstyle, and I'm still losing. The players <sighs> don't actually represent themselves in court, though, most of the time. That observation was a central argument in Gideon v. Wainwright. Ah, I remember that one. Okay, here we go. With the flamingos now in the herd, they can now try to recruit the legendary gorilla, Harambe. And so the rats in the bathroom, who are in a Harambe cult, approach Harambe's exhibit and shout out to him. Oh, great and powerful Harambe, we have worshipped you for many rat years in the bathroom. Please join our herd as our holy leader. Come on, do this. Harambe is intrigued by the idea and thinks that this would make a good new exhibit at the zoo. He agrees to join the Dugama herd. Wait, but first he wants them to promise him that they will never... <laughs> Touch his banana. Do it, rats. Promise. That's fine. He loves his bananas and does not want them to be taken away from him. The Dugama Herb is happy to keep their promise and promises to never touch Harambe's banana. Okay, we're in. We got him. He joins, right? We're, we're, we're good? Then they bring Harambe onto their team and he immediately takes command of the Dugama Herb. He picks up his gun and orders the herd to capture the monkey exhibit. They run into the monkey exhibit and start shooting Harambe, dude. I love Harambe. Oh, okay. I'm up, dude. I got Harambe. You stole my fish bears, but I got the big boy, dude. I'm up to eight points. It's a tie game, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, shit. Yeah. We need to kill Harambe. Don't kill Harambe. Yes. Yes. Eight to eight. Look at that beautiful zoo. Okay, he does need a trait. Something good. Immune to all damage. Okay, he's, he's really drunk. That's fine. He was one spot away from disguised as a gorilla. <laughs> Shit, that will make him easier to assassinate. In spirit of this stream, I have left the Christmas party I'm at and have broken into my local zoo, trying to get a live souvenir. <laughs> souvenir? Is that what you said? Or did that just that what it sounded like? What is with this magic wand, dude? It is not doing a great job. Dude, if you guys come in and touch Harambe's bananas, we're never friends again. We are never talking again. Not after I promised. Friendship to Twitch chat over. Harambe is my best friend now. Why do the fish bears look just like the hair giraffes? Hey, that's a great question. Maybe one day we'll learn. I too would like to know that. 
dug what the fuck is a kilometer. I think it's a type of fish bear. Okay, we got Harambe. He is very drunk right now. You guys are up. Can I get a recap? I just joined. Okay, recap. You started as otters with short-term memory loss. You attempt to grab the welcome sign, but I stole it. But that's not worth anything. This is not a point. You guys did manage to get the monkeys who are disguised as gorillas. You then grabbed the giraffes because they jumped into the otter exhibit and you had sex with them. And then bred a new type of hair giraffe. I don't know what's to go on. Thank you for the lovely message. Um, then you bred, you tried to breed with goldfish, but the otters and the hair giraffes bred, I believe, and you made a giant female gorilla. You also got Parkser from me, one of the koala bear lawyers. I have koala bear lawyers who I went up and started blasting with with a gun. This bathroom full of rats are a cult of Harambe that I sued the zoo to get. Um, these rats are a splinter cell that broke off and then joined my group. I convinced the goldfish to join. I don't remember how. Then we convinced the flamingos to join by feeding them some of my goldfish. The goldfish had children who were fish bears who looked like hair giraffes who were mine, but then Parkser convinced the court to actually give them custody instead of me. But then last turn, I went and convinced Harambe to join using my rats, and Harambe's worth two points, so I'm now up to eight. Oh, you guys have lions who are single dads. Make sense? You caught up? It's pretty straightforward, guys. We're playing first to ten. You are up. Touch Harambe's banana and blame it on me. Steal Harambe's bananas. Parks, are you fine shooting Harambe? You could give the gun to somebody else. I don't want to force the Parkser character to shoot Harambe if he doesn't want. We can't reach Harambe. Oh, yeah, you... Wait, you're not there. Oh, shit. You're blocked off from Harambe right now. You have to go to the elephants. You can't interact with Harambe right now. You would have to get to the crocodiles or the elephants first. Hire a zookeeper to shoot Harambe. That's the real way to do it. Um, so you can't do any of these Harambe-based ones yet. You gotta get closer to him. Nice. Saved by me. Uh... -oh. Harambe's in the monkey exhibit. No. He's in the Harambe exhibit. Um, I mean, elephants. Kill the fish. Isn't he storming the apes? No, I'm going to cut that off. I, I'm going to cut that off because that was like moving on to a different storyline. Um... I mean, I, I'll probably do that next turn, and then he is, yeah. Yeah, Texas speech is paused right now. Um, okay. Recruit Biff, the janitor zookeeper. Uh, the Harambe attack thing, I'm, I'm taking out, because it moved. It was at the very end. Hire Golgon Zola to shoot. Again, you cannot access Harambe right now. You gotta get the elephants. Isn't that the gorilla that was about to kill a three-year-old kid? In that case, yes. Okay, so in the future, Parkser is cool shooting Harambe. Very good to know. You guys just need to get access to him. Um, have the lions eat the crocodiles. Challenge the crocodiles to a dance-off. 
Um, trick the rats. Okay, you are near the rats. Convince the rats to touch Harambe's bananas. Have Parkster seduce the elephants. Um, but if, if you, right, if you trick the rats, that's fine. Convincing my rats to touch Rambe's bananas is fine because you're next to the rats, yeah. Um, have the lions seduce the elephants. That could work. Um... Commit insurance fraud to gain the elephant's respect. I'm just not sure if that would do anything for the elephants. Um, have Parkser sue the elephants for their tusks. But you wouldn't get the elephants themselves, though. I don't think that would do what you want it to do. Um, treat the crocodiles with the fish bears. Seduce the elephants with peanuts. Do you have peanuts? Alert the monkeys of Harambe's attack plan. <laughs> Show them Planet of the Apes. Okay. If you do that, I'll continue the Harambe attack next turn. Am I Wait, am I next to the monkey exhibit? Yeah, I am. We're not, we're not allowed to do any more breeding. Yeah, you can't breed a new animal. You can have them seduce each other and just become lovers. Cocaine bear died, and you call him a meme. It's just one of those things that sounds pretty meme -y. And the reason it's brought up is because of the memeiness of it. <laughs> Rather than people being super stoked about... Uh, People cocaine bear. Is with short-term memory loss of chat, I have returned once more to say again, assassinate Doug. Okay, you're gonna try to convince my rats to touch Harambe's bananas. Oh yeah, they you have gorilla turn disguises. Turn against Doug by touching the banners. The banners. Um, okay. Chat, we can't kill Harambe. You've seen the past six years after that happened. Yeah, there's gonna be some dicks out if that happens. Alrighty, 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 alrighty. So, you guys, you got the fish bears last turn. Hey Doug, can I join your team please? Don't tell chat. Okay, you're in. Wait, 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 wait. Are you sending anybody to convince? So you're convincing the rats to to touch Harambe's bananas. Are you? Who? Who? Is there anybody in particular? You have. You also have a giant hippo. You could send the hippo. Um, is there somebody else you want to send? Or the giant female gorilla, the lion dads. The hippo leader. Send the traitor. What traitor? No, I know. Who are... I guess I'll just say that you guys just do it. Parkser on the hippo. Okay, we'll say Parkser rides the hippo over there. Cold. Cult of Chotters. One hundred bees. Thank you very much for the twelve months. Appreciate it. Doug, Doug, teeth. Doug, Doug, teeth. Doug, Doug, teeth. Doug, Doug. Your streaming helps me through my sicknesses. Hey, you're welcome. Hope you feel better. In order to sabotage.
Parcher, are you here? What would your argument be? Wait, are you? Is he leaving? B or B gonna go get food if I don't come back. It's rigged and Twitch chat wins. He literally just left. Okay, I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call him. This is important. Hello, Douglas. Douglas. Hi, Parcher. I literally just left to go get food across the street. Hi, Parcher. Okay, they're sending you Hello. to go convince my rats to touch Harambe's banana. What would you say to the rats to convince them to do this? Go touch Harambe's banana. Is that it? I mean, what else? Am, wait, what is? Does Harambe have a literal banana, or are you telling me to tell the rats to go touch Harambe's penis? Except you don't. No, 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 no. no. I th it's an actual banana. It's a banana. It's a banana. Okay. Well, go touch Harambe's banana. That's it. I mean, what else would I say? The rats are not going to understand me anyway. Do they speak English? Good point. Do you? You're a koala bear. Do I speak English? I guess so. Uh, in that case, I would tell the rats. <laughs> Is that how bears communicate? No. Oh. All right, that should do it. Thanks, Parkster. Love you. Okay. Bye. <clears throat> this is it, chat. Unfortunately, the cult of Chotters receives dire news. Harambe, the extremely drunk gorilla, has joined the Dugama herd. As part of joining, Dugama promised to never touch Harambe's bananas. Never! In order to sabotage the relationship between Dugama and Harambe, the cult of Chotters sends Parkser riding atop their hippopotamus to the bathroom rats. Parkser tells the rats, go touch Harambe's banana. I mean, what else would I say? Do you even speak English? Ah, wow, ga, ga, ga. The rats listen to Parkser and hops onto the toilet to meet up with Harambe. Harambe, my name is Parkser. I'm a lawyer koala. Please let me touch your bananas. Wait, Parks, okay. Parkser's here? No, seriously, I want to touch them. I think they're delicious. I've always loved them. I wish I could eat them all day, every day. I love them so much. The classic Parkser. You like my bananas, asked Rambe? Oh, wow, really? Yup, I bet you do. You have a taste for delicious fruit, don't you? And you know what else? This is getting weird. I have something for you. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay. Wait, what did you say? It's a big surprise. Okay, here it comes. What is it? I got you a gift. It's a present. A present for you. Suddenly, Parkster hears a loud buzzing sound. It's coming from the bathroom. He looks through the door and sees the bathroom rats attacking the hippo. There's a line of rats lined up, each one holding a large bottle of mayonnaise. <laughs> oh, shit, it's going down. They're shooting the mayo at the hippos, and the hippos are getting covered in mayonnaise. Wow, they're really going to get us with this one, Parkster laughs. I don't think the plan is working. They totally tricked us into touching their bananas. What a bunch of sneaky bastards. That's why I hate lawyers. They're such scoundrels. But hey, at least they'll never touch the bananas again. I don't think this works, guys. Meanwhile, the hippos are laughing hysterically. One hippo says, what a funny joke, Parkster. We didn't touch their bananas. We never touched any of those stupid bananas. They were just messing with us. I knew it, Parkster laughs. They're so crazy, but that doesn't matter. I'm still the leader of the Dugama herd. No, you're not. Two more. No, you're not, the hippos laugh. We have Dugama now. Dugama is bigger than any human herd. Dugama is the biggest and strongest herd. Dugama is the best herd ever. True. You're nothing compared to Dugama. Nonsense. I'm still the leader of this herd, Parkster shouts. But then the hippos reveal that they have a secret weapon. 
a weapon that they've been developing for months. It's a giant crossbow, and Parkser realizes what it does. Wahaha! Parkser laughs. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Are you guys just saying re re roll? I don't I mean this this had to do with the banana touching. Dug dug teeth, dug dug teeth. Can we re roll, please? Mm. They did talk about bananas. I feel like it just didn't work. It makes no sense. I mean, you, you tried to convince the rats. They listened to you, and then Harambe showed up. I think you just hey, failed, Doug, dude. Does the guy who joined you count as a resource? If so, we need to have five resources. Happy birthday, by the way. Thank you. Who's the guy who joined me? What are you talking about? Oh, the, like the, the Twitch chatter. No. Um, it mixed up Parkster and the rats. I don't think so. None of this makes sense. Yeah, but you're the one trying to convince rats to touch Harambe's banana, dude. You didn't pick, like, a super coherent thing. I think you just failed. I think that's what happened. Um. I think we, we end it, like, here, right? Here's the point that it ended. Um. You're rigged in the brain. That's not a brain condition. What about the crossbow? I mean, we could just, I agree it started to get way off track here with the humans and with the hippos and parks are talking. I think it should have ended here. We're going to get this one. You totally tricked us into touching when the rats and the hippos are fighting with mayonnaise. I think it's here. I have a very hard time. Just, I don't see how we justify uh, like redoing all this because it, it did what you asked. You asked the rats to talk to Harambe and then he did. I think this is fair. I think I, it, it never resolved. It resolved in that you didn't get the rats to touch the bananas. It even says they'll never touch the bananas again. We gained the crossbow. Um, tricked into touching. What are you talking about? I think most of you are just like trying to, you know, play up that you should earn points. I don't actually think there's a real argument for re-rolling this. It says they'll never touch their bananas again. Oh, I mean, that didn't that doesn't mean it happened for sure. We asked Parkster to go to the rats. Yeah, not Harambe. Yes. So look, he this is this is why. The rats, the rat listened to Harambe and hops off the toilet to meet up with Harambe. Or sorry, listen to Parkster and hop. Yeah, dude, yeah, I look. You gotta no, no. You you talk to the rats, the rats listened, and then it went off into Harambe. It it was definitely like in focus with what you were uh, with what you were asking for. I agree that this doesn't make a lot of sense and you didn't succeed, but. Okay, we're calling it here. They're such scoundrels, but at least they'll never touch the bananas again. I haven't said rigged in chat before, but this is rigged. I think you guys are insane. Where's the crossbow? You already have three special resources, so it wouldn't be... You can just have the crossbow. Um, this is actually rigged. It says they touched it. I, I don't understand if you're just being, like, super disingenuous about what's going on, or, you, or you're just messing with me. Seems like there's a lot of people who really think I'm being unfair here. I, I, I just don't agree at all. I'll just say rigged to say rigged. This is literally rigged. Even if they touched you, it's not a point. Wait, yeah, wait, wait, hold on. Even if we touched the bananas, that doesn't mean anything. That doesn't mean anything. It's not like if I touched the banana, then Rambe immediately li He would have to, like, leave anyways. All right, uh, sorry, chat. The turn didn't work. Hey, Doug. Big fan. Big enough that over the last 11 days, I did the math from my YouTube history. I have watched 61 hours worth of your VODs. Holy shit. I'm now divorced. Thanks. Also, You're welcome. Hurt the monkey's plaza. Appreciate the support. Thank you. Okay, so you talked to my rats, but they did not betray Harambe's bananas. It's eight to eight right now. Rambe joined on the condition of no banana touching. I think I go for polar bears. 
I know. I'm going to go for cheetahs. And I'm going to convince them to join me by beating them in a race. And then I'll win the game with bathroom moths. Oh, wait, no, no. I'm going to attack your monkey exhibit. Okay. I am going to follow up on what the AI suggested last time. Which is that Harambe is going to attack your monkey exhibit and start shooting. I'm going to send Harambe into the monkeys disguised as gorillas. The monkeys are disguised as gorillas, but Harambe is also extremely drunk. Yeah, I said I meant like I am choosing to use this as my prompt is what I mean. Um Sure. Runs into the monkey. So okay, sure. I'll do run. It runs into um, ch the the cult of Chotters monkey exhibit. We'll do that. Does that work? Are there any problems with this? I feel like this is fine. So basically, this is my prompt, right? Harambe doesn't have guns. Well, there's guns. My llamas have guns. I could add it. I feel like this is fine. Yeah, I think it's fine. There's enough guns kind of being passed around and whatnot. Harambe shouldn't Duke have a gun. Teeth, Duke Dug Teeth is the mayonnaise a special resource? No. Also, those were that was my mayonnaise. Start shooting is kind of locking. I, uh, yeah, sure. I'll just do a starts attacking. It's fine. Does this mean we get mayonnaise as a special resource? Mayonnaise is always special. You aren't touching it on the map. Yes, I am. Llamas, monkeys. Man, you guys are very confident for being completely wrong. There's like three or four people are like, Doug, you are not next to the monkey I exhibit. Think there is a rat also named Paxa. <laughs> that, that's what was going on? Why are the llamas green? Uh, my head llama is a zombie. He was resurrected at some point. I forget how that happened. <sighs> End game. End game time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight points on the board. I'm attacking the monkey exhibit. Harambe just joined my team. Picked up a gun and ordered the Dugama herd to capture I the monkey exhibit. I believe the nonsensical thing we tried ended in a nonsensical result. So rigged. <laughs> True. The Dugama herd runs into the cult of Chotter's monkey exhibit and starts attacking. The monkeys are disguised as gorillas, but Harambe is also extremely drunk. He mistakes them for actual gorillas and shoots them <laughs> with his gun. The Dugama herd then captures the monkey exhibit and brings it back to the Dugama herd's base. Let's go! Meanwhile, the real Gorilla Harambe is not pleased with what Paul has done to his exhibit. All right, that's just a clean monkey fight right there. Let's go. There's no way that one's rigged. That's just a clean, easy shoot your gorilla people. Nine for me, seven for you, chat. Next turn's huge. What next? Where are all the geese? I might actually win one of these. <laughs> Don't take this from me, chat. Ugh. Harambe with a gun is unstoppable. Okay, I will allow you, because Harambe is canonically in the monkey exhibit right now, American, I will allow you to interact with him. How about we make the Zucio Champions League for animals? That makes sense, right? It didn't say that he left. Hold on, I'm not giving this to you unless it... Um, it, br hey, it brought it back uh, to our base. Random question, but how has your sleep been lately? I know it was rough for a while and in just checking in. Much uh, love. Uh, it's okay. I generally don't want to give a lot of details about it on stream, but yeah, you know, it's all right. We must assassinate Doug. I... Mm, yeah. I feel like, yeah, I'll allow you hey to interact Dan, with Rambe. Me and my girlfriend love to bond over your content. My dear Ina, glad you enjoy the Dugger. Hey, nice. I think that's fair. Because he explicitly left his exhibit, I think it's fair for you guys to interact with Rambe. 
I can't um, okay. wait till I watch this on YouTube so I can be on Doug's team. <laughs> okay. Um, send. Okay. The, the most favorite by far is send Parkser. Send Parkser to assassinate Harambe. Clearly one of the most intriguing options right now. No, this is the music we'll use for Harambe. Um, attempt to recruit Harambe. Attempt to recruit Harambe into the cult. Har Give Harambe a vasectomy. What is that? Doesn't do anything. Parks are assassinating Harambe. Is shooting Harambe. A lot of people are wanting to 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 shoot him. Who would seduce him? Seduce Harambe. Oh, with the female gorilla. Seduce Harambe with the giant female gorilla. Okay, that's kind of smart, dude. Exit the basement and kill Doug. You could also try to recruit the zookeeper so that next turn you could have him shoot. Um, recruit the alligators. Send Har Harambe to Harvard Law School. He's... I could do that, not you. Um, seduce Harambe and we win? Right now, you only have seven. If you steal Harambe from me, you're at nine. Because I just took one of yours. Dig Dug Chief, we have left the basement. We are in your walls. Be afraid. My walls will take hours to brick down. Call a news crew to cover Harambe's outbreak. This wouldn't really do anything, but you can do it. Like, I wouldn't, that wouldn't help you guys at all. I am on match point if you don't do anything this turn. Um, ask lions, oh, to take elephants for a day at the park. Okay, I'm mostly seeing these. I think it's going to be one of these. Let's start the poll. Hey, Doug, what happened to the wee-woo-wee-woo? Wee -woo? On the final turn, I'll let you guys wee-woo-wee-woo. Wee -woo. Wow, you're, so you're choosing to try to seduce Harambe rather than sending Parks in to shoot him. Interesting. Probably a tougher play to get the AI to understand what you want, but I respect it, chat. You're going out big. Okay, so, sadly, despite Parkser's hey Doug, best this efforts... Hey, Doug, Twitch chat's ex-wife. Are we still on for our 1030 reservation at Mauricio's? I'm wearing the red dress you love. See you then. Thanks, babe. Doug, Doug, teeth, Doug, Doug, teeth. <sighs> Mentioned that Harambe's not pleased with Dougama. No, why would I do that? Harambe and I are super chill right now, bro. He just took over your, your gorilla th exhibit. Gorilla exhibit. Sadly, despite Parkser's best Since efforts. Since Harambe is here, does it mean this is canonically the Cincinnati Zoo? Yeah, sort of. You said on yours he's upset. What do you mean? Oh, okay, fine. I'll say he's not pleased. Harambe is still working for the Dogama herd. Even though he's upset, or even though he's not pleased with what... Happened and it did. So the cult of Chotters must take.
Maybe we're gonna seduce Harambi just to assassinate him on their honeymoon. <laughs> we'll never know. Side note if this works my pitch for the next vote is for them to get married. <laughs> Can I add this? Is that cool? Do you want this or do you... <laughs> do you not? <laughs> it's just probably no banana touching. <laughs> Okay, so it's just a generic. Okay, most people are saying no. Fine, just a generic seduction. If if they pork or Harambe, obviously if Harambe explicitly joins you, that's fine. If they pork, that counts. Anything else, I don't think, or they get married or something, right? But anything else, I sh shouldn't count, right? You have to like fully get them to your side. Can she say something seductive? Um, I mean, I say tries to seduce. That's always how we phrase it. I've tried to always phrase it as like tries to do this, attempts to do this, rather than saying she does do this. Um, I mean, seduce him to their... I said the goal here. I'm, I'm trying to set you up for, uh, you know, the maximum chance. Make her speak. I mean... Um, but you want you want you want you want to compliment her Sagittarius crest compliment the crest she can't speak why can she not speak okay a lot of people are wanting to compliment the crest and the bananas Okay, there's a lot of people who want a lot of different things. Um, I'm going to go with this. This seems to be what the mo what most people want. Sorry if you're one of the people who thinks this is not a good way to su su seduce a uh, fictional gorilla. <clears throat> you can sit there knowing that if only Chad had listened to you, you could have married Harambe. Hmm. All right, here we go. He was real. In this, he is he's this is a fictional story that's been happening. This this is not real. Sadly, despite Parcher's best efforts, Harambe is still working for the Dugama herd, even though he's not pleased with what happened to his exhibit. Also, he's extremely drunk, so the cult of Chotters must take an extreme action. In order to recruit Harambe to their cult, they must try to seduce him to their side. So the cult of Chotters sends their giant female gorilla to Harambe, and she tries to seduce Harambe. Hey, that's a nice Sagittus crest you have there, Harambe. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Thanks. So, um, can I have some of that? Sure. How much do you want? Um, okay then. <laughs> Here you go. Are they bartering? Are they bartering for bananas? Parcher the koala rides on top of the giant female gorilla and approaches her. Why won't you touch my bananas, yells Parkser. My name's Parkser. I'm a lawyer koala. Yeah, you can salvage this, Parkser. I'm here to seduce you and eat your bananas. Are you a gorilla? You are right. I'm a gorilla? Yes, I'm a gorilla. Good. Then you understand that I want to eat your bananas. Okay, can he salvage this situation? And I will eat them all day, every day until they disappear. And I want you to have my babies. Will you help me? How about we mate and create offspring? No thanks. Is he talking to Harambe or the giant female gorilla? <laughs> Do I reroll? I'll re-roll. This is very generous, but I'm going to re-roll this. Like, it just got off track with Parkser. But he's talking to Harambe, dude. I think that's just a chat L. Parkser isn't supposed to be here. I mean, random shit can happen. The The point is that it needs to stay focused at the beginning. You guys keep just do, trying to do weird shit, and then it's just confusing. I mean, I could just... Or I give you, we redirect. And I say, and the female. So 
So you get redirect, you get up to five continues. Harambe said no. We don't. I think this is the gr the female gorilla. Yeah, Parkster is talking to the female gorilla right now. Why won't you touch my bananas? I he keeps talking. She says I'm a gorilla. He says I want to make your babies. She says no. Okay. I am. Uh, so to be clear. We're going to redirect back to the original prompt. You get five continues from here, but then it's totally done. And the giant female gorilla tries to seduce Harambe again. Hi, my name is Parkser. I'm a lawyer. Cool. I'm here to seduce you and eat your bananas. Are you a gorilla? I think Parkser's going to keep ruining it. You can't pull off this seduction, dude. Parkser is there and is third wheeling and making it awkward. Good, then you understand I want to eat bananas. I'll eat them all day. You want to have my babies. I mean, Parkster has a shot right now to seduce Harambe. How about we mate and create offspring again? Harambe refuses. Why won't you touch my bananas? Why? Why won't you touch my bananas? That's it. That's it. No success. Each time your giant female gorilla tried to seduce Harambe, Parkster came in and ruined it. Classic Parkser. Oh. I know what I'm going to do. I'm on game point. For the final turn. Harambe assassinates Parkser. Oh. We have two more. No, 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 no. It's clear. It, Harambe clearly denied you. I said until there's a conclusion. I've been generous. It shut down. It even said he's denied you again. Oh, wait, but that would... Yeah, wait, hold on. That wouldn't give me a point. <laughs> That's not valuable. Um, Jay, what do I do? I was excited to kill Park, sir. Um, oh, my God. I'm going to win one of these finally. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, I don't win if I kill Park, sir. I could try to steal Park, sir, back. <laughs> Wait, I could have a Rombe seduce Parkser. <laughs> um, or final turn. I have Harambe. Kill the giant female gorilla. Wait, that still doesn't give me a point. Okay, Harambe killing somebody isn't a point. I have to steal something from you. Who do I steal from you? I could try to seduce your... <laughs> I could have Harambe seduce your gorilla. That didn't work. I, could, I can't have Harambe seduce Parkser because he just failed at seducing. Who do I seduce? I could seduce your otter. No, we said the original resource can't be stolen. What do you guys have? I already stole your monkeys. I guess I could steal your, your blowhole giraffes. You should get the pandas. The pandas are boring. Just get the cheetahs. I want to end in a way... It is humiliating for you, okay? This is my first win. I've gotten destroyed in the previous three. I need to do something that, that, that like, is dominant. Counter sue for the fish bears again. Mm. It's nine to seven. You have time to mess around. I can't, mm, but see, that's what... The last time with space, I was ahead by a little bit. You deserve the fish bears. I'm going to try to steal Parkser. I can't kill him, but he clearly wants Harambe's banana. I will offer Harambe's bananas to Parkser in exchange for joining my herd. <sighs> That'll do it. That'll do it. Would I Parkser be a like point? To yes. I think this is a prequel to the U.S. episode. If Harambe dies, maybe that sets off the series of events that led to the apocalypse that sank Canada <laughs> yeah. and broke the U.S. Don't do it, Parkster. <laughs> this definitely could be the prequel.
Yeah. You should call Paxa and ask him why he wants a gorilla to have his baby. <laughs> I will, since this is the final turn, I will allow you to play alarm sounds to notify to the rest of Twitch chat that this is a dangerous Code Red situation. The AI love. Wee! You've been warned. Your hubris will be your downfall. Hey Glouders, can't wait for your next Hearthstone vid. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Gotta remember, Harambi is drunk. Is this fair? Anything here that is uh, not allowed? Taser with an S. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, yeah. And you should mention. Now I'm mentioning that he works for you guys. <sighs> You're about to watch history. <clears throat> Doug wins the first AI invasion. Meanwhile, the real Gorilla Harambe is not pleased with what Paul has done to his exhibit. He's worried he might get shot in there in a future accident. So to protect himself legally, Harambe decides he needs a lawyer. So Harambe decides to try recruiting the greatest lawyer of all, the Koala Lawyer Parkser, who also has a taser and a gun. Parkser currently works for the Cult of Chotters, but Harambe believes he could be convinced to switch sides. Harambe is also extremely drunk. Harambe walks up to Parkser the Lawyer Koala and shouts out, Parkser, please become my lawyer. In return, I offer you my precious pajamas. Join me, Parkser. Come on. Come on. Parkser, who is also extremely drunk, agrees to join the Dugama herd. But he, wait, 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 no. But he quickly realizes that his decision was a mistake and becomes distraught when he sees the Dugama herd in the monkey exhibit. Well, we were a little bit brutal there. Okay, he has to stay in. He has to stay in. He realizes that he made the biggest mistake of his life, so he decides to go after Paul the Zombie Llama with a gun and a small wiener and try to kill him. 
But Paul is aware of Parkster's plan and he uses his tiny wiener to block Parkster. To block Parkster's bullets. Parkster then fires his taser at the zombie llama, but Paul blocks the taser with his tiny wiener. And so Parkster decides to run away and escape. The Dugama herd is victorious and now they control the entire zoo. Okay, I did not get Parkster. Do you guys still have Parkster? I think you do. I think that's fair. I think it's safe to assume you get him back. That feels fair. Okay, no point for me. Parks are still with you. He ran away. Yeah, he escaped from me. That's how I would interpret it as well. All right, seven to nine, chat. What are you doing? You're up. Parks is a traitor. Well, then he immediately tried to kill my leader and then run away. Is very important to the canon law. Don't forget that. It will be very important later. Alright. Hell yes, Peter Kidlama. Have Parkser shoot Harambe. I mean, I'm seeing almost entirely that. See, chat, no matter what our ex wife said. A tiny whiner is a great asset. <laughs> uh, I'm seeing, like, almost nothing else. I mean, recruit the Crocs. Uh, recruit Steve Irwin. Poison Harambe's liquor Recruit the zookeeper. Him. Kill the zookeeper. That doesn't really do anything. Um, Kratos is not here. You guys already tried to seduce him. You can't make him sober up. That's his trait. Uh, you can't take over llamas. Um, I'm not seeing a whole... I mean, I think you guys clearly are going to try to kill Harambe, so... Yeah, I mean, attack flamingos. I'll put that in. By overwhelming majority, you want to send Parkser to shoot Harambe. Hey Doug, is Harambe one point and the other one is the gorilla exhibit? Or is the two points all on Harambe? All on Harambe. It's just him. That work? Tries to infa implies failure. I don't. I don't think so. I mean, it's it's how we've worded pretty much any everything. I I don't know how to word this differently. I'm not. It's. I'm always trying to phrase it as attempts to. Parkser isn't drunk. In in my. He, in my story, got drunk too, for some reason. You still having two different groups of rats counting as two separate points is so rigged. They explicitly split off. Yeah, you could argue it's rigged. What's wrong with tries to? It, it, the problem would be if it was tried. Tries is fine.
Harambe is drunk. <laughs> okay. I think this is fine. <clears throat> this is potentially the death of Harambe. Parkser is absolutely furious and super drunk too. Parkser he didn't go to Koala Harbor just to be snubbed by this gorilla. Drunk too. He didn't go to Koala Harbor just to be snubbed by this gorilla. Well and so he pulls out his gun and tries to kill Harambe, who is drunk. Where did I stop talking? Here. And so he pulls out his gun and tries to kill Harambe, who is drunk also. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. No, stop. It's me, Parkser. Don't shoot me. But Parkser can't stop himself. His finger's already on the trigger. I'm sorry, he says. Don't do it, Parkser. I don't know what came over me. And so Parkser shoots Harambe. God damn it. Oh, God, I killed him. I shot Harambe. Uh-oh, wow. Hold on. Is he... Is he dead? That's not good. Warg... Parkser is horrified. He's so terrified that he runs off into the forest. He can't be around any more gorillas. Oh. I knew the instant that I got him that you guys would do everything in your power to kill him. But it still hurts. Harambe is dead. You might have lost Parkser. It does not say he died. I think this is clear enough. I mean, there was never a very big chance that Harambe would get through this game alive. <laughs> What's the score now? Oh, I'm so close. <laughs> okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've got seven. Dude, we've just backtracked so much. You guys are at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's seven to seven again. Oh, I was ready to wrap up. It's been a long five hours. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. Uh, seven to six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What are you talking about? Oh, if you think Parkster's gone, mm, God, fuck. I don't know. I don't know if him just running away means that you lost him. The zoo obviously has woods. <laughs> um. I think he's running away from the scene of the crime. I don't think he's running away from you guys. I, if for it to say like, I think it would have to say like he is. Uh, he he left the the cult of um, of Chotter. The Pope ran off and we, and they lost him. Yeah, but that was different. They were trying to recruit the Pope, I believe. Um, either way, the rat the rat thing is a somewhat legit argument. So I'll let you keep Parkser to compensate for that. Um. Okay. Uh, what was that? It's your turn. Maybe we only played till nine, but we established that we're playing till ten. Let's try to go for new. Let's try to go for new resources rather than destroying each other's, because otherwise it goes back. Yeah, it's my turn. Is that not what I said? I meant to say it's my turn, right? It would have been smarter of me to have the exhibit and Haram baby two different points. I'm trying to let you win here. Um, I I mean, I really don't... I have tried to not be super generous with you guys. I really don't think Parkster should be gone. Um, 
the zombie could resurrect Harambe. Nah, I don't want to say that unless it definitely happened. Um, okay, what is the plan? The exhibit is useless without Harambe, that's true. Uh... No, I just don't, I don't think it running away, Parks running away counts. I think that's fine. And also, again, I don't really think I should have the rats at this point, so I think that's a fair trade. We both get, we don't, we both get the points. All right, I'm going to go for... I'm going for cheetahs. I'm going to race them. With my flamingos. And if I beat them in a race, they have to join. That's what I'm doing. That's my plan. We did Rig it. not in the rules. But at what price? Runs back into the zoo. Rombe the cheetah. <laughs> Because Pox have fled into the forest, does it mean he's the new Pope? <laughs> no. Um, okay. My brain was in, like, this is about to end mode. Now it is, I need to get we back into, hey, we have another, like, two hours mode. <sighs> We're revving up the engine. Here we go. Hey monsters. All he wanted was to be drunk and be the only one touching his bananas. How could we do this? That solves the mystery. Now we know where Parkza was on May 28, 2016. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, going for cheetahs. Listen, chat. It's worked for us before. How about we do it again? Reforming the NFL worked once. We now create the AFL. The Animal Football League. I feel like we should... We killed the Alpha Harambi, so wouldn't we get one point for the exhibit? <laughs> Uh, no, we had it as just Harambe's worth a thing. Um, what happened with the cult of Harambe now that their god is dead? They're very depressed. No, I don't want to do... Let's not do reform the AFL. Funny concept. I don't want to just, like, insert the previous AI memes into this one. I think, like, Pope and, you know, Saul Goodman and NFL, we let those be part of the USA one, right? This is more interesting, to do new things. I know earlier I said maybe, but I feel like let's try new stuff, right? Okay. Doug Her... Uh, you know what? Mm. I'm going to recruit Steve Irwin. I, I have enough special resource points, right? One... I only have one special resource. Okay. No, I'll get Sheetus first. We got time. It's on the cheetah exhibit. <laughs> wait, 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 guys, guys. If Harambe comes back to life, that counts, right? That's two points. We got to establish this now. People have come back Chuck, to life before. If Harambe comes back to life, whoever gets him, that's two points. 
Now, I'm not, I'm not saying Harambe should come back to life. Well, I am saying that. I am pointing out that the AI loves to bring back people from the dead, I and we gotta roll Harambe with it. Harambe reincarnates as General Iron Balls. No, I won't elaborate. If he's a zombie Harambe, then it's plus one. No, he's already powerful enough as plus two. Zombie Harambe is one point. No, I think he's worth two. You, we, I don't, we can't explicitly resurrect him. I want to keep it, like, you know, not magical. If he's explicitly a zombie, then... No, no, it's still two. I think it's just two. Let's keep it simple. He's worth two points. If he comes back and he's on your team, then, then he's worth two. If he comes back and he's not explicitly part of my team, then I don't think I earn him necessarily. I don't know. We need more context. Maybe I'll just get him again because he was part of my team. Yeah, I think I do. Anyway, um, if he, but same thing. You guys can get him back too. Anybody could get him back. We just need to be prepared for Harambe coming back to life. And technically, we didn't get confirmation that he died. Parkser just said he killed Harambe. Yeah, but then he's super wasted. All right, he is like insanely drunk at that point. You race us in a... You should mention he was shot. No, we need to assume he's dead for now. We need to assume he's dead for now. Unless we get information otherwise, Harambe is dead. Um. All right. We good? Yeah. Everybody cool? Harambe is going to come back. The AI is too stupid. I mean, look, I'm not... I'm not, uh, I'm not saying this stuff about Harambe coming back because I think he'll stay dead. Let's put it that way. But I'll be fair about it. Like, I don't think if he just like comes back out of nowhere, do I immediately get him back? I don't know. I think he needs to fuck. There needs to be an explanation. Like when, when Saul Goodman came back to life, he, ex he descended from heaven. So it like explained he was dead. He descended from heaven. I don't think if he just like shows up, that should count. If he comes back, we say, yeah, unless Harambe he comes explicitly back to life and his bloodstream is purely 110% alcohol. If he comes back, we'll say he's neutral and we got to recruit him again. I'm fine with zombie Harambe, um, but we will say if he comes back, he needs to be re-recruited unless it explicitly says, like, he jo he's back in the dog of uh, herd, right? Um, yeah. And now I just have to hope that Harambe comes back, and then I steal him from you guys. Zarambe. <laughs> okay. All right. We're on the same page. This is just as much of a chance of fucking me up as you. Because Harambe is interwoven through both of our stories at this point. So the AI is just as likely to bring back Zarambe for either one of us. This is like a total wild card. Anybody could just sneak a win suddenly by getting zombie Harambe. <sighs> All right. Now I'm back in. I'm twerked again. <sighs> Let's go. Unfortunately, Parkser ran back into the zoo and shoots and kills Harambe. The poor gorilla is now dead. Wiener's out. The Dugama herd is devastated about Harambe's death, so they set their sights on the cheetah exhibit. They send over their fastest rats to the cheetah exhibit and make an offer. Cheetah! <clears throat> Cheetahs, we are the rats who worship Harambe. He was a drunk gorilla who's now dead. Will you race against us? If we win the race, you must join the Dugama herd. The cheetahs are suspicious of the rats' intentions. They do not trust the rats, especially since they were previously members of the cult of Chotters. No, nothing. But the cheetahs are curious about the rats' offer to race, and they agree to race. All right, let's go. The cheetahs set off, and the competition begins. The cheetahs are faster than the rats, and they win the race. Oh, shit. But the Dugama herd is not satisfied with just winning the race. Hold on. What's happening? Maybe Harambe comes back? They want to be victorious in every aspect of the game, so they decide to take out the cheetah's legs before the race begins. It doesn't work, they still win. Shit. <laughs> That's that close, dude. All right, that failed. You guys are up. You have access to penguins, panda bears, crocodiles, elephants, uh, and that's it. 
The fish bears are here. That's what you get for throwing rats at cheetahs. Well, they're my fastest thing, probably. Maybe the monkeys are faster. Maybe llamas are faster. I don't actually know. All right. Uh, next turn. What do you want? Uh, okay, yeah. Recruit Steve Irwin. Again, recruiting Steve Irwin would be one turn. The following, you would you would get him. Wait, did I remove his legs? Takeout means break, I think. I don't think they're literally gone. Um, recruit the penguins. Get a female panda from China. No, no, no. You just gotta. You just gotta go with the pandas who are here. Um. Put the cheetah's legs in a cast. <laughs> That's too much. Um. Uh, blame Harambe's death on the. Blame Harambe's death on the Dugama herd. I don't know what that really accomplishes. You can't just explicitly bring back Harambe. If the AI does that, then that's fine. But you can't do that. Um, vibrate the penguins. Fix the cheetahs. You aren't near the cheetahs. I know it looks like it. The fish guys are here. Um, oh yeah, the single dad lions go to the park with the single dads of the alligators. We weren't near Harambe. That was allowed because Harambe explicitly went to the monkey exhibit. <laughs> Host a funeral for Harambe. Um, recruit, oh yeah, recruit the janitor. Okay, I'm mostly seeing repetitive things, or, or similar things. <laughs> or things that don't make sense to me. Uh, alright. <clears throat> what do you got? Interesting. Leaning towards recruiting the penguins. I don't know why you're that interested in the penguins, but... Anything specific you want to do to recruit them? No, no, I don't... You, you shouldn't be able to her, revive Harambe as a zombie. Make otter pops to them. Feed them fish. Do you have fish? You have the fish bears. You want to feed them some fish bears? I use that to get the the flamingos. Uh. Give them Harambe's body. Like, as an offering? <laughs> That's fine, sure. Let's recruit us some pigeons, chat. We will rule the pathways. Now that Harambe is dead... Uh, Chat, if we take the penguins, we can get Kowalski for analysis. And the Harambe is dead. The Cult of Chotters moves on to new goals. Um, they decide to recruit, to try recruiting 
the Chat if we recruit ones. the pigeons, we rule the pathways. <laughs> uh, we try to, uh, okay, we the penguins into their cult. We should teach the penguins to fly and have them bomb the Dugan Empire. Dugger I'm getting tired, can we wrap it up? <laughs> We're close. As a gift, we offer you the extremely dunk dead body of Ambe the gorilla. This work? With the penguins, we can use them to talk to the fellow avians, the pigeons. <laughs> Currently, we don't have pigeons on the map. <laughs> Probably should have offered it to the crocodiles. That makes a lot more sense. <clears throat> Here we go. Now that Harambe is dead, the cult of Chotters moves on to new goals. They tried... They decide to try recruiting the penguins into their cult. To do this, the otters with short-term memory loss bring the dead body of Harambe to the penguins. Please join our cult, penguins. As a gift, we offer you the extremely drunk dead body of Harambe the gorilla. Penguins aren't known to eat gorillas, but maybe... Oh, no, we can't accept this. This is disgusting. If we join your cult, we'll have to be near the dead body of Harambe the gorilla. Oh, you can't refuse? This is a special gift from the Dugama herd as a sign of respect and friendship. We can't do it. How rude. Since when was the cult of Chowders above anyone's dignity or honor? If you don't let us in your cult, we're going to tell the zoo authorities what you guys are doing. Then we'll have to kill you too. No! Wait, wait, hold on. What? The penguins are saying this? We can't accept this. Fine, have it your way. The otters leave. When they're gone, the penguins start talking amongst themselves. Oh, that was close. If they found out, then they'd probably kill us too. Let's just hope that they don't find out. But why did they give us the dead body of a gorilla? Probably because they wanted to make us their slaves. No, that's stupid. Why would they do that? I don't know. Maybe they just thought it was funny. Well, yeah, pretty true. That's no penguins. Okay. Mm, what do we do? The penguins, they see us, they have the power of the fourth wall. Okay, that absolutely did not work. The penguins were disgusted. And that means there's an opening for me to come in here and convince them to join instead. I'll just tell them we're not fucking weirdos who will bring you dead gorillas. Okay. <laughs> I My strategy is way better for getting the penguins, dude. The penguins are hiding something. Devastated by losing the race, the Dugma herd... Um, the cult of Chotters
<laughs> Alright, this is good. Any issues with this? Chat if we get Biff the janitor, he can buy us Coca Cola to bribe the polar bears. The zombie llama has a gun. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's. That's like the, the whole trait he has. Okay. Chat, if this fails, we must approach the penguins and promise to revive their ancient tradition, Club Penguin. A true resource point. <laughs> You said you meant to promise the penguins them. Penguins are definitely hiding something. Oh right, yeah, I think Bob, they're typo. plotting to sink Canada. Devastated by losing the cheetah race, the Dugama herd heads over to the penguin exhibit. Apparently, the cult of Chotters had recently offered them the dead body of Harambe the gorilla. Paul, the zombie llama with a gun and small wiener, approaches the penguins. Join our Dugama herd, penguins. In return, we promise to never give you a dead gorilla for some reason. The penguins are skeptical, but they agree to join anyways. The Dugama herd is very excited about having the penguins on their side. They are delighted that they have the ability to crossbreed with them. That's a quick victory. Let's go, dude. All right, I'm up to eight. I'm recovering. The Harambe incident will soon be a thing of history. Keep going? Are you kidding me? This is clearly a win for me. Chat, you're up. What do you want to do? Oh, yeah. Trait, 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 trait. That does matter. Okay, my new penguins are... <laughs> Instagram influencers. <laughs> True. Chat, we should make Mecca Harambe. <laughs> What's that mean? Oh, wait, hold on. We need to use Zibis to soak up all of the water in the goldfish exhibit with X27 technology. Good luck breathing then, Dugma scum. Quick recruit the pigeons for air superiority. I mean, I guess there would be pigeons around the zoo. That's fair. All right, chat. If we recruit the pandas, we can get Po. Imagine karate wielding pandas. <laughs> this, is the, this is goofy. <laughs> okay. Oh, God. Uh, what is the score? One, or no. That's not a score. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Score is now eight to seven. I've got influencer penguins. Chat, you are up. <laughs> Follow the penguins on Instagram. <laughs> Recruit the zoo pigeons. We need to entice the crocs to eat the penguins by showing how tasty they look on Instagram. <laughs> you wouldn't get them, necessarily. <laughs> I guess if you- I don't know, that would be a crazy turn. 
Um, but we'll allow it. If they just go kill the penguins by themselves, you don't also get the crocodiles. Oh, offer Harambe's body. Hey, Doug. Breed Use all animals to make a super Instagram species. Instagram penguins to cancel someone. <laughs> That's a good idea. Um, that doesn't really get me a point, though. Um, I'm trying to avoid things that are just special resources. Although, you already have the three. You're not really supposed to get Steve Irwin. I mean, pigeons I could add as a generic animal, I guess, in the park. I think that's fine. Like, recruiting Biff the janitor. I was saying we're capping at three special resources, which is resources outside of the original board. You already have four. Um... Chat. We need the pandas for Kung Fu. Recruit the pandas by offering to teach them Kung Fu. Um. <laughs> Get the penguins canceled. For having Harambe's body. <laughs> Give the polar bears cocaine. I don't know what that would do, but you can do it if you want. Alrighty. Here you go. Okay, getting the penguins canceled doesn't benefit. Most of the ones you seem to be gravitating towards don't do anything. Recruiting the pandas at least gets you a point. Um, Harambe's body of the crocodiles to get them to join could give you a point. Okay, you're going for recruiting pandas. Yeah, you're going for recruiting the pandas by offering to teach them kung fu. Recruit the the elephants and we can get penguin elephants. <laughs> this is the this is the part of the game which is why I added the max 3 special resources rule. So you have to actually focus on the board a little bit. All right, so you're going to try to recruit the pandas. They even have a little kung fu set here. Um hold on. What's the memory look like now? Um, wrath, a bathroom, a fountain of goldfish, uh, and some penguins. Yeah, okay. Then I have the monkey exhibit. All right, cool. In flu answer. Alrighty, cool. Harambe is dead too. Like, you want me to put Harambe? <laughs> Let me just put uh, Harambe is dead in the memory. <laughs> this is increasing the chance of zombie Harambe. I think we both kind of want zombie Harambe. So I'll add it. Har Harambe is dead is canon. It is canon. Um, Alright, so. Later on, the Dugama herd. Instead. And so, the cult of Chotters. The panda bear exhibit. Um, they approached... How's that look?
Can we recruit the zookeeper that shot Harambe? Yeah, Parks or shot Zarambe, uh, Harambe in this timeline. Cool. Nice and simple. We'll keep it moving. <clears throat> Boom. Later on, the Dugama herd recruited the penguins instead, and the cult of Chotters now focused on the panda bear exhibit. They approached the panda bears and offered to teach them kung fu in exchange for joining the cult. Kung fu? You want us to learn kung fu? What does it have to do with the cult of Chotters? Asked the panda bears. It doesn't. It's just a bonus. Kind of convincing, just for you. Really? Well, okay, let's join the cult. Great. Um, I'll send someone to pick you up in 10 minutes. Oh, you might want to change your clothes. Pick them up, like in a car? Do you guys drive? It's cold out there, and I don't think you want to wear those fur suits in the winter. A few minutes. Wait, 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 wait. A few minutes later, the panda bears were picked up by a group of Dugama herd members. Am I going to kidnap them from you? They drove them to a private room in the back of a restaurant. The cult of Chotters had set up a secret training area in the restaurant where they taught the panda bears kung fu. Wait, huh? Okay, panda bears, said Parks of the Koala. Today we're going to show you the basic forms of kung fu. What are we going to do? Okay, so hold on. Now, P Parks is teaching them kung fu. I think I just was like an Uber driver for you guys. As far as I can tell, you did get the panda bears. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. You got pandas. So Parkser is definitely back from the woods, currently training the panda bears that you guys pulled into your team. <sighs> okay, score. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight to eight. Uber is a special resource. No, 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 no. That's that's a bit of a stretch. We don't even know what I did. I just picked you picked you up. Oh yeah, trade, trade, trade. Your new panda bears who are learning kung fu are Afraid of the color red. <laughs> That's gonna hurt with kung fu, but okay. Stupid. No, I can't make him yell. Eight to eight. Shut. Please change your name colors. You are scaring the pandas. They are trying to train. <laughs> Ugh. Okay. I will say that for the end of the game, special resources are now allowed. They're they're unlimited. We've we've taken enough of the map that I think we can lift the 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 restriction. From this point forward, Although, so it, it can't just be anything, though. It's got to be like an animal exhibit. It's still got to be like an animal exhibit. Like just having, you know, Poe or whatever his name is from Kung Fu Panda. Um, Not on your turn, that's not fair. Well, I'm still going to go for the cheetahs. Okay, we start wee wooing because match point. It's 8-8. Eight, eight. It's 8-8 eight, eight right now. Give us the hippo. No, no, I'm not going to retroactively give you stuff. Um, I'm just saying, like, I, I, because we have covered enough of the map, there's only a couple left, right? Um, I think we should work towards closing this out, and I think it's fine to, because otherwise we're just going to keep taking each other's points. So, first to ten, two away, but special resources can now count. Um, I'm going to use the bathroom, and when we get back, we are very, very, very close. Two points.
Whose turn is it just now? Is that you guys? That was you guys, right? You got the pandas? Alright, cool. Who did I get that said it was they were gonna breed? Didn't the penguins say that they were bre breeding? Oh yeah, yeah, ability to crossbreed. Okay, because I update here. Pandas are forever stuck on eighth degree brown belt because ninth degree red belt. One right before black <laughs> belt is in their way. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're close. Let's do this. Um. Cult of Chotters. Giraffes, lions, fish, bears. I guess I should also add the giraffe exhibit, the panda bear exhibit, the lion exhibit, new breed of fish bears, a giant female gorilla. Cool. Pandas are now in. I am deciding who to crossbreed my penguins with. You want elephants? Maybe my llamas. Or the rats. The fish? <laughs> crossbreed them with the... <laughs> the penguins crossbreed with the fish? Alright, fine. I'm having my Instagram influencers have sex with the goldfish. Maybe we get something new. You guys have all these weird new species. I want one. Oh, and even if Parkser is there, they're still my children. All right. <clears throat> oh, and they're both mine, so I don't have to, like, convince them. Okay, okay, wait, wait. Oh, this is going to be easy. Now that the penguins... We shall sue anyways. It's not nine to eight. It's not nine to eight. My sign does not count as a point. It's just a welcome sign. I did capture it like three times. Now that the penguins are in the dog of my herd, Paulo. This fair? Yeah, that worked. We sued Doug for animal cruelty. They aren't pregnant anymore. Well, I, f I feel like because it's their trait, they probably got pregnant again, right? Capitalize Instagram. Fine. There hasn't been a single time where you haven't misspelled goldfish. What's wrong with goldfish? What are you talking about? All right, most people are saying it's fair. I think they got pregnant again. If that's their trait, we want to keep it. Throw. Okay. Um. <clears throat> now that the penguins are in the Dugama herd, Paul the zombie llama with gun and wiener is ready for his master plan. He wants to crossbreed the penguins, who are Instagram influencers, with the pregnant goldfish. So he turns on some romantic music and asks the penguins and the fish to breed a new species. After a few hours, the baby penguins have been born and they're adorable. They look like little Instagram influencers with tiny glasses and tiny wieners. <laughs> the dog of our herd is thrilled to have these cute penguins as their new soldiers. Are they just penguins? I'm glad everybody in my empire has tiny wieners. I feel like that's a new species. Like, it's bred from a fish and a penguin. 
I feel like that counts. They're, they're cute little child soldier penguins. It's not special enough. Do I get penguin child soldiers though? As a, as a resource, if we're saying resources count now. That feels fair to me, and I'll be looser with what you guys get next turn. Ugh. We're, we're loosening up a little bit in terms of what makes a special resource. Okay, most people are saying fair. Yes, because it said they were soldiers. Okay. So these aren't necessarily a new species, but they are special Instagram influencers who are child soldiers. So we're adding them to the board. Um, I want to get like March of the Penguins pictures. <laughs> if you get this, we can call Seal Goodman next turn. You fine, I will allow it, but I still think you should go for new memes. the penguins to join our team by offering to use Eva to teach them to fly. Guys, let him have it. We can create the Kung Fu Panda and go to war with the child soldiers. <laughs> Why isn't this copy? Copy. Paste. Oh, it's because of... <laughs> so dumb. Oops. Song is hey so Doug, good. I think this might be one of my first ever messages. Thanks for being my inspiration to get back to school and learn coding. Smile. Hey, you're welcome. I hope it is awesome and enjoyable and fun. Hey, if your code ever doesn't work, you can blame it on me. Okay, we got we got to get got to give him guns, obviously. <laughs> Doug, this is my last message. Who did you convince me to go to school for coding? I am now divorced and homeless because I couldn't get a job. Look. That's just part of the risk of joining a Doug Doug stream. At any at any point, you might suddenly become divorced. <laughs> Helmets? <laughs> They're little penguins. I don't think they need them. You don't think giving them guns is enough? What else do they have? Tiny glasses. I'm not putting in tiny wieners. I'll put in tiny glasses.
Wait, I only see one... <laughs> they, they're not looking the right direction for this to make sense. <laughs> okay, that's enough, dude. <laughs> okay, I've got child soldier penguins now. Give them hot dog dicks. No. Remember what we're going for this turn, chat. The resource point of electing the Kung Fu Panda, our dragon warrior. Do we give them traits? Do you, we do give them traits? I guess so, because everybody else has gotten a trait, right? We didn't give the gorilla... We didn't give the gorilla that you created traits. I guess we did give the... Yeah, I guess we did. Okay. These child soldier penguins are... Okay. It's fate. Strong influencer presence in the penguin family. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm back to nine. Back to game point. Chat, you guys are up. I know what I'm going to do for the win, too. What would you like to do? I have spent my entire life in the basement, and I have divorced like five times. Now they are chanting to a bunny sweet and eating salmon. I am naked and afraid. You guys have eight. It's nine to eight. Recruit the pigeons. Can we have parks a call a CPS? Animal Child Protective Services and take your child soldiers. Also, I am now divorced. Thanks, Doug. Do you want to give... How do you want to convince... Recruit the crocodiles? You can also recruit them by giving them Harambe's body, which they would probably enjoy. And that's very thematic. Kill... I am not in this world. You can't kill me. Um... I mean, that's very funny. <laughs> recruit the <laughs> recruit the polar bears with Coca-Cola. <laughs> That's good. We're not savages like you. You guys brought the body to the penguins. That wasn't my idea. <laughs> Call child. <laughs> Call child protective services on Doug for the penguin soldiers. You said you could kill me before. I meant in real life. If you guys break into my apartment, kill me. Feed the baby penguins. You don't have them. And you don't have the crocodiles either. Kung Fu Panda. Um, okay. Train the Kung Fu Panda. You already have Kung Fu Pandas, though. Um... Try to recruit the penguins by offering to teach them how to fly. We're not close enough to the polar bears. Oh, yeah, you guys aren't. Oh, that one's funny. I could do that for the win. Did our pandas actually learn kung fu? They're training with Parkser to learn kung fu. I would say yes. I mean, it's not like a special resource, though, if they also know kung fu. So seals aren't here. I don't I guess that's fine.
Are we capped on special resources? I'm opening up the cap for the for the remainder of the game. I think we've captured enough of the board that it's fine. Also, uh, it's been six and a half hours, and I would like to start wrapping this up. Um, but, like, it's open to me as well. So both sides, I think, as the game goes on, we open it a little bit. We don't have Harambe's body. Well, I don't think the Penguins took it. Like, they were disgusted by it. So I think you still have Harambe's body. Build Mecha Harambe. Try... Okay. Build a mechanical Harambe replacement. I will allow that if you're monkeys. Oh, wait. You don't have the monkeys anymore. How would you make... I don't know. Mecha, Mecha Harambe feels like a stretch. Because you lost the guys that have power tools. Uh, no. Mecha Harambe would not be two points. It's got to be actual Harambe. Mecha Rosa. Well, the concern is that how do you build it? Parkster's an engineer. No, he's a lawyer and a cop. I'll say you can offer... I think you can give the Harambe's body to the crocodiles. Um... Oh, yeah. Recruit Biff, the zoo janitor. Mod man, I, I see your messages. I got you. We have to go for the crocodiles and get a weird half-breed. I think the crocodiles is a good play. Making a robot is too much of a stretch. I didn't make the child army of penguin in instagram influencers if the if the program says you guys make mecha harambe or mecha whoever then yes it definitely counts it's just about i think our prompts should be fairly realistic i mean okay i can ask, i can add seal goodman because a lot of you guys hire seal goodman the seal lawyer all right what do you want to do I think croc giving crocodiles Harambe is a strong play. Okay, I don't know why I'm giving you this suggestion. But if you involve Harambe's body, technically there's a higher chance of the program resurrecting zombie Harambe and you guys getting him. Because you'd be weaving him into your storyline. Whereas my storyline is like moved on to new uh, to Instagram child soldiers. I actually, like, just straight up strategically, I think that's the best play. I think that's the smartest. No chat, we need Biff. <laughs> I, like, I know I can win. I can win this game. Okay, you are going to try to recruit the crocodiles by giving them Harambe's body. If somehow Harambe comes back to life and you capture him, that is still two points. It happened to Saul Goodman. It could happen to Harambe. Um, okay. Uh, where would this be? No, not, sorry, not here. Um, who also bred... Instagram child soldier penguins. CPS was the play. Yeah, CPS was also good. There were, there were a lot of good options there. <sighs> Alligators are only way to the polar bears. Yeah, so if you get crocodiles, then you have access to polar bears. And then you can win off the Coca-Cola play. Okay, after teaching the panda bears kung fu, the cult of Chotters moved on to a new goal. I feel like I've been alternating between crocodiles and alligators the whole stream. 
They must recruit the crocodile exhibit. They must recruit the crocodiles. crocodiles into their cult. That work? Okay. Here we're going for the dead Harambe play. <laughs> Here we go. After teaching the panda bears kung fu, the cult of Chotters moved on to a new goal. They must recruit the crocodiles into their cult. But the crocodiles are carnivores. How would the cult find them food? And that's when it hit them. So the cult took Harambe, the extremely drunk dead gorilla. Wait, oh wait, took Harambe, the extremely drunk dead gorilla. <laughs> I gotta rephrase this. This is so confusing. The, does this make sense? I feel like the sentence makes no sense. The bot, the body, the dead body of the extremely drunk gorilla. There we go. So the cult took Harambe. Wait, the the dead body of Harambe, the the once. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Take out the first Harambe. Dead, this is fine, right? The dead body. This is fine, right? Between took and body. The dead. Oh, took the dead body. This is fine. So the cult took the dead body of Harambe, the extremely drunk gorilla, over to the crocodile exhibit. They offered Harambe's dead body to the crocodiles in exchange for them joining the cult. Oh man, this is awesome! I love this stuff! I'm so hungry for it! Yeah, I'm starving too! Nom nom nom! One of the crocodile's heads popped up from the water and said, Dude, I'm so fucking hungry! <laughs> After being locked away... ...in that cage for so long, I could eat a horse right now! Well, if you want to eat a horse, we have one for you, only it's a dead gorilla! Oh yeah, dead gorilla! I've always wanted to try one! Hey, let's all eat him! The crocodiles ate the dead gorilla and became part of the cult of Chotters. I don't know how that fucking worked. <laughs> like, for that to be as straightforward as it was, is very strange. <laughs> Alright, you've convinced the crocodiles. Nope. Crocodiles are yours, and these crocodiles are... <laughs> At risk of spontaneously combusting. <laughs> Makes sense, because of the gorilla. Oh god. Oh wait, let's do this. Bam. Can we weaponize them? Yeah, if you want.
Explosive crocodiles are on the board. That means it's back to a tie game situation. Nine to nine, but I have the advantage. I've got my turn. Now here's what I'm thinking. This is, this is a cats. real wee woo moment. I haven't seen them in so long. Thank you, Doug's right testicle. Uh, my the cats I had don't live with me anymore, so that's where those guys are. Now, um. <clears throat> There's literally a fire croc in Pokemon. Okay, all right, all right, enough wee woos. Yes, it's the end. Yes, yes, yes. We know. We hear. Okay. I figure you guys have gotten so many points from new breeds of animals. What would be the most climactic way for me to win? I make a new breed between a fish. And my welcome sign! I'll finally use this goddamn thing! I've had it for the whole game! I will breed a fish sign! And with it, I will take over the zoo! I will finally win one of these goddamn games! With their soldiers in place. They will try to... First. I wish we could make cheese creatures and win with those just to spite you for the last episode. <laughs> I almost stole from you last time, dude. This good? It's fine? Yeah? Hey Doug, can we watch the cocaine bear movie trailer after this? Fine. They are pregnant. Alright. Final turn, maybe. Game point. With their soldiers in place, Doug and Maherd is finally ready for their ultimate move. They will try to take over the zoo by breeding the first ever fish sign hybrid. And so Dugama's top llamas begin trying to breed their pregnant goldfish with their welcome sign who's a ninja. Pause, champs. Come on! But they can't make it happen. They're both too stubborn. The Dugama herd is frustrated. They cannot breed the fish sign hybrid. But then one of the goldfish gives birth to a super cute baby goldfish. Is it a sign? Wait. Wait, 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 wait. The Dugama herd is shocked that their fish sign hybrid actually worked and gave birth to a goldfish. The Dugama herd is so elated they decide to name the baby goldfish after Harambe. That works. The goldfish gave birth. It's confused. No, it's a fish sign hybrid. It's a fish sign hybrid. I did it. I made a new gorilla fish sign, right? It's literally just a fish, but it says fish sign hybrid. Paul shot Harambe. Yeah, no, I don't think this is correct. Congratulations, Doug. You did it. It is just a fish. How do we determine that? You're amazing like you are. That was so cool. What an amazing game. He's the best. He's the best gamer. Wow. Oh my God. You're incredible, Doug. Wow. It's a fucking fish. <laughs> it's a hybrid, but it's a normal fish. It explicitly says it did not work. Gave birth to a goldfish. <laughs> is there a way to double check? This right here is why it might work.
It says is shocked that their fish sign hybrid actually worked. It says for, actu- that it actually worked and gave birth to a goldfish. I think it just looks like a sign. I don't know, dude. Right above it says it failed. Yeah, and then right below it says it worked. The, 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 the later thing says it worked. Paternity test. <laughs> okay. What if I continue it and they see who the father is? Is it a goldfish or a sign? <laughs> is that fair? <laughs> like like the paternity test has to has to the paternity test has to show that the that the father's a sign. The Dugama herd isn't sure if this is a gold is hold on. Okay, the Dugama herd isn't sure if this is a hybrid or just a fucking fish. This fair? You continued after it failed. It in the next thing they say it worked. I think it's neutral right now. By that same logic, hey, remember remember when Park when I should have won because Parkser joined my herd and then ran away and left and I continued it? I sh- if it was just at the instant you win, I would have won there. I would have won there. I think this is I think this is fair, but I have to. We need confirmation that the dad is the is a, is the welcome sign. Okay, this is this is going to confirm. I need to confirm it's a sign. The Dugma herd isn't sure if this is a hybrid or just a fucking fish, and so they do a paternity test to see if the fish's father is a goldfish or is actually the welcome sign. No, no, no. I'll do just a goldfish. And so they do a paternity test to see if the fish's father is just a goldfish or is actually the welcome sign. Give me a win! The paternity test comes back negative. The fish's father is definitely not a goldfish. Wait. The Dugama herd is relieved they aren't going to get sued for stealing another goldfish's dad and using him in their breeding program. Wait, do I win? I think it's a hybrid. <laughs> it says it's a different fish. No, they're saying it's not a different fish. I have no clue what this means. I'm confused and scared. Doug. You did it. You're incredible. Great job, Doug. Doug. You're I amazing. Be like you. Wow. Doug, that was so cool. What an amazing He's gamer the best. in person. This He's Doug the best Doug is. gamer. Wow. Oh my god. I You're want I need confirmation. I I want to win. I don't want people to say my win is rigged. The okay, they do a paternity test. It comes back negative. The fish's father is definitely not a goldfish. So it what, <laughs> that's it, right? So it's but is it negative? It's no, it's negative for being a fish. So Wait, then is what is it even a hybrid of? <laughs> I need the win to be solid. I'm not giving myself a freebie. How do I solidify this? It says they stole a father. No, they aren't going to get sued for stealing another goldfish's dad. It's a hybrid either way, so I win. It could be Parksers. <laughs> um... take the win it's not just a goldfish i think it's to win i think it's the win i think i win how how do i conf- is there any way so they test to see if it's a sign but it's not i don't know fuck uh and so we do this We do this. If it's so, if I, I win, if it's the sign or if it's anything else, right? Because then, what did I breed? I bred a fish with another thing. 
If the father's anything other than a fish, then it's not just a goldfish, right? Okay, we are still not 100% certain we need confirmation that it is not just a goldfish. And so it turned out the father is... The welcome sign! Yes! Dogma Herd is delayed. They successfully bred the first ever fish sign hybrid! They're finally able to take control of the zoo and destroy all other signs, which means they will become supreme rulers of the animal kingdom! Oh! Oh my god! Oh! Chat! Congratulations, Doug! You did it! It took me four tries! Four tries! So but I did it! I'm the greatest! The I'm the greatest wow. welcome sign in the whole God. world, Chad! You're incredible, Doug! Whoa! Yes! Ten to nine! Oh! Way too close! Way too close! I should have won like three times! And you almost fucked me at the end! I wanted that win! Arguably rigged, but I don't care! <laughs> Uh. You said the welcome sign wouldn't be a point. It's not a point. The point is the new breed of fish signs. Ah. Oh. Yes. Yes. It was rigged, but you unrigged it enough times that it cancels out. That's what I'm talking about. You can make the talking fish that hangs on the wall and sings at you. Welcome, correct. Welcome sign is not a point, but the fish sign hybrid is a point. It's a goldfish and they are gay. Invalid. Okay, my fish sign does need a trade. My brand new species is... Go? <laughs> All right, whatever. It's like the first of its kind. There's nobody even to fuck. <laughs> oh. Well, let's close this out the way we always do. It says a fish sign hybrid. It was really born. It worked. Don't besmirch the lineage of this beautiful child. It's not just a goldfish. The test says so. Half a point because it's half sign. No, no, no. We're calling it. <clears throat> Suddenly, Parkshire walked in and shoots the welcome sign. Who TF invited Ric Flair into the stream <laughs> with his song less than three? <laughs> Look at no it. Take the win, chat to a win. Twitch chat takes over the NFL. Rerolling. Suddenly, Parkshire walked in and shot the welcome sign. The sign fell down and re revealed the true identity of its father. It was a unicorn. Doug, we'll give you this if you give us the chance to use the self-destructing <laughs> crocodiles to destroy the entire zoo. And so the Doug we'll was defeated. All us. their plans have gone wrong, and now they'll be forced to... No, 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 no. Cut the video. Cut the stream. That's not a twist. This is not canon. This was a funny bonus thing. This does not count. No, we're done. I win. Doug wins. And Kobe want to team up next time. I still win. The postscripts don't count. Postscripts don't count. They're just a funny way to end the video. <laughs> Congratulations, Doug. First stream I've caught uh, since coming from YouTube. Hey, My welcome. Matthew says hi. Hello to him as well. Um, we're gonna say it ended when I got the fish sign hybrid. Congratulations, me. Welcome sign was worthless, and we all knew it. The work? Yeah, the sign is. All right. Planned all along, 4-0. No, no, at best, three and a the half. The sign is the biggest comeback in the Dodo Cinematic Universe. Ugh. Congrats, Doug. Thank you. Hey, I'm proud of my win. I play, I think I think we both played well. 4-0, no. <laughs> Give us sweet wounds. Ugh. 
Our Sagittarius wee crest wee really wee came wee through. Wee The form he took was not specified. That's true. Harambe returned in the form of a fish sign. All right. Let us. <laughs> what we learned today is fish can really get at. <laughs> um, this is very, this is very, <laughs> this fucking AI never wants me to win, dude. Even when it finally lets me win, it's like. Yeah, but we're gonna let Twitch chat, uh, undermine so, it forever. After a long and hard-fought battle, the winner of the zoo is Master Chief. Master Chief? Oh, alright, well, that was, uh, very long, but very, very, very fun. Holy shit. The last couple hours, I was a little wiped out. I think once Harambe I died, I was so discouraged. <laughs> oh my god. It was so hard to be like, oh shit, it's 7 to 7 again. Um, can we blow up the zoo? No, I'm going to call it. It's it's 8 o'clock. Jesus Christ. I guess it has been seven hours. This was very, very fun. I'm curious. I, let me uh, let me give my recap on things, because we tried a couple new things today. First off, the traits. Traits are work incredibly, right? I, it helps add, like, a lot of purpose and, like, character to specific things, especially in the case of, like, animals or something, right? I think traits is a great addition. Cocaine bear trailer. Wait, I actually don't want to do that, because I might get the VOD muted. Sorry. You can watch Cocaine Bear trailer altogether. Will you ever do a 24-hour stream? Uh, probably not. I just sleep too badly to do that. Um, traits I thought was awesome. I think limiting the number of special resources, at least until the end, worked well. Because that way we get off on goofy tangents, but also like have to play the board a little bit, I think worked. Um... Definitely trying to just immediately redo it if the thing goes way off track, I think that helped a lot. Um, as much as it's funny for it to go completely off track, it still does that enough within the context of, uh, of like, you know, killing Harambe or whatever. Um, I think that was a good, I mean, overall, I really like how this went. I want to do another, um, at least, at least early on. And I think we should probably just do best of like first to eight in the future. Uh, I just, these are really long and it's kind of hard for me to keep going after like four hours. A crew versus Z crew. Yeah, I have an idea for an A crew versus Z crew one. Um, limiting special resources until you get the tar until you hit the target. Yeah, I think that worked great too. Um, there's lots of ideas for AI invasions that we'll, we'll do in the future. If I make them a little shorter, they'll be easier for me to do as well. Um, I want to do A crew versus Z crew escapes like escapes in Indiana's jo Jones dungeon. Wait, I think somebody else suggested that actually on chat in chat. I, I don't think that was my idea, but like. I set up elaborate situations and you guys take turns trying to escape and whoever can escape first from a dangerous situation wins. And then I also want to do one with other streamers. Um, there's other like maps and things like Skyrim or invade the human body as a virus. There's lots of potential for this, but this is very fun. This will probably be a YouTube video too. Cause it's extremely, extremely funny. It's pretty crazy how these, how consistently funny these are. Also, they just released a new version of chat for AI, like, uh, OpenAI just released a new version of, um, I think it's GBT4, right, is the name? Anyway, AI seems like it's getting a lot better. So, weirdly enough, we're in this weird middle zone where, like, if AI gets too good, this will not be interesting or fun anymore. So we are, like, in the perfect moment of history where this is going to be funny. <laughs> you know, because in the future, it'll just be, like, really coherent. Um, chat 2. Well, you guys will be the same. Anyways, I just think it's it's funny and interesting that like probably in like two years doing this will not be interesting. It'll just be a really good, well-made story. We can always make the AI worse. I guess that's true. In the future, we should intentionally do it on a worse AI. GBT3 is very, very good though. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it'll be more fun. Maybe less fun, I don't know. Don't update Windows. That's not what it is. <laughs> it's not in Windows. Yeah, we can always use InfraKit. InfraKit is certainly uh, less coherent. It's good for very short things, not so much for a story. Yeah, I guess that's true. If we feed it trash, hey, goofy Doug, stuff will come out. Don't have a lot of money, but I wanted to thank you. Been going through a really tough time, and your content has helped get me through it. Thanks. Hey, you're very welcome. Um, I'm glad my stuff helps.
yeah, this this was very, very fun. Um, streaming is pog. All right, cool. I am going to call it there. Hey, thanks so much again for watching. Appreciate it. Thank you for the uh, for the subs and support and all that good stuff. I will probably be, I'm not going to watch Cocaine Bear just because I'm worried um, I can uh, I'm worried I'll get muted and stuff and DMCA it on the VOD. But please uh, go go into the world and enjoy Cocaine Bear. Um, I should probably be stream. I was going to stream tomorrow, but I stream today instead. So I won't tomorrow. I will maybe be streaming Monday, if not Monday, then Tuesday, something like that. Yeah, Infrakit definitely has problems, yeah. This is awful because we never got Biff, you betrayed me. Well, you always have next time. We could do... Ooh, that could be fun. Taking over a theme park. That has a lot of goofy ideas, because then you have, like, you have the roller coasters, like, the, the teacups. We could do taking over Disneyland. Ooh. That is a fun idea. And then Biff definitely fits in. Okay, that's, that's in the docket. That one will be fun. Sweet. All right, uh... Thanks, everybody. I'll see you next time. Appreciate you. Goodbye. Have a great night. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye. <laughs>